Hello, everyone, and welcome once more to Elden Ring, Part 7. Now, some of you might remember at the end of Part 6, I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep playing this game, because I've, I've been having ups and downs of it. I've been enjoying it, but also been feeling overwhelmed by it at the same time. But, uh, I did some stuff in between Part 6 and 7 on the game, learned some things, and I feel a fair bit better about the game now. Uh, having learned some stuff that just kind of changed changed mechanically how things are going. I will explain once we are in game. But of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but I need more viewers to do it. So, if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so. Maybe we can make 2022 the year we actually hit it with enough support. Also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out, and I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. Now, I have to click the screen. There we go. Apparently my controller would not work until I click the screen. That's fine. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> that was random. <laughs> I guess I had somehow tabbed the window without tabbing the window. Oh, uh, yes, I'm back at the round table hold. So, here's the thing I have learned. Now, you may remember at the la at la end of part six, I was like, I, I really needed the rune arcs to support my great rune that gives me plus five to all stats. Because without the, that plus five to all stats, I felt really fucking weak because the game's uh, kind of unrelentless. But I was running out of rune arcs because they're consumable. And every time you die, you need to pop another one. Well, don't worry. I, I finally found a solution. Because rune arcs, they really only can be gotten in multiplayer. And I just couldn't find an efficient way of doing multiplayer. Because I didn't realize something existed. Check this out. There's a... Let me actually go to somewhere where I can demonstrate it. I will go to... I guess here. So what I have learned... Is very simple. Well... Um... There is an item I have had that I wasn't really understanding the use of, and now I understand the use of it, and yeah, things are good now. Like, uh, basically, it's it's this item right here. The, yeah, send co-op side to summoning pools. This thing, this item I've had for a while, sends a co-op side to summoning pools, and you, and now of course, you know, being a souls like, it doesn't really explain what things do all the all that well because that's what souls souls likes to be mysterious, you know. But uh, this thing, what this does. <laughs> is now that I've done that, this entire map section, so like from here down to here and all this and all this, this and this, 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 all this, this entire map section, if somebody is waltzing about in an area where I can be summoned, my sign will just show up at any of the things that are summoning pools, aka those weird little statues. So every single dungeon, any major areas around the overworld that have one, my sign gets sent to all of those to everybody. And guess what? Now I can actually do multiplayer and get rune arcs. <laughs> um, so I have a few now. I've, it's not a ton, but I'm up to 14. Look at that. Like, just in my explanation, I have now been summoned. <laughs> just like that. So there you go. So, uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> Hi, Eric. How you doing? <laughs> I shall curtsy because I got this new emote. It's a curtsy. Hello. What do you want? What do you want me to kill? I'm guessing Mr. Erdtree. Yes, this guy. So this guy, I actually killed him on my game, so this is perfect. Uh, this asshole. We fought them before. They're jerks, and I don't like this one. All right. Let him distract. Oh shit. Leap attack sucks. We can get behind him and give him a whack. Uh oh. I got a whack. Oh shit. Well, I don't like fighting earth trees to be fair. Earth tree avatars, but. Mostly because these goddamn pots get in my way, but you know. So I've upped my health. So you can see there, I survived way better. <laughs> he too shot at me, but you know. Here's the thing about being summoned, though. You will have reduced health and stuff. If you have a great rune active, it won't be active in multiplayer. So my health was reduced in that situation. But that's okay. It's okay to lose because I can just do that again and we'll get somewhere else. 
And also, losing in multiplayer, like, if you're being summoned, you don't lose anything. You don't lose your runes. You don't lose your great rune effect. You don't lose anything for dying in, in co-op. You never have in Souls game. That's one thing nice about being summoned. You, it's pretty risk-free. So if you die, it's like, whatever. <laughs> um, hope the host wins, though. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter for him. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. So, yeah. I'm maybe not the best in co-op, but that's fine. I still can get a few... Uh, yeah. But yeah, this item is called, uh... What's it called again? Whoosh. It is called the Small Golden Effigy. I just... Look at that! I got summoned again. See what I mean? This thing works pretty goddamn well. It doesn't take much up. You just leave it active. So I've been using this to not only get root arcs, but I also... I took off the ring that increases the power of my charge attacks, left the one that increases the power of my jump attacks on, but I switched out the charge attack ring with the silver serpent ring, or effectively equivalent of that. Eat my chi. Is that like a oriental insult? Like, I... <laughs> what? <laughs> Eat my chi, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. Um... Alright, I think, uh, so this is actually a dungeon we haven't explored yet. I'm missing he wants to crouch. Okay, he wants to fight the bear. Uh, does he want to crouch the bear in the back? Does he fight it? Is it crouch? Okay, well, anyways. We'll go to here in a minute on my game. But I may as well help this guy out. I'm going to turn off the summoning thing after this. This is just, I don't know, it's a cave, I guess. That's, that's what I define it as. Alright, I'll just handle this. Woo! Swing aimlessly and kill them. There we go. Sweet. Wolf cave. But yeah, so I've been also getting levels from... Oh, hello. Uh, okay. <laughs> the next... <laughs> that's a weird place to get evaded, but alright. Oh. Oh well. Ha! <laughs> <Hey. laughs> my house has died, but I will still fight, I guess. <laughs> Got a little bit better at PvP. <laughs> Jumping at the right time is very key to PvP, if I found. Anyways, I'll stop getting those summons. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of glad I died there because it didn't spoil the boss. We haven't done that dungeon. So, yes, I have opened... Uh, by the way, this map crap. I, off-stream, I fully explored the overworld. <laughs> And marked all points of interest, as I do. I didn't do anything exciting. So anything unique or exciting I didn't do, like dungeons and also some other stuff. So, this is what I have. This is what I have open. Uh, and we're gonna do it. And also, here's my level and shit. So, I got some additional levels and I pumped it all into Vigor. Because I, I kind of hate pumping things into Vigor. Uh, in Souls games, I just don't like to have a high health stat. I prefer rolling around and dodging. But this game, with how it works, you need some health. You fucking need some health. So I dumped into health, and my health bar, you may notice, it looks a little bit better than it did before. Also, uh, I kind of just fully subscribe to the fact that I only have a medium roll. I can't get a fast roll right now. But the medium roll, if you barely have a medium roll, like you're on the cusp of having a heavy roll, or if you have, like, a medium roll that's nearly a light roll. It doesn't matter. A medium roll is a medium roll. So if you have a medium roll, you may as well wear the heaviest shit that still lets you have a medium roll and get extra defense. So I've kind of upgraded my outfit a bit with heavier stuff. I'm wearing the red soldier in this, the Kalid soldier outfit, which uh, I think it looks nice enough. So I am also more armored up now. More poison shit, you know? 118 in a place only needs to level 58. Not this area. This area fucking... This area f needs you to be fucking higher level. This this particular section... Northern Kaled is not for the fate of heart. Anyways, we left off on a fight that honestly wasn't that bad. It's just that I ran out of rune arcs, but now... Derek is not for fucking level 50s. I'll just say that much. <laughs> or 80s. Uh, maybe 80 if you're really... If you're really gonna challenge yourself. Anyways, we, we remember this area, right? Um, so... 
Time for a rematch. Hello. Goodbye. I figured out how to deal with these guys. It's not that, it's not that hard. Because I got good poise on them. Alright. Oh, oh, I didn't expect, actually expect to poise break them so quick that fast. Tap. There we go. I used to be scared of those guys. I've gotten used to them. Realizing they have low poise. That's an important detail. So, um, Bloodhound step? I don't know what you're talking about. I have Bloodhound's finesse. I've never used it really, admittedly. Maybe I should. It lets you uh, do that. It's a little slow, though. I don't know if I really like it. I would actually change. Here's the thing, though. Uh, weapons that upgrade with somber smithing stones, you cannot change their weapon art, which sucks. I would like to switch it, but I can't. Oh, well. Anyways, this guy. I know how to deal with him at this point, honestly. I found more openings, I guess you could say. The fireball's not a good time to attack him, actually. He's not that bad. I just was having a bad day. Oop, I got hit. That's okay. The main problem is just how he... Come on, 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 come on. Come on. Oh, fuck, for sake. Okay, there he goes. Perfect. Now I can heal. This guy is really good at stopping your heals, so you just want to get a, him to do an attack first. Much safer. Oh, shit. He actually got me. See what I mean? You gotta get him to attack first. It's okay, though. I'm fine. Even, oh wow! <laughs> I thought I could get a heal in there. All right, never mind then. Yeah, the big problem with this guy—he just doesn't let you fucking heal. Oh, that's fine. Get time to heal at least. Also, I figured out this stretchy boy attack is not as scary as I thought it was, as long as you know how to deal with it. The problem with his stretchy Play-Doh is, uh, he doesn't, he has a lot of range, but only in one place. So if you know where he's going to do something, then he's not dangerous in the other place. Oh. Actually, this attack is kind of good. Oh, shit. If you run it at just the right time, it's kind of good to just counter it. But I did it wrong. <laughs> Should have taken the opportunity there, but I did not. Oh shit! Oh, okay. <laughs> he overshot me. All right. Like, at least I got a hit in there. Oh, rude. Ah! Oh, I rolled the wrong time. He's still a bit tricky. But my confidence levels have increased. I could probably be more aggressive. I don't know if it's possible to stun him, like, with enough hits, you know? Enough heavy hits. Might be. But yeah, now the rune arc situation, I'm not really too worried about it now. It's like, if I do run out, I'll just do some co-op. It's whatever. Oh, okay. Well, if he insists to run at me, I'll just give you a whack. They can be forced to deal, but stiff will do the tempo of their ca Yeah, the tempo makes it hard to uh, be aggressive sometimes. <laughs> if well timed, that jump attack is a good time to counter them. I haven't quite found the timing on it, though. <laughs> that pullback is usually easy to dodge on that attack. <laughs> Usually by the time they do the jump attack, I'm not- I'm kind of surprised by it, so I tend to get- 
Another good time to carry them if they do the little spinny copter thing. I should, I should grab my souls. Yeah. It wasn't a full level or anything, but it helps. Oh, that's rude. That's also rude. Haha, <laughs> you could could interrupt me there, could you? Actually, that attack. He's a long wind down from that, I just realized. I didn't realize that that was such a long wind down for that attack. I'm not picking the best moments. He is tough! I like his music, though. His music's really good. <laughs> I was me tricking you so I could heal. Haha! <laughs> He is, basically, he's just fast enough with his attacks that I find him intimidating, but it's fine. By the way, if he does that, you can do that. If he does that attack at that time, perfect dodge timing with it. What is he doing? That was weird. He attacked when he was really far away from me. That's kind of odd. That jump attack makes me scared, and I always want to back roll, but I really should front roll, actually, into that. If I can get my used to front roll into that, I could do some extra damage. Let's try next time he does it. Also, Silly Putty Mode is a little scarier in a way, but it's also not. Ah, uh, fuck. I keep reacting to that the same way. <laughs> Stop. You are spamming, sir. Come on, just do your thing. I almost wonder if I can get a hit on him when he's not ready to attack, and I can just back off before... Ah, uh, I thought I had more of an opportunity to that. Oh well. Eh, let's drop a hill. Uh oh! <laughs> I'm fine. Normally he doesn't lead off with that attack after phase two starts. <laughs> Normally he likes to do the silly putty thing, where he stretches like that. Uh oh. That's a problem. <laughs> Fucking walls, man. Nope! Oh, fuck. <laughs> My biggest problem is actually the arena sometimes. I don't quite understand why I've reached the back wall. <laughs> and also, sometimes he picks the worst time to use that radius attack. Where he just kind of corners you. I should have ran to the side, but uh, yeah. The geometry of the boss arena matters immensely for some of these fights for me. Also, can't really stay to the sides. I kind of have to run down the middle for the most part because the sides are actually, um... Uh-oh, he hit me. Oh, well. The sides are unfortunately kind of... What's the word? Uh, they have pillars. You can get stuck on them. I don't know. You can see that. There we go! I finally reacted properly to that attack. That's what I want to do when he does the jump attack. Run at him. Roll at him. I could tell that was a good opportunity. Ah, uh, that... I, I think the worst attacks for me in this game is when an enemy delays a move. Like, they hold it for a second. That always That's what tricks me the most than anything. Fast attacks aren't really a bother for me. Fast attacks, I'm like, yeah, okay. I can rhythm with this. But it's when they go off rhythm that I'm like, shit, you broke the rhythm. I want to dance to your attacks, not get confused by them. That's bad timing. Whoa! That attack went over my head. That's good to know. 
Yeah, here's the thing. Sometimes he can overreach his attacks, and you can actually be behind them, I guess? Which is quite useful. Oh, fuck. I just kind of let myself get bitch slapped there. Whoops. Oh, too far. I was trying to jump at him, but I failed to do so. Oh. Ah, the follow-up. He did it, finally. Knew he could. Didn't think he would. Oh, shit! That was enough to hurt me, to kill me. God. All these vigor levels that they don't feel like it's but This is why you need the vigor. Even with all these vigor levels, I don't even feel that durable. <laughs> there are good hitboxes on his weapon, though, so I guess I... Getting in close is definitely a trick. I wonder if getting behind him would help, too. I don't know. It depends on how the swing goes. He is a toughie for me, specifically. The way he fights is... One of those fighting styles that is a good counter to how I fight, basically. <laughs> Interesting backup he did. Oh shit. Sometimes I don't poise break him and it's very confusing. Are you good, sir? Alright. Just let me know when you're done. I think we missed each other. Ow. Uh oh. <laughs> but I knew I had bleed coming. That guy could be a bit of a pain if you uh, if you let him be. Oh well. Oh, he's standing right there. It's inconvenient. Sir, don't mind me. I just need this. Sir, just a moment. We just there we go. Okay. I'm like, do something, goddammit. <laughs> the, yeah, he has two delayed attacks. That's one of them right there. Ah. Oh, nope, that's the attack. So I know the distance he likes to do that attack on. I need to, I need to roll at him, like I said. I don't know if phase two is harder or easier, I'll be honest with you. Whoa, okay. I expect a fireball at that point. <laughs> That was a weird range for him to try to use that. I almost feel like some of his attacks are jump- oh, I didn't roll the right direction. That was surprisingly delayed on his part. I wonder if that would- Ah, oh, I rolled into the attack, I think. Fucking. Oh well. Like I said, he does counter me quite well. His attack style is exactly what I would consider the, the rock to my scissors, I suppose. So he takes time. Oh, oh god, what the fuck? Oh, okay, I didn't know that combo existed. That was a surprising sudden uppercut. <laughs> uh, well, at least I'm learning his tricks. So I didn't know that. I didn't know he could do that sort of combo. Um, that's interesting. That's another thing about Dark Souls bosses. You never know if they just have that rare attack that they never use, but they're gonna use it now. It's like, it can throw you off a little bit. I don't know if that was a rare attack, but I don't think I've seen that combo before. Oh. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. It's okay, whatever. Wow, okay. This is fine, actually. I know what I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I'll just use this. There we go. That actually put me in a good state for part of the fight. Okay. I'm gonna try a few things. Ah, uh, still clipped me. I gotta see what attack he does, then dodge. That's what I gotta do. 
Kind of scary to do that, though, because he's got some really fast attacks, so... Like that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> he's one of those bosses that uses very quick attacks to stun you, and then a heavy attack to take you out before you can roll or anything. A.K.A. my gank gankers, effectively. <laughs> Uh, all the rune arcs are going all the way. Now, granted, this guy gets... I, I've seen this before. This guy is one of those bosses that kind of gets shut down if you go at him with more than one person, though, I think. So... Because he can handle one target really well. Stop. Stop that. It's rude. Uh-oh! <laughs> Uh oh nope, there it is. Problem is, I poison break this guy about five, ninety-five percent of the time, but there's an occasional moment where I don't poison break him, so I have to be careful. That sucked, but that's okay. Again, physics will do just fine in this situation. Serious Salzer's now. There actually might be a, a secret that I'm going to try. I'm going to try a secret idea. I'm gonna try a secret plan and see if it works out. I don't know, maybe it will. You might notice I switch weapons. There's a few reasons for that. Oh, I don't have the range I did before, right? Ah, fucking pillar. Help, he's hiding. He's not gonna heal him. <laughs> There's a few reasons I wanted this. One reason is I want to see what he does if I. Okay, yeah, he does exactly what I thought he would do. Never actually used that move on him, so I didn't know. Also, by the way, yes, I have a floating blade. Uh -huh. Here's the thing I can get a faster attack in by using this weapon. It's not as strong, but it's not bad. Damage is solid for the speed. <laughs> so it's, you know, the, the reason that enemies like this are a hard counter to me is because I have slower attacks. Not slow attacks, but not exactly fast. But if I use a fast attack, then I can flit out faster than he can flit in. <laughs> That's the idea, at least. It doesn't mean my damage output is reduced, though. So I don't know what's more helpful in this situation. I feel like in Phase 2, Heavy Weapon might work better for that. Ow. He almost never hits me with that. How rude. If I use a weapon art after the fireball, we'll use the fireball again. Probably. Want me to test? No, but he will just jump over my attack, which is actually pretty clever. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a good counter. Unfortunately. <laughs> clever. Very clever. I wonder if he planned that or if that was just a coincidence. The art does indeed have a wind-up. That's the problem with it. I wonder if I could... Hmm, that kind of worked. Just having a few thoughts. Just having a few thoughts. Some attacks ex technically allow me to go to his back. You know... Oh, okay. I'm learning something. If you go behind him, he does, def he does do a defensive jump away sort of thing. That could be useful to me, because then I get the distance I want afterwards.
The problem is I'm scared of reacting to his attacks because some of them are so fast. Like... You know what? Let's try something. Well, first off... You wanna... You want projectiles? Here, have this one. Problem is, my own projectile can block my view of what's going on. <laughs> it's kind of effective. It works. It's not perfect, but... Ah. I think it'd be more resistant to fire. Well, he's using Black Flame, but... I guess you're still sell a point. Damn it! My mistake is that when he does his jump attack, I sometimes get owned by it because I'm not rolling correctly. It's my fault, that situation. Now let me try something. If I can dodge through his attacks, that'd be kind of amazing. Oh, that worked. That worked pretty well. Holy fuck, what am I doing? Alright. <laughs> I'm very confused there. Aha! You have hit the pillar, you asshole! Aha! You still hit the pillar! You're an idiot, jerk. Meanie face. Alright. <laughs> Ha! Yeah, side rolls are what you want to do for that attack. I'm actually trying to bait out some attacks that... Ah, oh, fuck. The slight delays of his little... His little, uh... His little fucking... What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Double lightsaber twirly twirls really kind of throw me off sometimes. Oh, okay, we're doing this. Alright, cool. Oh, shit. I misread some of the silly play attacks, too. Honestly, I feel like everything I try to throw fireballs at is resistant to fire in some way. <laughs> Something I've kind of noticed. So here's the thing. I'm doing more damage to this guy than I was before, but he's still... Problematic. Don't mind me as I play this guy very safe. There we go. Okay. We're gonna go back to the heavy attack strategy. I think, uh... I think it's probably okay to just... Here's the thing, if I play carefully, I shouldn't be able to I should be able to avoid any damage in phase one if I'm smart. There is a bit of RNG though, because sometimes he just pulls out an attack I don't expect. That's a problem with some enemies. Some enemies I could just read and learn. Other enemies I just struggle to do that with. It doesn't even necessarily depend on them having a large move set. It just depends on how they use that move set. How many different kind of combos they can do. The more webs of combos that they can link together in different ways, the less I can learn the enemy that way. Also, I'm I'm actually using my light attack because it seems to be a little faster to do in that situation. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's not what I, No, not that. The other attack. Nope, not that. I'm not risking that. It's fuck. These pillars, man. I fucking hate these arenas with like edges where like you can get caught on something. They're annoying.
I hate it when I have to battle the arena as well as the boss, basically. <laughs> So sometimes I'm just annoyed that they're walking and not attacking. It's like, motherfucker. Okay, okay, well. Oh, okay, we're doing this now. Good to know. <laughs> that was a weird time for that. <laughs> I didn't know he could helicopter spin after that move either. <laughs> or maybe that wasn't even a combo. I don't really know. I need to stop immediately rolling the moment I hit him. I need to look at what he's doing and then roll. Like that, actually. Well, I still rolled at the wrong time, but I still looked at the situation afterwards. Oh. How rude. Also, the pillars get caught on the camera, or the camera gets caught on the pillars, if you notice. I think I know the best way to- I think I know the best attack to, like, punish him the hardest. <laughs> So let me just test the water. That's the attack to, to punish, by the way. If I can avoid the pullback, I could probably do a jump attack on him, which is my most damaging attack. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that's why I like to be skittish and react immediately the moment he moves, because that attack there, I don't know if you noticed. What the fuck's that? Okay, I don't think I knew what that move was. All right. Uh, but when he's so fast sometimes that he can hit me before I can react, those attacks scare me and make me all skittish. So that's why I roll immediately when I see him doing things, rather than wait for his attack. Because some of his attacks are actually fast enough to hit you before you can react to them, really. Or at least before I can react to them. Making the whole skittish style thing is a good idea, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's the problem with enemies like this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ah! I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I didn't- I think he tried to read my input. I hit the heal button, but it didn't trigger, so... He tried to react to my heal, but it didn't happen. There, I reacted properly. I see it now. It, it's- I need to react specifically if I'm going in for the attack. I need to react to what happens after my attack. Because those attacks are a little slower, I guess, you could say. So I gotta watch. I gotta watch what he does and then react. However, if he's just approaching me, yeah, I can roll away instantly. Because some of those attacks are really fast. And I need to be careful. So, at certain points I need to be skittish. At certain points I need to just watch. Well, I don't know why I jumped to the side. That's fine. I hate that attack. <laughs> I think I can whack him in the face though after he does it. Why am I crouching? <laughs> Trying to be sneaky about avoiding him. Like, <laughs> I love it when I actually press that in because I'm tense. His silly play attack travels a long distance, but there's not a lot of attack frames to it. Alright. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I probably can whack him in the face the other day. I just don't know when the attack ends, usually. A lot of 
scary stuff he does, but a lot of it doesn't have a lot of range. Weirdly, given all the stretchiness he can do. I wonder why he's made a silly putty in this phase. Holy fuck. I think I got away from that. Uh oh. Yeah, I think that's just, I think that big AoE is just like, I can't do anything, I just need to stay away in that phase. Oh, the backhand slipes! No, stop it! <laughs> Rude. Oh, he's mad. Oh god, okay. Just the normal one, though. Alright, alright, alright. Uh oh! Ah, fuck, no! Oh, that's fine, he stopped. We're fine. <laughs> but I don't expect him to do that. Okay, that was a little bit of an awkward dodge, but it worked. But I don't expect him to do certain attacks. I'm just gonna heal again, actually. I predict the need to do so. I actually see a great moment to get an opportunity in on him, but I'm always scared to take it because I'm never quite sure what the hurt box is. The AoE, that's the size of that AoE is scary though. That attack is the one that catches me out if I'm not- yeah, okay. He backs off so fast in that, I don't know if I can counter him there. Oh, he backed off on me, nice. I appreciate the, uh, space. Uh oh, run. Oh, that's- that's a little edgy. That's a little on the edge, but I'm fine. Uh oh! Why am I crouching again? Stop it! <laughs> I keep doing that! <laughs> Tits this! <laughs> Oh, shit! He actually did something that I... I thought he was just kind of chilling out there for a minute. Wait, why did you attack the wall there? What the hell? I don't know if you noticed, but he attacked a weird direction for that attack. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 space! <laughs> rude! F fucking rude as hell. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! I still have my health bar. No, never mind. I don't. <laughs> Fuck you. I wanted to try to hit him. <laughs> I was, I was trying. No, nope. not yet. Not yet. You're probably gonna kill me, but I'm gonna make this go as long as fucking possible. Damn it! <laughs> so close. All right, I can do this. Also, yes, we drop frames at some point. He is. Uh, I doubt. I prefer fight him in phase two. I gotta say, there's more opportunities. <laughs> One jump attack would have ended that at that point. Alright, so yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of it though. I think when it comes to video games, the way it works for me, especially in boss fights, is I will either suck immensely or I'll start to get it. Like, and then when I start to get it, I really start to get it. So I think I might have a good chance this next fight. I, I feel more confident. Uh oh. <laughs> What's my at least? I love it when I whiff the jump attack! <laughs> So I have to be careful this guy. The main problem is I need to be careful this guy if I want to come in with all my healing class. So that's my goal here. Ah, darn. Fool. Oh well, at least he gives me experience. Ha, ah, excuse me, sir. Stop that, holy fuck. Rude. I ran out of stamina. I love how Beerus tells me I don't need to worry about stamina and I shouldn't have dumped so many points into stamina, but you know what? I sure went to a lot of situations where I run out of stamina, so I think I'm glad I have the stamina. 
That was the reason I didn't kill him was because of a lack of stamina. <laughs> that was the entire reason. <laughs> also, I'm sorry about the frame loss. We dropped 840 at some point. Not that many, but I guess we dropped a few. Uh, hope it didn't mess up things too much. I'm going to stand around for a second. Actually, you know what? I just realized something. Wait a minute. Hold on. You know what I realized? If, if I... If I can't kill that guy without healing, I could just sit at the bonfire and do that over. So let's just let's just do that until I get a clean kill and then fight the boss. Okay, not this time. Whoosh! Now you're gonna chase me to the fire. Come on, that's rude. Aha! Yeah, I'll just I'll just do this over and over again until I get until I get that run where he doesn't give me a random fucking bitch slap. He's just uh, tedious enough to fight, just just tedious, just tricky enough to fight that he will get me, get a hit on me sometimes, which is annoying. But oh well. That attack doesn't make sense. It looks like it's going diagonal for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's right. This is a lot more efficient. That's why I can walk into the fight with full Estus. All right, so. I should have thought of that before. Like, yeah, if I just get hit before the boss room, then I'll just hit that guy. I'll just back off and hit that guy again. Okay. It's actually worth a lot of experience. He's like 4,000 with a ring equipped. Uh, where am I? Where are? Where? Where? Oh, they're there. <laughs> just like very confused for a second. Oh, did you see that timing? I timed the helicopter perfectly. Instead of just jumping into his fucking attack on an idiot. <laughs> Which probably should have happened. Oh. I went to crouch mode by exit again. I'm really good at doing that. I'm behind you! Ha ha! Bye! <laughs> I don't know how I got behind him, but I'll take it. Oh, I did it again! Hell yeah! Okay, that seems like a pretty good strategy if you know the timing. I'm being more patient. I'm being more patient. That's always the key for these fights. It's just that patience is different depending on the fight. <laughs> Like with fast enemies, there's a weird sort of rhythm with their with their fast attacks. It's a, I. Okay. Honestly, the only reason I got whacked by that was because I was confused why he was doing that attack at that time. That was kind of weird, actually. Nice try. Here's the thing, though. He can totally, like, combo me to death if I don't have full health. So that's the thing that's dangerous about this fight. I don't know if you noticed, but he can combo me to death if I'm not at full health very easily. Like, right here. Like, there. Could have done so right there. But if I heal when I'm just a little bit damaged, then that's a waste of an Estus. <laughs> so I put in this weird situation where I either have to waste a bit of my Estus use... Or keep myself from being able to co be, be combo to death. I can't choose both, though. So I'm usually erring on the side of danger so that I have more SS at the end of the fight, you know? It seems like a better idea. Because phase two is the uh, easier phase. It's kind of a weird statement. It's like a question mark with that easier, but it is easier. There's more opportunities to do things. There's also more opportunities where he could whack me if I'm not careful. So it's like kind of... Kind of hard to explain how fa phase two is a not a lateral increase or decrease. Typically, it's easier and e harder at the same time.
main thing I shouldn't do is stick to him after he finishes the attack, like, because he has some weird combos, and I don't want to mess with those, really. I'd rather work with the attacks that he does from vanilla state. Oh. And that attack is, unfortunately, both dangerous and not something I can combo, but oh well. The range of that attack is just kind of scary looking, isn't it? Oh, fuck. Oh, nope, not quite. Yep, there we go. <laughs> It's so, like, I think I can heal and dodge that attack, so I'll do that. <laughs> oh god, the camera! My, it was on my ass and I couldn't tell where the attack was landing! <laughs> Damn it, my butt! <laughs> Alright, um, again, I think the camera in this game could use some work. These pillars on the side fuck with your camera quite a bit, actually. In my opinion, at least. Ah, crouch it again! Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Run! No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. I I totally can blame the camera. It, notice how it jumps when it uh, hits a pillar. That messes with me, actually. Oh well, since I'm here, I may as well get an attack off. Oh god! Okay, that's fine. This doesn't normally do the normal helicopter in this mode. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. That attack is really scary if you're in the wrong position in the room. That attack has a much larger range than it should. But I guess he is using magic to extend it, to be fair. Oh god, I should have died there. <laughs> I was not being careful. <laughs> Healing right in front of him, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Healing directly in his face. It worked! That was not a smart time to heal, though. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna look at you in the face, bitch, and I'm gonna drink this fucking bottle? Uh oh. I kinda messed that up. Starting Dominus, like, I enjoy this refreshing beverage and I don't give a shit about you! <laughs> Actually, the, the thing that throws me off about Phase 2 is dumb. The thing that most throws me off about Phase 2 is when he uses his Phase 1 attacks. Because it's like, yeah, of course he can still use those, but it just throws me off when he does. Ow. Oh no! I'm dead. I'm not dead. Run! Okay! <laughs> Mildly scary, but I'm fine. At least I saw the regen effect. No, stop. That's rude. Oh, good! I can uh, heal now. Excellent. Man, I barely had room there. This fight is basically waiting for certain attacks and trying to survive the rest of everything. <laughs> Scary! Run, run, run. The good thing about that attack is it doesn't immediately hurt you. Which, uh, is appreciated. Oh, I should've... Could've taken him there. Run. Just go, just go, okay. <laughs> okay. F 
fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, like owl's clothes. Fuck you, and I'm stripping your corpse naked. <laughs> that was a hell of a fight. <laughs> Now, admit, admittedly, some people probably will find that fight. I don't know. I'm actually curious. Those of you that played the game and you come to this guy, was he hard for you? Or, like, I mean, it all depends on your play style. I feel like certain enemies in Souls games are going to be way harder for some people than others. And play style wise, this guy was my counter, so, you know. What the fuck's his clothes do? <laughs> Let's see. Well, they're pretty light. The Apostles once said. No, that's. No, that is actually his, yeah. Apostles once said to serve the destined death are wilders of the god slain black flame, but after the defeat by Malakath, the black blade, the source of their power was sealed away. Oh. I like that. Let's see, was the apostle the guy I just defeated, or was it? Because I also got the clothes of the uh, guys, like the guy I was fighting outside. I don't know which was which was which, yeah, the black flame monk. That's the guys outside. Okay, so the gods get apostles. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Oh, it literally is skin. I just realized. <laughs> I didn't notice that. The hood made by sewing the other patches smooth skin. Whose skin, though? Also, the head on it's kind of creepy. Look at that head. That is not. That's kind of unsettling, I gotta be honest. I didn't really notice that there was a head up on his hood. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. We took care of that jerk. <laughs> Level 77, you use a damage type, you get strong gets. That sounds like fun. And you beat him? Good work. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I have no sense of direction. One moment. Also, I'm glad I have the serpent ring equipped. Doesn't help me. I'm, doesn't help me fight better, but god, defeating a boss with that on. Yeah, I'm up to I'm up to like 173k. I was a previous at like 50k. Okay. Pretty good. What what is this? What, what do we get? Well, you say a lot of enemies in games are the ones you dodge around and chip away at. Kind of. Kinda. God Slayer's great sword. You don't say. Tell me more. I actually wonder if there might be a replacement for my Bloodhound's Fang at some point. Like, is there a weapon that can just do more damage for my build? I don't know. I do have other great swords. Curved and not curved. For some reason, they're separated. I think they'd be right next to each other, but they aren't. Uh... Hmm. Was it was it the Lord Swords that I got? I think that was what I just picked up, right? No, wait. Was it this one? Was it... Huh. Weird place to fight it. All right. Hmm. The problem is without upgrading another weapon to the same upgrade level as my great sword that I'm using, it's hard to tell if that weapon is better or worse or whatever. Because, like, yeah, I can compare details, but, like, it has higher critical right off the gate. So this might be superior? I don't know. It requires less strength and dex, though. It's like, what would be the best damage output for great swords? I don't know. I mean, I do like this one's moveset, but... God slay. Oh, whoops. Wrong one. Let me see. God slay. Oh, oh, this... No, wait. Where... Oh, it's a colossal sword. <laughs> so here's the annoying thing. This see how this 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 row here is the great swords, and this row is the colossal swords. But the colossal swords are also called great swords, even though they're not in the great sword row. <laughs> Do you see the problem? <laughs> they are great sword in name, but not great sword in category. Great sword category is different from great sword. Great sword. It's annoying. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Now, this actually might be good for me. Um, it does seem to be built on faith, and I have faith. Might be the fastest, you say? Let me try it out. Used to be called Ultra Great Sword. Well, I mean, again, it's under the Colossal Sword category. If it was called the... If it was the it was like the God Slayer's Ultra Great Sword and the category is Ultra Great Sword, then it would make a lot more sense. But you know, I digress. <laughs> uh, so this has yeah. Let's see. Let's see. It's a fire fire weapon. I don't actually have a fire weapon. <laughs> All right. Can I can I one hand this thing? Hooray! I can actually. Nice. It 
doesn't seem that slow for a Colossal Sword, you're right. That is reasonably speeded swings, I guess I would say. Hmm. Delay after hitting with a jump attack is kind of long, but not terrible. Look at this fucking thing. It takes strength of 40. I can only wield this with two hands. And it also gives me a heavy load. <laughs> uh, what is this thing's weapon art? Huh. I don't know what that did. <laughs> Guess I have to go into the inventory, into the weapon inventory to find out. Uh, poise increase, all attributes increase for a temporary duration. That's not bad. And then what's the skill? The Queen's Black Flame. Yeah, let's, let's test that out with the uh, new sword we got. Maybe I want to, maybe I want to give a Colossal Sword a try. I don't know if I like the art though. Let's see what the art is on this thing then. Is it going to be his AOE circle? No, but that's pretty cool too, I guess. I mean, I mean, half of the attack is hitting airboard where it's not really going to be useful most of the time, but yeah, it's still good. Like, most enemies are kind of on the ground, so half of that AoE is, like, unnecessary, unless you're... Well, okay, I could whack a dragon in the face of it, but, you know, like... Yeah, it's not... It's not bad, actually. I guess I could invest some time into giving it some, uh smithing levels and seeing how it does for me. I do like, I'm intrigued by the whole fire thing. Part of the reason I equipped the Regalia is that it's magic based. What if I can, I wonder if I could, uh, would this put me over if I did this? Let's see. So I do like the elemental aspects of, you know, different weapons. Flames also damage over time like Godsons. Wait, the Godsons fire was a damage over time? I didn't even notice that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the news to me. Uh, I always lose my weapons. What the fuck's the right category? There we go. Uh, that. No. No. Where's the fucking curved greatsword category? Why is the curved greatsword cat? I really don't get why the curved greatsword category. At least the colossal and greatsword categories are right next to each other. But why is curved greatsword like pff, all the way down here? Like I don't. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Is that heavy load? Uh. Probably. Yes. That's fine. I can adjust that. Hold on a minute. All I need to do is go to... Let's see, how much weight do I need to lose? A fair bit, it looks like. Okay. Because Nexus Curve Swords was also slower too. The webinar has a second attack if you do it twice. Really? Let's see. Okay, that's nice, I guess. Again, it's... Hmm. It's hard to judge the range of that. I'd have to, like, mess with it. I would like to hold these three weapons right now, because if, indeed, the God Slayer's Greatsword is useful, that would give me a standard damage weapon, a fire damage weapon, and a magic damage weapon, which is a pretty good variety. If I need to exploit some weaknesses. Uh, just to have at my disposal, you know. Um, but it looks like I'd have to lose some armor to do that. So, I'm gonna... Re let's do this. Let's bring the dagger back on for a second. And I will... Actually, what the fuck am I doing now? This tower had a locked door... Which I now presume is not locked because I killed the di guy in the basement. I don't want to lose armor. I actually kind of like having armor. I kind of like having proper... I, I did not mean to leave. I meant to go to the... Hold on. I meant to go to this. This waypoint. Alright. <laughs> it just kicked me out entirely. Strip for us charm. No, this is not that sort of stream. <laughs> no, not that way. It's this way. I like the fact that I can one-hand this, this Ultra Greatsword, that's quite nice too. 
Might have to mess with this. Um, open. Wait. Where is it? Uh, open. You're a door, right? <laughs> Could tell. Kind of forgot which one, which of these was a door. Still closed. All right. So I killed the boss, and it's still closed. Got it. What does that mean? Hmm. Maybe I have to kill the, uh, like the big important boss of Caleb to open that door. I thought I had to kill the guy in the basement to open that door. Never mind. <laughs> I guess that was not the point of killing the boss in the basement. Was, I guess the point was getting these weapons. That's fine. <laughs> Um. Hello. Is this a? What kind of? What? How does this upgrade? It upgrades with somber. I thought so. Okay. Well, it is now a plus four. Uh, rather than a plus five, which is too bad. If I only knew where to get a somber smithing stone five, then I could make it equal to my. Here's the thing, I want to make it equal to my, um, to my, well, fucking, I can't find it. Yeah, so, let's look at it right now. So right now, it's one level, actually no, Bloodhound Fang is two levels above. I forgot about that. So if I can make it plus six, and I can do a proper comparison of the two. For right now, though, uh, the comparison is, I mean, okay. Let me see for your... I, I'm bad at math, but it looks already pretty solid. I mean, the damage is obviously split to fire and physical, but... Let's see. What are the numbers right now for damage between these two? Time to pull out my calculator. The problem is that... I, I, while I like the damage, I like how damage variables are calculated in Souls games, it makes it very hard to compare weapons, I feel. Because <laughs> it's like all these numbers, you know? So, let's see. The new weapon I just got does a total damage, not counting elements, just combine everything. Does a total damage of... 441. <laughs> while my Bloodhound Fang, which has two levels over it, mind. So 441, remember that number. And my Bloodhound does... 457. They are very... Like, if you just look at the pure damage numbers, they're almost the same. They're apart from... They're apart by, like, 16 points. With the... Uh, with the Colossal Sword two levels below the Bloodhound thing. So the Colossal Sword looks like it will absolutely do more damage, if you consider the damage split with fire. Uh, as just damage. It looks like it will do more damage. You use Grease on the Bloodhound's Fang. I've never used Grease. What does Grease do? I mean, I know Mad's fire, but how does it add fire? How much damage does it add? Does it split the existing damage, or does it just add on fire on top of the existing damage? I don't know how... I don't know how elemental applications to weapons work in Souls games, because I've never bothered to use them. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's temporary addition damage, but how does it calculate? Like, uh, does it add it on top of existing damage? Does it split the existing damage into partially fire damage and augment it? Or, or something? Like, how does it work? Also, if it adds on to the damage, how much does it add on? Like, what percentage or of the existing damage? Like, how does it work? How does it figure out how to add damage? Like, how much damage on top does it add? Like, if I applied fire grease to Bloodhound's thing, how much damage would it do then, you know? Stats, but we're getting off topic. We're talking damage. We're not talking stat specs. But I don't like. I don't really care about using those because I have to keep tending to the weapon and reapplying them. They don't last very long. Don't they usually last a minute at most? I, they don't really last long enough, especially for my play style. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm very methodical of enemies, so a lot of the time of a uh, applied status effect will be ticked away with me doing nothing. It's kind of not useful for me. Maybe it's useful if you're hyper-aggressive, but, like, that's not my style. So, there's a lot of time... Like, I'm. it's like, apply it to a weapon, get to use it for, like, two strikes. Uh, I could say this, because... If I pull out the, uh... Um, if I... 
Oh yeah, I can't fight. <laughs> can't pull all weapons in this area, right? <laughs> I was confused. If I wanna, if I point this out, uh, also, just let me change this marker from that to treasure. Um, did I already explore this on? Yeah, I did explore this on stream. Okay. Let me switch. So let me go out. At, leave this area so I can actually demonstrate. Though technically, I could have gone to the arena area too. I guess. There's a way to check the attack rate of weapons in the equipped and fast rate while applying it. The last for one at 85 flat damage. Thank you. Now, here's the thing, though. I've been actually experimenting. Check this out. Flame grant me strength. This ups the damage to your weapon. It actually adds fire, I think. So, you know, it does kind of that what we're talking about. But I've been... I was testing this out between streams. And I'll be honest, this thing lasts about a minute, too, or something. And I barely get any use out of it. I It, like, buffs two of my attacks, or maybe three, usually. <laughs> um, it's not that helpful because I'm not aggressive enough to work well with this ticking timer for the augment. It, The augment barely does much for me because I'm, I don't attack fast enough to make use of it. See, it's already gone. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... Augments, cool idea, but not really for a patient, slow player like me. I need something that has a nice permanent little effect. So augments that are temporary, especially if they're particularly short, like one minute, uh, don't really benefit me. <laughs> I occasionally find a use of this, but only because it's renewable. It's not a consumable resource. Uh, for the most part, yeah. Yeah. I also, I just, I never like relying on temporary effects anyways. If I'm getting an edge via a temporary effect and then the temporary effect wears off, it tends to mess with my playstyle. Because, like, I'm expecting, oh, I'll do X damage. Like, I tend to calculate this in my head. Like, I'm going to do X damage, or I'm going to cause this effect. And then suddenly I stop causing that damage or causing that effect. Throws me off, gets me killed. So I'd rather stay consistent damage, not augment damage. Which is why I, <laughs> which why I have all these greases, if you notice. <laughs> I've never used these. I figured I'd save them if I really, really, really needed them or something, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, the only temporary buffs I like are like, this lasts for a half hour, and then I'm like, that's long enough for me to use it. <laughs> like... <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to... We're gonna ignore the Godsayer's Greatsword for now, but I will probably come back and apply more Somber Stones to it later. And I will probably end up using it, because it probably will be effective um, for me. Probably alongside the Greatsword, because, like, it feels like it'd be very good for specifically jump attacks. Um, but, anyways, I got some stuff to show you. First off, there's an ever get ever gel down here. Let's go over there. By the way, while Northern Caelid here is very tough, like the enemies here are very tough, the overworld is surprisingly barren. There's some dragons, and there's a lot of obnoxious people around the tree. Uh, why is there this symbol? I put that there for a reason. I forgot what that reason is. I guess we'll find out. But there's a lot of there's a lot of obnoxious tree people around the tree, and there's a few dragons. And there's one noteworthy thing about the dragons, but really this area doesn't have much going on. Western Caitlin was a complete mess of, like, bobblehead doggos and evil birds and soldiers and stuff. But this area just feels like it kind of got abandoned by everything, for the most part. It's kind of interesting. Speaking of dragons, though, oh boy, I got a treat for you. But not yet. Let's do the average gel. Because since I just completed a grueling boss fight, I would like to have another grueling boss fight. Thank you. <laughs> Assuming the average gel is grueling. I don't know. It depends on what it's doing. Hi there. Also, I'm not scared of the dragons anymore. I'll just say that right out. Like, I'm not scared of these dragons. Let me demonstrate why. Sir, I'm over here. First off, they're blind, apparently. <laughs> okay. That's nice. Whack. Whack. Oh no, scary jump attack. And watch for the pause. Yep. And then hit him again. And then one more time. He'll fall down. I stand right here. Jump attack. Oh, I missed. Oh, that's okay. Whack him again. 
whack him again. He starts to get up. I'm like, nope. Do that. Give a little love tap afterwards. There we go. And then kind of just dodge that. And done. All right. Anyways. You know what's weird? Some enemies, some big old colossal enemies, when they collapse on you, when they fall on you, it hurts you. Dragons? Doesn't happen. It doesn't hurt you at all. I don't really get it. It has milk white eyes, so it could actually be blind. Well, the dragons here are definitely diseased because of the whole rot thing. So... Yeah, probably. Oh, but you just wait. Just hold your tongue on that. I'm going to show you. We'll get to that. But first off, the Evergel. Yeah, the, I can definitely tell you the dragons are diseased because of a few things I noticed. But you'll see. You'll see yourself. All right. Waypoint made. All right, let's see. Let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of that. A little there. Okay. All right, who's in here? Hello, who is locked up here? Hello. Battle make cubes. You have magic. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's like a little fast mortar. Oh, it has range limits, though. That's good to know. Wait, what? I think that hit me, but it didn't do anything. Was I just outside of its range? All right. Okay. Yeah, that's a little mean. It has a blast radius, too. Anyways, this guy obviously is one that I probably want to approach. Get his face in, give him a whack. Oh my god, you don't have health. Okay. Oh no, giant hammer! The scariest of mage weapons. Wait. Sir, are you. Are you stunnable? <laughs> Alright. Oh god. Well, that was kind of pathetic, wasn't it? <laughs> I like the little death throw. Hooray! You know that enemy you just easily defeated that was really pathetic? Now you can summon him, because obviously you want to summon somebody like that. Actually, to be fair, range isn't bad for summoning, but... <laughs> if he was trying to audition to be summoned by me, he failed the audition. No, sir, I think we'll go with someone else. Sorry. Thank you for coming, but... Um... <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Well, that was uh, no, that was nothing to write home about. Um, let's let's go to the let's go to the Dragon Barrel Cave. That would give you a bit of trouble. The magic hammer attack was a kill. Well, I imagine it would if it hit if it hit you. It's very big. However, it was kind of slow, so I just kind of like whatever. That's <laughs> not barely anything happened. All right, the small robot over. Well, we're moving on. You can definitely see that I counter some things better than others. <laughs> that fight, like he did a little damage. Don't get me wrong. That mortar is kind of scary, but like, all right. So this place now, I kind of are. So this is a dungeon I haven't beaten myself, but I kind of already understand. Oh, I'm gonna hate this though. So, yeah, the you can skip the bear. I'm aware of this, but. He kind of is blocking treasure. And so we gotta beat him up, which means I'll probably die a few times trying to kill him. So, yeah. Are you serious? But I wasn't... Okay. Ow. No! Not the hug! Very rude. Yeah, there's also not a lot of room in here. <laughs> Which is not a great thing for these guys. Oh no, I just realized I have now... put myself in a situation where... Oh well. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm going to try something with him, thinking about it. Is that the greater room bear? I don't know, but maybe. It occurs to me I probably should have spit my runes before engaging this guy, but oh well. I, 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 it's fine. I got another, I got an idea. Um, let me, well, let me great rune up. We'll solid snake this section. Sneak up my runes. If he notices me. I'll sneak faster, I guess. Okay. Oh, no. Shit. No. He's on my runes. Not ideal. 
Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay. Nope. 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 <laughs> so, uh, plan B then. I had a plan B. Don't worry. If he's gonna be a dick and guard my runes, plan B is go up here because I don't think he fits. Right. <laughs> Fucking room bears, man. <laughs> Actually, plan C. Plan C. Plan C equipped. All right. Actually, that doesn't apply unless right. That doesn't help you when you already have your runes down. Right. Never mind. Right. Plan B will have to do. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. I Something died, and I got experience. Thank you. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, where is he? Right over there. I like how he let me sneak up like I would be able to get the runes, and then he just was like, uh, thank you, I pre- Why am I getting random- I think it will make you not make a new rune spot when you die, so I think they won't disappear if you- What the fuck did you just say? That was a weird sentence. Is he mad again? I think he's mad again. How the hell does he get mad again? He's upset again, but I don't know why. Well, I could reset him. Shit. How am I gonna do- You know what? Actually, fuck it. Let's play this- You know what plan C should be? Alright. Here's plan C. One second. Plan C, throw other people at the issue. Listen, he's he's guarding my runes at this point. I'm gonna throw other people at the issue. If you wanna join, go ahead. <laughs> I have activated the ability to find Did I activate this? Is this active? Yeah, it is active. Now, just to wait. Oh, here we go. Who's this? It's hidden demons! Oh, can't summon them. They were too hidden. I didn't find them. What level are you? I am level... 118. <laughs> Guys are going for the boss, not the bear. Well, some most people do, but... uh. I'll give him a point. I don't have a thing in range without a pa Okay, I'll password then. Password's four. Join if you want. No, honestly, if your runes are at risk, cheese the issue. Throw other people at it. <clears throat> also, fuck this bear. I... I actually did do invasion. I did actually do co-op here. I was actually summoned to this location. Sometimes people did want to fight the bear. You know how that bear has such a ridiculous amount of HP that three people, well, you know, it will take a while to kill it. <laughs> like, literally, that thing is m fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it is like 3,000 HP or something, if I recall. It's... Like he's a boss. Actually, I would argue he is a harder boss than the boss actually in here. <laughs> so. I'm at the Dragon Barrel Cave. I will accept all applicants. Just throw yourself at the bear. It'll eventually it will die. Because it doesn't get the heal. He's a bigger boss than most. Honestly, his room also. Why? Here's the thing that annoys me about the room bears the most. Did you guys think that I broke stealth at any point? Like when when I was going for my runes, what got his attention? Did I bump him? Maybe I bumped him. It's the only thing I can think of. But uh, like seriously though, <laughs> they're so fucking aware of their surroundings. <laughs> I'm gonna try to follow, throw a fireball at him or something. Thank God he can't go up here though. Fuck you! Oh, I missed. 
And how did he not even notice that? What the fuck? Oh, he kind of did, actually, I think. Ah, uh, asshole. Oh, uh, should I catch up? What the fuck? Alright, there we go. <laughs> I wonder how far I can go this way. Yeah, just a little demonstration. I did 500 damage and it barely did anything to him. Rawr. Rawr. Actually, fuck it, I have arrows. Rawr. Oh, rawr. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> Come on over. You hate me so much. Reduvia? Oh, that's... that. Uh, any melee attack... Any melee is just kind of a bad idea with these bears, I feel. Rawr. What sucks is you can only jump up in this one spot. If you try to jump over here, you can't do it. Hello? Can you not even approach me here? I mean, you're trying to use the sonic attack, which I get, but... Actually, this this section might be safe. Whoop! Haha, <laughs> in the head, fuck you. <laughs> I'm not too worried about the sonic attack. It can... It can fuck you up, but it won't kill me one hit or anything. <laughs> it, uh, asshole. Oh, nope, okay. I, I presume that he can't approach me. You know, I might be able to actually stun lock him if I'm lucky, if I'm careful. Ow. Oh, he just took that like a champ, didn't he? I'm amazed that I stunned him with arrows. What the fuck? And you may wonder, oh, Charm, you should approach him and go stab- No. That's more risky than just doing this. <laughs> Whoa, if I stand just right, he, his honor always hits the wall before it hits me. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. The only problem is this is sure a fucking waste of arrows in a way. Actually, I should go back to my normal arrows, because they're, uh... Ow. Okay, heal time. Is anybody summonable yet? I was waiting for that, but then I was like, I'm bored, I'll shoot arrows. Oh, here we go. There, there's, there's Beerus. <laughs> well, at least we know it's safe over here, so you can stand here. Ha, ha, ha. Gotcha. <laughs> How's he dodging so well? Look how huge he is. Actually, if Beerus just wants to take advantage of him getting stunned, we can probably stun him again. Ow. Oh, I missed the chance. Oh, ah, fuck. Ah, hi there. Okay. How's it going? You, I'm trying to stun him. I have to get a really consecutive shot going. Actually, I think it's the Storm Arrows. I think that's their property, because I'm not using the Storm Arrows now. Ow. Are you... Did I... Are you summoning? What's going on here? What happened over here? All right, well... You are standing on the summon side. Oh, but I already tried summoning him. What the fuck? I tried summoning him back there! It's not my fault. He moved for some reason. I don't know why. I already summoned you with the other sign, doofus. <laughs> Ow. 
Actually, wait, I'm ready. Oh, okay, well. Okay, he just did 4,000 damage and then did like a third of his health bar. Okay, never mind. He has like 12,000 HP. My bad. <laughs> he is casually dodging you. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. No, no, no. That's not good. <laughs> I forgot about that possibility. <laughs> uh, I will alt F for the game. <laughs> Unless you could take him. Ah, oh, he's right there. Get him. <laughs> I may just alt F for... I don't want to lose the runes, yo. I want to lose the runes. If, if you die... If he comes for me... Back up. Uh... I guess I'll drink a potion. Okay, he's dead. I'm leaving. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Also, he's doing the cheese. Like, noted. <laughs> yeah, that's the real problem with using method 3. I forgot. Or method C. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> That guy wasn't cheesing? Sure looked like he was using the cheese attack. Is it a variation of the cheese attack? I don't know. Listen, people can cheese if they want, but I'm going to alt F4 the game if if I don't feel like I like a situation. So there. <laughs> I wasn't in this to do PvP. Damn, all the wasted arrows. The bear's going to be back at full health. No, uh, plan, uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Madness is PvP, well, just using Madness in general is not great, as far as I- I don't even understand Madness, so I'm not gauging that guy. I'm amazed he didn't- he actually split up me and Beerus, I'm surprised he didn't just try to stab me at that point. Long range frigid burst is- since it's set, so many people can't handle it. Oh, I see. Yeah, honestly, it's my bad that I forgot to use the, the runes I got after the boss fight. To be fair, it's like two levels, but I still want those two levels, you know? I've lost enough runes in the course of this playthrough that I don't want to lose more. <laughs> my runes are still over there. We're all good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sheesh, fuck that shit. Alright. I'm gonna do an idea. Wait! Isn't there a... No, that's not it. Do you think... That if he walks back that way, I could just go past him? Also, not that forward in PvP too much will lock you out of multiplayer. I'd rather... F I don't care. I really don't care. Also, it doesn't. It puts you in a pool where you can only play with people who have also done stuff like that. But as far as I'm aware, password multiplayer still will work regardless. And also, fuck you because I don't care. Again, I, wanted, I didn't want to lose those runes, so... I think I'm in an understandable position. That's literally the first time I've done that, so. I'm there if you want to summon. You, hey, listen. As long as you could take down PvP encounters. I guess whatever. That being said, what is this asshole doing? Oh, wait, hold on. I just realized something. It's not, again, it doesn't lock you out of multiplayer. It, it just puts you in a different pool. But that's only if you do it a whole bunch and also nobody understands the system, so you can... Don't don't worry so much. Stop staying, stating, talking about assumptive stuff. Alright, you know, I'm gonna try something. What was that? No, he didn't care. What was that? Oh no! 
He's just out of the way at this point. There we go. Yeah, I'm moving. Oh, wow! He's glitching now. Holy crap! Should really keep walking that general direction, shouldn't you? I wonder if I can walk by him while he's focused. <laughs> Not sure. Alright, here's a new strategy. I'm not even particularly interested in anybody defeating this thing. All I want you to do all I want you to do is pull that guy out of the way of the cave with my runes in it, distract him and, so I can go in there and grab him. That's all I want. <laughs> Just move the fucker out of the way, please. <laughs> and I'll work and we'll kill it afterwards when I actually have the runes. And if I die again, I'll make sure I'll die in a better position. Hello. I thought you could summon two people. Oh, there we go. Just get that fucker out of my way, please. <laughs> That's all I ask. <laughs> just pull him to the right side of the room. And then I'll just rush my, my souls. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, now we can engage him however we want. <laughs> I just don't want to die in that fucking room again. That's all. I'm not going there. Fuck you. Good. Just whack him. Don't even take the stun. No, don't get stuck over here. Oh, God, I'm stuck on him. Slip past him. Yay, kind of. This motherfucker. Okay. Is he focused on? I don't even know. Yeah, don't, don't stab him in the face. Just whack him while he's down. It does more damage. Ow! Okay, he's almost dead. Why is he all smoky? Ow! Woo! 8,000 ruins. That is not worth it for 8,000. Thank you, guys. Now I don't care if even an invader shows up as long as I don't die in the bear's cave way. Let's, let's just explore over here so I don't ever have to fight the bear again. I don't actually know what's over here. Animal cave! I don't know why it's an animal cave, but everything gets to die now. What's this? Bull's goat talisman. Kill all the animals. Nothing must survive. Bloodthirst. What were these? Was this bear trying to be a good person, protect all these fucking squirrels? Yeah, fuck the bear. He still sucks. Um, what did I? What's this talisman I got? Uh, let's see. Raises poise. Okay, cool. <laughs> hey, good work. You defeated a bear that completely smashes you on the ground. Have some extra poise. <laughs> you know that thing you could have used before fighting the bear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for that. Alright, well, we may as well defeat the boss, eh? Let's see if we have time. Which way is it to the boss? I need to pick up items, though. Ooh, a golden rune 12. Warming stone. Let me put my thingy on my belt. There we go. Yeah, I actually forget which direction it's forward. I think it's... Is it this way? I missed something, though. You guys could traipse down there and kill wolves if you want. I need to find items. That's the way f I came from. And... Oh, Matt left. Okay, that's fine. See you later. Look how many... Oh, it's just blood in general. I was going to say, look how many blood stains, but it's just blood in general. Ooh, a tree. I think I found those before. Crystal bud. I haven't seen many of those. Fucking deer. Connection area. Oh, no. Fucking deer again. I'm just angry at this point. Don't, don't mind me. <laughs> I have half of my Estus, but that's probably still fine for the boss. 
fucking deer. All right. <laughs> I think I'm done. I think I'm done saying that now. This cave is really easy, but then they just threw in a really fucking terrible bear into it. That's basically this cave. Easy with a dash of bear. For some fucking reason. I don't know. I don't know why they included the bear. It's not fair. The bear ain't no, the bear is not fair. Did I miss any items? I'm trying to rush before we get an invader, but I wanna make sure I get everything. Especially everything around the bear zone. Meanwhile, Beerus is downstairs killing random wolves, which, you know, it's over here. Hmm. Grass! Yeah. I guess so. Oh. So, like, I didn't realize there was a ramp way down. Okay. Poise is for resisting Stager. Correct. And, yeah, correct. Also, man, I understand the connection error that happens. What, okay, what items are here, though? Beast blood? <laughs> that guy died so hard, his blood mixed with beasts. <laughs> they ate him. That's way back up. Yep, okay. Unless, I, unless there's some secret walls or something, I think I got everything here. Nice depot. Yeah, here's a weird thing. He can't make. He can't go forward. He's stuck. There's actually a wall here. Until I start the boss fight, he can't make it through. Weirdly enough, going through this point doesn't start a boss fight. It's weird. I have to go down here first. Uh, let's see. Am I ready? Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, I'm half <laughs> half my hilly's gone, but whatever. All right, get ready. And I know this ball. I never fought solo. Okay, I'm just gonna hide. Ooh, I have a stealth opportunity. I didn't know this. All right, hold on a second. I'm gonna do something about this. So there's two boys, as you notice. They're uh, they're uh, one's Eden, I guess. <laughs> See if I can stealth this just right. Yep. <laughs> All right, come on down. I'm just gonna waste time till Beerus gets here just to be safe. Okay, actually, ow. I will say an ow. Yeah, I don't like dealing with that solo, geez, all right. So uh, this guy here, he's got a big sword, he's mean. Meanwhile, his, his friend, the hook thrower, is gonna throw hooks and he's mean, but the hook thrower, ow. It's not a big deal if you get up close to him, so I'm just gonna... Ow. Look, I said here, not a big deal if I get up close to him. Fucking stop it. All right, that's better. Fucking stop it. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, he's very poise breakable. I already knew that from co-op. <laughs> if I use three chalice and plus two, oh cool! I'll add that to the other. I'll add that right. I'll put that right alongside the other flame three chalice and plus one that I never used. <laughs> Thanks for that game. <laughs> Where the fuck do you get the tipos? <laughs> oh wow, fire resistance. Something that is only conditionally needed. I mean, okay, maybe there might be one boss fight where it's like, that's amazing. But here's the thing. Most bosses have more than one attack. <laughs> so it's like, hooray, I'm protected from their fire damage. However, they have all stepped on me. I'm dead. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't care about the fits of talismans very much, if you can't tell. Yeah, solo one of the great sword. That's what I've done in co-op. Just split up and just... Stu I can stun lock the great sword guy too, but... It's definitely a little harder if you got hooks being thrown on your back, like it's that one hook throwing Kremlin from Donkey Kong Country 2. I don't remember. What was that guy's name? He threw hooks and it came back. It's like a hook boomerang. A hooker ring. I mean, it doesn't sound very right. Um, 
It's quite weird. Is this a stake? Um, is that a stake that lets you go back? If you die, that's a weird place for it, but okay. Is it in the boss room? All right. Um, all right, I guess I'm done here. <laughs> you really want to know where get the TFOs? I don't need to desperately know. I just want to know if I missed it. I prefer this emote. I'll demonstrate. I like how I still haven't used my runes. Hold on. Let's see it now. Okay, what is dying? I keep getting runes, but I don't know what's dying. <laughs> like, something is just spontaneously exploding. I don't know. Alright, 35 vigor. That's exactly where I wanted to put it. Hopefully that is enough to survive life. I, I don't know if it's enough to survive life, but hopefully it is. Because I, I've... I don't like increasing vigor, but I went ahead and did it for a while, and now I have a lot, and it should be enough, because fuck you. I don't want to keep increasing vigor, I'd like to focus on their stats now. I'm gonna eat these things, though. There we go. See, how much do I need? I need 92 and I have 89, okay. All right, what's next? Oh yeah, so here's a tower. I'm not gonna go over to it, but there's a tower over here. There's not much here. There's like crystals and shit. There's a tower called Lin's Rise. It seems to be the same sort of deal as this tower, Ordru's Rise, if you recall. This was a tower I couldn't enter because I needed to like, something and something, Beastman unlocks door. I don't know, I don't really remember. Four Beastmen of the Apocalypse, I don't fucking. Anyways, yeah, it's locked too, so probably for the same reason. So noted, but I'm gonna mark it. Not gonna worry about it though. Um, then we got stuff to do in that section, but for that, let's see. Oh, yes, so um, this kind of counted as the southern part of the map, but it was on the northern part of the map, so we'll go here. Celia Hideaway, also known as the dungeon I bet 90% of people have missed. <laughs> because this thing, this dungeon, <laughs> was literally behind an illusory fucking wall. And I don't mean like a flat, suspicious looking wall. I mean, I mean, um, I'll show you. I mean that this was, now the other, the, the other reason I really found it is cause I figured I'd start looking at an online map to see if I missed any dungeons. And I noticed this one being here and I was like, that's kind of weird. And then I looked into it more and yeah. So, um, See all these rocky walls and stuff? There was just a rock here. Not even like a, oh, that rock looks suspicious. No, it was just more rocky wall. It was just like this rocky wall. But it was rocky wall I could whack, and then it went away. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the thing. Now, there are a bunch of signs here, usually, that do kind of give you a hint. But, yeah, this, basically, this area kind of counts as the southern part of the map, but I popped down here. To hit up this little section that was, you know, unavailable. I kind of popped briefly into the Cilia Town of Sorcery, which is a place that confuses me because it's laid out like a place where you have to be forced off your horse and platform around, but in fact, you can totally just jump your horse onto rooftops, which is kind of nice, actually. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional or a glitch, but yeah. Anyways, let's do the hideaway because technically it's part of the north, I think. There are hints. Yes, there's a note that somebody sells, apparently. You know, one of those notes I never read. Remember those? That does tell you about this wall, so that's how you're supposed to find out. But but also, there's messages. There's usually messages leading to this wall that say, like, hit this, hit this, hit this. I don't believe... I like this note. I don't believe... It. Look at how many appraisals this guy got. I don't believe it! <laughs> but yeah. Dog! Oh, dog! Hidden path ahead. Try attack... Obviously... The most convincing message that they're selling a secret here is doggo dog. Because -dog. <laughs> nobody knows, everybody knows that dogs hold the biggest secrets. So naturally, if you're talking about a dog, that means there's probably an illusory wall around. But anyways, I know nothing about this place, or do I? No, I don't think I know anything about this place, so. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. I see a glow. A glow beckoning me forward. 
Like an angler fish. Oh no, it's just some guy playing with a stone. Never mind, it's just some guy sitting down, whatever. That's fine, I don't really mind. Does he have friends, sir? Doesn't look like he has friends. No roof friends. <laughs> He's just kind of chill. No friends? No friends. Okay. Oh, you're the guy I- Oh, I've dealt with you before. You're just guy here. <laughs> never seen him playing with a- <laughs> I've never seen him playing with their rocks before, though, but, you know. <laughs> hmm. Crystally place. So yeah, it's another mine. That's chill. It's kind of a more crystally mine though. Got big old purple crystals. Hello. You're dead. All right. Now these guys, these guys are more my speed. How the hell did? No. Oh. Visions of tarnished. What? What? <laughs> I almost expected the message to say. Uh, like, behold, stuck, and then I couldn't get out of that situation or something. It's <laughs> all this. Hidden path ahead. Tunnel ahead. I mean, yeah, it's kind of obvious because there's a lot of noise from this direction. And also, I think that's the end, right? Like, there's no other path? Yeah, that's super sus. Um, yeah, this is obviously a path. But you see what I mean? Like, look at these illusory walls. <laughs> oh, whoops, I broke it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not anything obvious looking. Aside from the, th the context clues, which does make it a little more obvious. <laughs> Are we... <laughs> Man, I try... <laughs> Dungeon's like, oh boy. Oh, he might have gone through my entrance illusory wall, but I'm going to trick him with the next illusory wall. Oh, he went through the second illusory wall. Well, don't worry. There's another one right afterwards in a straight hallway with no other direction. He's not going to see that one coming. I'm going to get him this time, says the dungeon. <laughs> oh, he's not going to He's not gonna figure this one out. No sorry. I bet you, though, it, it does seem like... Listen, listen, with how obvious that illusory wall was, I'm actually suspicious of... Like, that was such an obvious illusory wall that I'm wondering if it is supposed to hide the fact there's another illusory wall somewhere else. You know? One of those, you find the obvious thing, think you found everything, but in fact you missed something because the obvious thing tricked you. That would actually be reasonable. Or it could just be a really shitty illusory wall placement. I don't know. We could... I don't really know illusory walls too well at this point. So wait, it doesn't look like... I really thought there would be something else, but no. It looks like this is just... yeah. What the hell is that noise? Something screeched it. What the fuck is... Hello, what are you? Alright, bye. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Kind of vaguely, rem the shape of it kind of vaguely looks like the like the uh, crawdad people, but or whatever they are, but it's not the same. They sure like to screech, though. All right, let's see. So, oh god, visions, <laughs> visions of uh, oh god, the Crystal Cave DS One. Oh. Yeah. Neat. Very cool. I'll uh, delve you in a minute. Actually, I'm delving out because if I drop down there, I can't go the other way. Stop. <laughs> that barely hurt me. <laughs> Alright, good. Another way back uh, around. Now I'm really suspicious of this whole dungeon for having more, like, having more illusory walls, though. That looks like a drop down onto that crystal, which leads to nothing, which means more drop down afterwards, which leads to that. The fuck's that? Hello. Hello, Mr. Snail. How are you doing? Oh, look, look how alert it is. Alright, well, anyways, I guess I'll fight a snail. Let's start with this one. Hello, Snail. Bye, Snail. <laughs> What do these do? 
Okay, that's kind of neat. Oh, ow! Careful there. Oh god, they could jump! Jumpy snails. I am missing. Hold on. There we go. Wow, even a single strike does it. They're pretty weak. Alright. Hmm, what's this about? Never mind then, I guess. <laughs> okay, whoever is screeching, shut the fuck up. You're loud. People are trying to sleep. Shut up. I mean, I don't know if people are trying to sleep, but I bet somebody's trying to sleep here. Oh, shit, not that attack. Rude. Cool. Well, Hype Train already maxed. I was wondering why... Wondering how long the barking would go on. I guess the answer is quite a bit longer. Thank you, everyone. Uh, by the way, if, if, if there's... If there's uh, illusory walls in here, please let me know. I'm not going to be hitting every wall. It's kind of lame. I don't know. Oh wow, Crimson's also knocking out the tier twos. Yeah, that's true. Thank you very much, Crimson. All right, well. Hmm? What? Excuse me? What? Okay. <laughs> I think something was trying to murder me, but I got very confused by how that was working out for them. Um, I think something down there wants to murder me, but it also fell or something. All right. I haven't been in here. What's in here? Ah, so the tier two is just why the bar filled so fast. That makes sense. Ah, here's the here's the route up from the bottom, isn't it? I wanted to find that before dropping down. Assuming there was one. Uh, all right. Well, step one, pick off any enemies before exploring. Oh. First off, liar. Yeah. Probably a losery wall message. I don't really know where I'm going, but the answer is wherever. My goodness, this really is an infinite number of barks. That's amazing. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> it means I can't listen for enemies, though. <laughs> I just have something trying to approach. Oh, I knew it. I knew silly. Oh, okay. Just snails with slightly more clever attack strategies. Got it. Ooh, a glowing stale. Neat. Oh, shit. Rude. Oh, hi there. Well, there's the boss room, you know? I literally cannot use environmental sounds to be aware of, pro of threats. That's great. Honestly, though, I'm getting money in the process, so it works out. What's up here? Absolutely nothing. Oh, there's a guy up there. I want to go up there. Cause I have to find a way around. It looks like I can fully traverse up and down in this place, so let's just walk around and look for shit. Don't mind if I do. Cherum Doc's heart. Cherum Doc's heart. Cherum Doc's heart. 
Oh my god, what what made you guys suddenly so jitterous? Thank you. <laughs> We're not done. How much more is there? <laughs> How long is this? Is that it? I think that's it. <laughs> Like I can, I cannot keep track. <laughs> Aha! All right. Again, if there's any other ones, let me know. That all. Crimson had the last word. Oh, what's this? A crystal spear. I don't really use spears, but let's look at it. I got a level one hyper mode, it's a sleepy kitty. Works for me, I suppose. Choo choo. More like snore snore. Impelling thrust. Skill that lets pierce the armor from her. Okay, just that basic thing. Uh, pure crystal. Powerful magic. Scales of intelligence. Yeah, definitely not for me then. But, still kind of interesting. this praise the light you mean praise the sun and it's producing the light so for the is the word sun not available in this i think i would have seen a praise the sun at some point if it was they removed it so people couldn't say that how rude okay there's clearly stuff i'm missing in this place but i also do not geometrically understand how to get it <laughs> let's go back up Because I've seen two one-way drops in this place that I can't access, so there's definitely stuff I'm missing. Okay. First off, maybe this leads somewhere? Actually, I think about it. Yeah, there's this whole dark area with the thing that's screaming. I haven't really interacted with that, have I? Where is it? That's probably a good question to ask, right? <laughs> well, this is not a death drop, I think. Yeah, it's fine. Um, all right. <laughs> Shut up. Why did uh, Snell, Snell hissing at me? I don't appreciate that. Uh oh. Hmm, there's a marker and marker over there. Oh, wait, is he hitting the. St He's actually hitting the Snells while trying to attack me. Interesting. Oh, so that's pretty cool. I threw a purple stone on the purple crystals. That looks pretty neat, actually. Neat. Ow. <laughs> What's this guy's deal? Oh, that looks an awful lot like that lady I learned sorceries from. Hopefully it wasn't the lady I learned sorceries from, because she was, if that's so, she was being kind of a dick there. Um, <laughs> Burger King? What's this? First off, you don't have the right, therefore, you don't have the right. Ah, I see. Sill can be only broken by a sill break. Well, that sounds pretty logical, Charm is actually. One of favorite doggos makes barking noises. Oh, Billy, thank you so much. At this point, I should buy some fast food for tonight, jeez. I have been dealing with a lot of shit lately, as as the beginning of the stream said. Billy, that's amazing. Thank you. I think I'm going to get food now that you've done that. Seal could be only broken by a seal breaker. 
Meanwhile, water is wet. Um, <laughs> uh, like, obviously. I think streaming person's over here. Streaming person, hello. What the fuck are you? What do you do? You have a lot of legs. Wait, you better not be what I think you are. No. What? Oh my god, that's fast. Wait, what? Wait, the fuck? Uh, okay, that's weird. <laughs> I don't understand, but I'll probably just hit it a lot so it can't move around. <laughs> I don't understand that attack. I, I don't like you. Oh god, you're climbing. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we're fine now. Oh shit. Cornered! Yep. It doesn't look that hard, it's just... Yeah, there. Oh god, poison. What a parting gift they gave me. Alright, there we go. More intimidating than it is actually dangerous, but they also kind of cornered me. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> they don't have much health, I notice, so... Also, I think I was stunning them? Was I poise breaking them? I feel like I was. At least I s shut up the random screaming now. <laughs> oh. What are those for? I have a few of them. All right, duplicate ashes the work. Revenue is very merciful. Didn't teleport away. <clears throat> if it didn't teleport away, you were screwed. No, I could have healed through the damage it was dealing. If I had to, but I would have probably had to use an extra Estus. All right then. The weak one didn't have full moveset, so they'll get worse. I mean, figures. I don't understand the teleport, though. It's a weird teleport. All right. <clears throat> yep, this exit's here. All right, cool. But I I noticed there was another drop down. There's there's an enemy I haven't killed in a drop down location. I think it was just fall the noise, actually. There's definitely at least one other drop down here somewhere. I probably over there, actually. Time for ranged battle. Where am I? Oh, right. Uh, I just did a big loop. But you can hear the enemy that I need to kill. He's making noise right now. Respawn must. So, what was up with that weird effect they did where they merged to the ground and they just reappear? I don't. Respawning? Do they are they making clones of themselves when they do that or what? Oh, this guy's right there. Well, maybe that'll lead me to the path I need. It does not. I definitely. There's definitely still a path I missed, though. Um. Because there's still one drop down I never saw the other side of, basically. So majority of them will respawn even if you kill- So basically they just- they're like the skeletons from Dark Souls 1 when you don't kill their handlers. That's fun. Okay, let me uh... Let me try to let me try to geometrically figure this out by finding the point where it's like uh let's see where was the place where I noticed the drop down I couldn't do <coughs> was it over here <coughs> it might be it might be
Where was it? I'll know it when I see it. That's the chest. Yeah, I'm getting close. I hear him now. Yeah, because there's a worker as well, so. So right here. On the way to the boss. All right here. So that area is right there. Okay. Mental note made. Actually, couldn't I just open the map and kind of just put one in front of me? Did that not work? Yeah, that's good. All right. Okay, so there's that area, and now I have it marked, so I can kind of keep it, keep my 3D spatial awareness together. If I were to guess, I, I, I mean, I guess I would put it right here, but somewhere around there. Or I'd have you drop down somehow. Okay. Let's go back up. And I will loop the loop. See the other thing, the, 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 we, these are twisting, winding paths, so it's hard to keep track of an area. But with that marker down, uh, I can do so. So let's see. So it is in that direction, so let's go back up. I don't like making these jumps, I'll be honest with you. It's like, it's right now it's that way. I expect the reason- I expect I need to find a loser wall somewhere. That would make the most logical sense, or it's possible to drop down I didn't do. Yeah, it's in the direction of- oh, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should do that loop again, actually. Oh, it could also be through here, though. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Now, why can't I open this? A sill breaker. What does that mean? Does that mean I gotta go grab somebody and be like, Hey, come with me, drag him over here like some NPC and be like, Hey, break this. Or, do I need an item? Or, do I need to kill somebody? Hmm, there's a few options with this. Still can only be broken by a silver. What what do I have to do to unlock that? Item from a quest line. Well, okay then. Now here's the other important question though. Does that does that have anything to do? With the the, the ledge I can't reach. <laughs> It's possible that it it just leaves that ledge. I don't know. It may be a ledge I can reach right now, or it may be a ledge I cannot reach right now. If it's a ledge I can reach right now, I'd like to reach it right now, but... Hmm, okay. Figured I'd check all the obvious walls, but... Nada. All right, then. Well, I'm out of ideas. I'd rather not keep making these pit, pit jumps, so... I guess I'm... I guess I'm done? Liar head, first stuff liar. I like how there's usually more liar messages than the messages that's actually lying. <laughs> I guess they get downvoted out of into oblivion or something.
Hold on a second. I might be able to do something with this. Technically a too far jump, but I have a few thoughts. Can I fuck around with this wall? And it's geometry. Maybe. Random curiosity, is there anything that would increase my jump distance? Or my run distance? Or my jump running and jump distance? Thoughts? That I would like to answer the question. Oh, hello. Hello. Why the hell can I stand on that? All right. <laughs> Intriguing. Noted. Let's uh, mix these ideas together. <clears throat> jump there. Climb up there. Running jump. Land there. Jump a bunch. Oh, hang to the left. Jump up. Okay, hold on. Ah. I have a few thoughts. Nope, okay. Horse is double jump? Can't jump with a horse in here, sadly. Damn it, that, that back step. It's really hard to set up for precision platforming. I saw that little bit. Okay, hold on. I don't know if anybody noticed, but I didn't slide smoothly down that wall when I hit that wall. There might be an idea to be had here. Damn it. If I can just barely trigger another jump, that would be enough. I'm doing this because I very much assume I need to access the rune thing, and uh, <laughs> if I may be uh, if I may be uh, specific in my wording, I don't really have interest in going back to a random dungeon. Just to unlock a fucking door I couldn't before. That sounds. I like how all these dungeons are generally completable as one little contained thing, and going back later to go back to an old dungeon is kind of annoying sounding, and I'd rather love to cheese it. <laughs> Like, it's not even an important place that I have reason to return to. It's just some dungeon. <laughs> the Wing Scythe? Let's see. Well, what weapon category is that in? Ah, I do. Thank you for letting me know. Let me try something. I don't actually know what its weapon art is. Angel's Wing. Jump and abuse the wind blade with light. Slashing attack. That's interesting. Okay. Can I use it on the, on the air? No. Let's see what it does. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, hold on. That actually might work. <laughs> It's not that it's specifically here though. If I jump, land on this little bit, and get the art off, that would work out perfectly. Cause there's a little there's a little bump here. I think I could like if I could cheese this right here, then I could probably cheese the other thing I noticed. That is a cool weapon art, though. Thanks for pointing it out. I don't know if that's a terribly useful jump. Since it can't be done in midair. But... Like noted, right? That could be useful to me. Not in this situation, I don't think, but... 
You said to break some things. I'll definitely gonna keep record of it. I'm actually gonna try something. Thanks for letting me know. Oh my god. <laughs> I fucking propelled myself. Okay, I did it again. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to climb this. Sometimes it's really easy to climb this. Um, now, I could actually stand on this one as well, which is higher up, but... Oh, actually, hold on. Positing a thought here. Damn, okay. Whoops. <laughs> all right, all right. I am just checking the texture of the crystal ball. All right. Unfortunately, that means I'm more or less out of ideas and the, the wing scythe doesn't quite allow me what I was hoping it might. Good to know it exists, though. I might use it for other things. Oh, my boyfriend's finally home. He left today. I don't know where he was. He wasn't at work. Yeah. Um, well, I would like to know what's up there and how you get up there. I would simply like to know if it requires that stupid door or if it doesn't. That would be good information, honestly. Is there any, uh... Okay, let me ask this. Is there any weapon that gives you a good old, big old horizontal leap? Any, any weapon that gives you a big old horizontal leap? Like just a leap forward, a big old leap forward? That might be useful here. If there's any such thing. It could help me out. Anybody know of any weapons that do that? Hi there. Welcome back, finally. Did you get my telegram messages? What do you think? I, don't know. I guess I eventually did, but only after I started streaming. You gave me them two hours into streaming. You expect me to read that? <laughs> Anyways, I figured it was the end after Intentionally. <laughs> no, intentionally. Well, that's when they arrive. Look at that. Jeez. You can tell when I turned my phone on. Uh, how was your game? It's good. No, I died. That's good. Almost died. <laughs> I like how you assume things. That's, yeah, I. You need to figure out why your phone does that. No, it makes communication with you difficult. It might. It might be that it just does not update Telegram. If my phone's on. On like, it's not open. Yeah, maybe it's kind of weird though. I guess does your. Um, because it doesn't usually send right away. Does like screen it, off like sh hibernate things because of no, settings that you set up with power? No, no. no. Huh. It shouldn't. There's no reason why it wouldn't. I mean, it's still. Receives phone calls and texts and emails. Hmm. Don't know why it's just specifically Telegram. We're doing well to here too. I'm getting it's a little annoyed at this. Uh, I'm I'm in I'm in uh, I'm in the dungeon that was a loser wall dungeon. Oh, this and I'm getting very upset there, because I don't know how to get over there. I I use a waypoint to try to check walls around the area, and I just don't know. So I've now I've been trying to I've been trying to fuck around. I didn't uh, learn you can I didn't learn you can stand on this. I d I remember this area, but I don't remember how you get there. There is another... There's also something that made me annoyed. In the other lower section, there was a magic door that said I need to break the seal first. With a seal breaker or something. And I'm just like, bitch, are you telling me to come back to some random-ass dungeon just to open a door? <laughs> no, that's really the end, the end of the dungeon, I believe. And that is... Uh... If I am understanding the situation correctly, it's something you need to break in the actual town. Oh. Well, I did break it down a door. I did break down a random door in, in the town of Source 3. So I think there's door, three so. things to break barriers with in I the hit, town. Yeah, and, I did one. And there were two barriers in the town and then the ones in here. I didn't so, actually know what the third one was because I broke them all in the town. So it actually, so it affects the one in here. Okay, that's not too big a deal. I could technically do that pretty easily. 
Uh, but what about that area I was trying to jump to? Is it associated with that, you think? I'm not sure. I don't remember. I just remember that it was like a loop around the Toad Path and one of the other paths. It wasn't an illusionary wall, I don't think. It was just a path. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's the thing. Like, I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, is this a door path or is it just... It's, it's just a loop path. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. But I, I've, been, I've been... This place has a slightly annoying layout. But yeah, so I can't open that yet, but... I get it now. Okay. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. I, I know I already know what... You just have to light torches, effectively. Yeah. Uh, the only um, reason I didn't even know there was a barrier there is I did this place after. Yeah. The, uh, the, the, so well, it's good to do so, I, I guess. I wonder where that uh, third seal was, but that doesn't answer that question. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's for some reason in this place. I don't know why. It's not... In, the other seals are in the town, right? Yes. So where well, I the... I guess this is part of the Selena town of Soyuz. I guess. It's, it's right on the edge. Away. It's like around the edge, though. So, I mean... Why well, uh, does have Selena well, right in the name? it's there, but it, it's, the city's pretty large, to be fair. So, yeah. so you think it's a so it's a drop down? That's what I'm thinking too. It's in the big room. The crystals. Well, which one? <laughs> this, yeah, this is on the other Anyway, I'm gonna go take the coat off. All right, thank you. I mean, this is a very large room of crystals, but like. I'm, yeah, so from what I hear, that, that okay, so ignoring the wall, which I know how to deal with now, because I actually have seen a little bit of those walls before, I just kind of forgot. Uh, the question is then, where do I need to go to. Yeah, it's, it's gotta be just some drop down point, right? But I don't know where. There's a lot of places where I can drop down. So, you know. Like, which one, yo? Or do you mean this big old room? Is this the room? This is the room with the biggest crystals. Actually, there wasn't a lot here, so maybe there is a secret around here. Have I gone up here? I have, but... Have I explored all the way back here? This is a chest area. So, this is the crystal sphere room. And I mean, I could definitely have fun climbing crystals, but it doesn't really benefit me from the looks of it. Hmm. That's the way to where I'm suspicious of things, obviously. But okay, let's see. Okay. Right, well, if I, since I got here, I might as well put something here. Hold too high up. There's nothing there. <laughs> so. <laughs> Alright. I am. I'm a little bit. I, I'm fucking. You know, I've expressed how I feel like Dark Souls 1 and 2 have more nuanced design in this game, but that's kind of to be expected because it's an open world game, so their design has to be more all over the place effectively and stuff. There is a hole there, look at that. Well, I've also realized that a few of the places, I would define them this way. Garbage heap. <laughs> I would define some areas of this game as a garbage heap, aka just kind of a mess of rubble. <laughs> this place really does apply to that statement. Ooh, 
Like, it's just like rubble. Just rubble or garbage heap or just rubble heap or something like that. Yeah, I, I'd like to know how to get this item so we can go fight the boss and do other things. Because uh, it might be useful, whatever's up there. And that looks like a suspicious fucking stupid motherfucker. Yeah, I don't know, feels like I should be able to break one of these. Honestly, some of it does look suspicious. Oh, I think I upset the guy. <laughs> Hold on a second. What, what? What the fuck just broke? That wasn't me. <laughs> Sir? No, he's still my. What the hell happened? He's still. What the fuck just broke? <laughs> Something broke. Like something, like, you know, like a crystal or something broke. Um. Huh. Like this. Or this. Or this. Go back to the room where the crystal sphere was in, to the top back near where you first enter it. Okay. Mm -hmm. See if I can figure it out with that pinpointed statement. Mm -hmm. So this room, up at the top, near where I entered it. So that would be from... This is where I entered the room from, so it's near here, near the top. Uh, wait, uh, no? Maybe... Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I was climbing the crystals, but I didn't quite climb high enough, I guess. <laughs> Uh, don't let me interrupt your conversation. Actually, let me interrupt your conversation. Let's try this. Let's see if it's just right. Oh, they saw me! Shit! <laughs> what are up with these people? Well, that's a little suspicious. What's their deal exactly? Crystallian ashes. Tell me more. Actually, yeah. What is this? Uh, summons crystallian spirit. Uh huh. Round crystalline blades, both big and small. Sturdy body, home for crystal. Hard to blunt its bonus blades. For blows for bludgeoning weapons shatter easily. Okay. Hmm. These mask people are they? Are they? Are they a cult? Because they kind of look like they're a cult. But also, the magic teacher taught us stuff. I also had one of those, but it was a little different. They're probably a cult. Oh, I guess I gotta remove this now. Oh, it removed it when I stood on it, huh? I didn't actually know that's how a waypoint de deleted itself. All right, well, look cool. Mages? Yep, that's a cult. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, I have not gone that way. No, here, here's what. Here's my map. <laughs> here's my map for you, so you can see. <laughs> yeah, I know the mages are to the north. Um, probably not too far. I'm bald. Well, if they're if they're a cult, then I should I should definitely only get there when I'm stronger, because I don't want to join. Cults are stupid. Hello. That's a lot of people. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Switching weapons. One moment. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, Scarlet Rot too. Lovely. Uh, you guys are mean, aren't you? Okay. Would you, sir? Very fancy dancing you're doing there, but um, nice little. Okay. 
Can I, can I just... Holy fuck! <laughs> I was not ready for this! <laughs> Sir, stop the jumping! It's silly, but also kind of threatening. Alright, let's just throw a fireball, I guess. That that work? I can't even tell. Ah, fuck. Damn it! I can't do anything! <laughs> Why is there so many? <laughs> Why are there three enemies resistant to my weapons? This is not the most reasonable fight in my personal opinion. Please stop doing the little hoppy thing! It's really annoying! <laughs> Seriously, what? Oh my god, I can't get an attack off! <laughs> this is comically stupid. They all oh, didn't even do that much damage. Alright. Uh. Oh my god. I like how the spear guy's like, I can just do the same thing over and over again because I got friends, lol. Alright, magic eye first then. Definitely. You bet I can't at all stun break them, holy shit. <laughs> I like how none of my weapons, like, it's just like, yeah, fuck you, you have the wrong weapons. Okay. You know, there are definitely enemies. There are definitely enemies in Souls games that are very resistant to some things, but this is a little bit ridiculous in my personal opinion. Spear Guy is just being a fucking troll, yo. It's not as bad as you think. Beerus, I'm gonna caution you to be careful how you phrase things, especially when you start stating an opinion as a fact. Not as bad as you think. Well, here's the thing. None of them actually do that much, though the mage is actually quite aggressive. Like, I, the mage is tricky, in my opinion. But, um... No, individually, they're not, they're not really that big a deal, but I, I can't hurt them. I haven't built up uh, blunt weapons. <laughs> I mean, I could randomly pull out a weapon for this situation. I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, I understand already that the crystal people are weak to blunt, so... Strike damage, in other words, is what I'm looking for, so... Um, but the thing is, I don't have any... This is really shit. I don't... I can't remember a situation in Dark Souls 1 or 2 where I was just like, Oh shit, well, I guess I gotta throw out the weapon I was building and just pick up something random because I can't kill this boss otherwise. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that happen in a Dark Souls 1 or 2. Uh, but apparently it happens in Elden Ring. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, I'll be honest with you. Um, let's do... How about my strike weapons? I guess I'll just hit him with a brick for a while and hope that works. Oh, the damage scaling is bad, but it probably will still be better damage. Oh yeah, the flails. I was building them, technically. I guess they would be probably the best bet. I kind of dropped off building them further, but I do have the Knight Rider. Uh, I could probably actually... Um, <laughs> almost feels like replacing the sword with the flail makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Because, uh, I mean... The sword's nice too, but like I'm thinking about. Okay, oh, well, as much as I would rather not have to, uh, I have to. Fuck! I have to walk out. I want to go upgrade it, but I can't just leave. Ugh. All right, hold on. Gotta crack their armor. Ah, oh, okay, I gotcha. But that's so I gotta hit them with strike weapons and then switch, basically. Eh. All right, I guess that's fine then. I don't think it's a really reasonable way of constructing a boss fight. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? Uh, I don't know. 
if if you want to do an armor break system, I feel like they should have a second bar, right? Like a like at a bar above their health bar, and you notice it's like break. You know, you're lowering that bar down, and then their armor breaks. Like that would be kind of better conveyance. I feel. You can crack about strike weapons. Okay. So should I just? But what's the goal here? Heavy hits or speedy hits? Summon Crystallian to fight Crystallian. Actually, that might work. I do. I do. Never. I don't ever really use them. Well, granted, I have been upgrading. Okay, listen. I have. Uh. Barely ever. No. <laughs> yeah, I have that. <laughs> uh, let's see. I have been upgrading the puppos. Well, you see. Uh, let's try the puppos just for distraction purposes, I guess. And then I can spend some time welling on them without having too much trouble, hopefully. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guess we'll just miss each other. You have enemies enough so they'll go to the you can process what you're aiming for. Oh, I have to break their armor with that? But there's three of them. I'm getting interrupted from getting them into that state. <laughs> But they can be backstabbed. Okay, that's good to know. That's going to be the more viable strategy. Um, all right, let me. Um... Let's throw those guys down as quickly as possible. All right, and with that distraction, I'm going for the mage for obvious reasons. <laughs> And the spear guy is just being a dick as usual. I love that little spinning did though. It's pretty cute. How many times do I gotta do this before they die though? Wow, the puppo is good at distractions at least. Okay, that's three. How many times I got backstab? Okay, cool. Probably should grab those. Grab them. Thank you. Oh, okay. Are we good now? Can I hurt you now? Am I allowed to fuck him up? <laughs> Listen, is the mages dead? I think I can handle the rest. Okay. Oh, I don't know why that guy's just staying there, but I'll take it. No, let me get it. Let me get the back step. Oh, fuck. No, no. Ah, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Now the wolves actually helped. Um, R2s, I guess? I suppose. Still, though, why... They expect you to just know that if you keep whacking them, you break their armor? I think that's really bad. I mean, I know Dark Souls games are supposed to be hard and all, but... There's a lack of conveyance in this fight. Also, uh, no, the, the dogs are fine. I just need to use the heavy R2s. Usually get introduced to these guys one at a time, but you went to Kayla first. Again, I don't like that logic, Beerus, because it's implying that in an open world game you play it in a specific direction. A specific order. And I don't think that expecting a player to go to certain areas before other certain areas in an open world game is a is a very reasonable thing to, to tell the player, basically. Also, the wolves are fine. They lasted long enough. I just need to use the R2s. The thing is, though, how would you know this unless you just threw yourself at these enemies? Is it really that crazy? Like, honestly, it kind of breaks... It breaks the logic of a Souls-like. 
if you are not doing good damage to an enemy, if, it, if, if what you're doing doesn't seem to have much of an effect, in a Souls-like, that's an idea, that's a clue that you need to change tactics, right? So why do they expect me to just keep welling on them until it works? That's really not... That's really not good uh, gameplay conveyance, is what I was going to say. You are trying to time them out, weren't you? It's okay. I guess it removes the messages regardless. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for the reminder as well, Car. <clears throat> stop staying opinions as facts. Please stop arguing over gameplay stuff like this. If you do, you will be timed out. Because, not because I want to shut down your opinion, but because I want you to respect mine. <laughs> oh, hi there, other, other still. I have, I'm entitled to my opinion just as much as you are. So, if you decide to be uh, a little too entitled, like, over be, before, beyond what it's fair to be, you'll get timed out. Your messages will be ripped. So, please just chill. And understand that my opinion also matters. <laughs> so if I say it's an open world game, yes, yes, of course. There's arrows pointing towards where I'm supposed to go, but I'd like to point out something to you. Right now, for instance, how many how many directions are being pointed to right now? <laughs> On the map? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, listen. Yes, I know. The arrows point to the, if you want to, actually, if you want to go the pointed arrows logic, the arrows immediately pointed me to attack uh, Stormville Castle, but if I had immediately attacked Stormville Castle because I wanted to follow the arrows, I would have been severely outmatched for that area. The game actually wants you to go south, technically, and handle this area, because it's easier, and get stronger before attacking Stormville. So if I were to follow the arrows right off the beginning, you'd be put in a kind of a spot. So... <laughs> While the argument of you're supposed to follow the arrows is an argument, it's also not a good one because sometimes yes and sometimes no. <laughs> Again, it's an open world game. So at the end of the day, you can kind of go wherever you want. And while the game can make suggestions, those suggestions may not always be suggestions you should take seriously. For instance, the game immediately suggesting you go to Stormvell is not a good suggestion. You should actually dawdle and go other directions we have for our heading there. You know. So, actually, at the end of the day, it's, it's fairer just to say, this is my approach and it's okay. Why did that rhyme? <laughs> that fucking rhymed. All right. Did I use a rune arc? I think I did. Yeah, okay. I'm almost out of rune arcs again. God damn it. Oh, well. We'll have to get more. <laughs> at least I know I can now. Popos, activate! <laughs> oh, God. Why are the runes right in the middle? <laughs> Up most of your distractions are needed. Oh god. Oh, that's what does Scarlet Rod. Okay. I don't know why I jumped into the AoE. I'm not very smart sometimes. Okay. There we go. Ha! <laughs> the pups are dead already. Right. They don't last quite as long as last time. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I didn't know the mage could helicopter spin away, but apparently they can. Hi, you've been interrupted by iframes, you fool. All right, hold on. Uh, no, let hit it. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure I interrupted that. Oh my fucking god! All right. Spear guy is next. Oh my god! No! Fuck! Ah, oh, holy fuck, you're annoying! You fucking jank motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, Spear Guy's next purely because he actually cares to hit me. Meanwhile, other person just wants to do little helicopter spins, which is like, whatever. They're, I mean, they, they got a threat too, I guess, but... I, I, this fucking Spear Guy is literally trolling. Like, this is the most trolly thing, right? What? 
the fuck happened to me? Why did I get knocked? Oh, it's the other guy. He is worth noting, but... I'm trying to get my attacks off and I'm just missing. There, finally. I mean, I didn't take advantage of him the stun, but that's okay. Fucking bitch slap you. That's what. Why is my poise so shit? Why is my poise so shit? Why can't I take this little quick whack from the sphere? <laughs> I if I could take the hit, I could I could take care of him. I target him for no the mage is the main threat for me. I don't know what you're talking about, but I mean, well, you know. He is the mage is quite a problem. Alright, fine, I'll go with something less squishy, though they are level five. So what do you think Alice is probably gonna be more squishy? Keep that in mind. I guess I could try this the jellyfish. That's probably not very durable. Okay, what's the most durable thing here? I don't have enough FP for half of these summons. <laughs> yeah, I can... I could summon... Godric Soldier and anybody and most of the guys in the first top section. Yeah, I can literally can't summon seven of these guys, so <laughs> Yeah, okay. Again, I don't really focus my fucking magic stat. <laughs> Wait, did I lose all my runes? I forget. Did I pick them up? I did pick them up, yeah. Wait, couldn't I resummon the wolves after they die? Is that allowed? I didn't think about that. Oh, okay, I can't. This fight is definitely what I would term as... I don't know. It feels really sloppily designed. This game has a lot of boss fights, but it doesn't mean they're good boss fights, unfortunately. I mean, Souls games never had a 100% win ratio on all the boss fights, right? But I do feel like the majority were pretty good, while in this game, there are definitely some fights where I'm just like, eh. <laughs> eh. The wolves, how long the wolves last depends on kind of how they do, like how they're moving. Where are my runes? Oh, there they are. Does that? I want to prevent that attack if possible. Okay. Oh, good. They uh, good. Spear guy can also scarlet rob me. Good to know. <laughs> that was weird. The guy approached me to do a defensive attack. Interesting. Scarlet Rod is, is kind of the shit on top of the sandwich or something. I don't know how you put it, but you know what I mean. And I can't get out of a situation unscathed. I, I just can't get out of a situation, I guess is the better way to put it. 
Damn it, that wasn't enough. Wait. That was. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. Hold the fuck on. I just realized something. If, um, oh, did that not do much? Well, the storm arrows sh should be able to do what I think they're going to be able to do if I shoot enough of them. This motherfucking Scarlet Rod. Hold on. Do, 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 do. No, that's not it. That, that is. There, okay. Let's just stop that shit for a second. What? Oh, right. You're still throwing things at me. Okay, maybe I need to stop this sonic disc thing. Can I separate these two out so they... Leave me alone? Okay, let's see. They really like to stick with each other, though. Okay. This works, this works. Ah, shit, you have more range than I thought you did. Wow, look at that, one hit! And that's half the rot bar. God damn. I've elected to deal with Spear Guy last simply because he's most predictable. Even though I hate him. Can you break the arrows? It might be possible. Storm arrows. The storm arrows seem to have a really strong poise break thing that they can do. Um, so I feel like it might be possible. Good. I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. Sure has a lot of discs, doesn't he? <laughs> Ow. Oh, good. Yeah, sure, whatever. If the spear guy, this is why, wasn't it in Dark Souls 2 that had like, haha, -ha, fuck you. I was relying on the iframes of the stun. Worked out. God, I hate spheres. I, I know that I should probably have them quick slotted, by the way. Yes, I'm aware. Wait, I thought I ate the... Did I, I did not cure it. Oh, no, I didn't. I got hit again, right? No! Oh, my God. Oh, oh fuck. I walked into it. Good work, mate. Guess I'll die. Guess I'll die. Actually, I'm he technically I'm healing <laughs> at the moment, anyways. This fight is a travesty. <laughs> like absolutely a tra <laughs> fucking disaster zone, man. Man, I wish I could punish that. Nice, nice job. <laughs> cool, and now to die to this guy because fuck me. <laughs> Probably will. Actually, you know what? Cheese time. Absolutely cheese time. I don't know if they can break him either, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Yeah, you basically whatever you do realize that I he he hits me and I die. You realize this, right? <laughs> I think I shot him in the eye. 
Wait a minute, that's an idea. Is it possible? Yes, maybe. Here's the thing, I'm not using a normal arrow, I'm using Stormhawk arrows. I notice they have an ability to- Yes! That! They have that! That's an ability. You see my fucking point? Oh, I need to get more of these things. I was like, if I shoot enough, maybe... Maybe he'll be covered in feathers! That's maybe the case! <laughs> And now to cheese this guy like they try to cheese me. If I stun him again, he's getting stabbed in the face. Listen, they can take down a they can poise they can stun a room bear. But certainly they can stun a room bear, I figured, you know what? This would probably work. The only problem is getting more of these is kind of tedious. I gotta steal Stormhawks. They're not exactly... I mean, they're not hard to kill, but... And right away again. <laughs> Listen. This right here, this guy right here, is exactly why I'm kind of annoyed with later FromSoft games, I'll be honest. Oh yeah, I should just use normal arrows now, actually. That'd be the safer idea. Properly timing this... I can hit him in the head. There's a moment in his attack where it's like, I'm probably gonna hit him in the head if I shoot. I mean, I'm fine playing this way, cause, I mean, you see, I, I, I already, you know, taking down the first two guys legitimately and just treating this asshole the way he should be treated. This enemy right here is a perfect demonstration of why I don't like later FromSoft games. As much as listen, I will. I, I've said this before, but I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna re reevaluate this statement. I don't hate later FromSoft games, but I don't like them as much as Dark Souls One and Two, and it's for a very simple reason. Back in Dark Souls One and Two days, and especially before that, Shadow Tower and Kingsfield, game was slower. Games were slower, and that fight right there is a best demonstration. I I don't know if Dark Souls One and Two had a stamina system at all for the enemies, like it did the players. But enemies felt like they had to take breaks. Enemies felt like they had to take, you know, breathers here and there. And I could take advantage of that. I could capitalize that. But in later FromSoft games, we got enemies like that spear motherfucker. Was he glitched? No, that was by design. Because, here's the thing. I like it when the enemy, if they don't have a stamina bar of their own, at least has the... At least appears like they have a stamina bar. At least is forced to pause now and then, right? DS3 also does that because enemies lots of stamina. Well, okay then. But yeah, like, this is just, like, I, I feel like it's not really fair. It's like, okay, cool, so that enemy can just do everything it wants forever, and I have to operate within a stamina system? I don't know. I don't, I... Listen, make enemies difficult, don't get me wrong, but it's nice to know they have to deal with the same system as me, you know? It, and that fight exactly it, it accentuates why I find it annoying. Like... In my personal opinion, you'd never, you would never see a fight like that in Dark Souls One or Two, and I personally think Dark Souls One and Two are better games because of that. Um, and the Spear Guy, that's the most egregious example, but there's been plenty of enemies in this game that don't have any fucking uh, chill. The Room Bears are another good example where they just won't fucking stop for a second. I really hate it when enemies don't give me a breather because I personally think they should be taking a breather. You know, it's dumb. I, I don't think I approve of that design choice. And, uh, yeah, that's my opinion. I think enemies should have to deal with stamina, or at the very least, be forced to pause after a certain number of attacks. Like, imagine the spear guy. Imagine, like, he did if he did 15 stabs in a row, he would have to take a pause. Now, granted, he did take little pauses, if you noticed, but I mean, like, a proper pause. Like, where he's, like, I don't know, like, like take it a second to, like, swing his weapon and get, like, uh, like, do a passive swing to, like, kind of reset his arm or something <laughs> after all that shit he just did. Or something like that, where he has to, like, reset something. You, re you know, wind back. Like, like, like how a clockwork toy 
keeps on going, but eventually needs to wind up a bit, you know? <laughs> Stuff like that. But yeah, it, it, well, that was just kind of stupid it, to deal with an enemy like that. Because there was no good way to approach that guy until his armor broke. Afterwards, technically, there was. But, like, that's another thing. They also combined enemy that won't stop doing something to hurt you with enemy that can't be poise broken because they got armor. That's a horrible combination. This enemy can shrug off any blows you do to it at first and just keep attacking. How are you supposed to exactly deal with that minus cheesing with arrows? The spear guy has a short pause between jump sequences, but it's hard to tell when he's ending his jump sequence. It's not after a certain number of jumps, I notice. He just kind of decides to pause when he feels like it, so you can't really capitalize on it. At least, at the very least, I think that was the worst fight, crystalline fight in the game. You'll not manage to trouble the others. Fair enough. Yeah, honestly, the rot, the fact they could, uh, the fact they could, um, the fact they could do Scarlet Rot was just kind of a fucking shit on top of the cake, really. <laughs> Whew. All right, then. Unfortunately, I do have to come back here, so I'm going to change the marker on this. Holy shit, I'm far away from where I was originally. Uh, let's change that marker to fucking treasure marker, because I need to come back here for treasure. But I need to turn off a seal first, so fair enough. <laughs> He has a big hop that signals when it's the end of the sequence. Okay. Uh, it was hard to pay attention to that <laughs> with the whole giant room of enemies thing. But also, his pause, I will say, even his pause wasn't that long, though. So while I could roll in and hit him after that big hop, um, he'd probably get me on the way out. Decent chance. What did I get for that fight? I didn't even pay attention. I was just like, good. I was just glad I beat it. <laughs> I didn't really notice. I think I got a spell. Probably a sorcery spell I can't use, honestly. <laughs> it's most likely. Uh, do you guys think I have enough vigor for it for the moment? I feel like I do. I feel like I'm okay in that regard. I'm going to start increasing my other stats again. I want to get more attack power. I need to hit things harder. More damage. More damage. That's what I need. I'm gonna, I feel like I'm constantly just trying to do damage to things. Crystal Torrent Shotgun Sorcery. Okay. I'm just going to bounce between Strength and Dex for a little bit. Probably a 35, then maybe train Arcane some more, maybe Faith. 40 Vigor? Well, I technically do have 40, because I got the Great Rune. So I de technically do have 40 Vigor. Now, the problem is... Uh, hooray, I beat it, but I'm also kind of low on runes at this point. So I probably need to turn that one sign back on. Uh, before that, though, let's see. So there's treasure there, treasure there. I need to come back for later. Actually, I should use the jewel icon. That's what I was always using for these. I'm just glad the Stormhawk arrows did their job. Actually, how many do I have? I still have more than 99. Okay, when I start running out of Stormhawk arrows, I gotta go kill those birds. I really wish there was a way I could collect Stormhawk feathers without having to kill the birds. Because it's it's actually pretty tedious. When you kill a bird, when you kill one of the Stormhawk birds, they have a good chance of dropping the flight pinions. Uh, but they don't have a good chance of dropping their Stormhawk feathers. Like, those are kind of an uncommon drop. So, I have to kill, like... I don't know. I get one every th three birds, I would say. So, uh, it takes a while to get enough to make the arrows. <clears throat> but I did farm them for a while before. Because, well, you could just saw why. Honestly, those arrows are really, really good. <laughs> I recommend for stats to build up stats, you need the baseline and are currently relying on the Unarch for to make your life a little easier. I mean, but I really, I, I, <laughs> even if I did that, then I would just rely on the Runarch to boost those stats further. I need the Runarch regardless, Karstris. This game is, this game is rough, especially for somebody who does not jive with modern FromSoft. Uh, again, Spear Guy was a good demonstration of why I don't jive with modern FromSoft. <laughs> so, yeah. Since I don't jive with modern from soft, I need a bit of a handicap, and that great rune per fits the bill for that. Oh, I can still wield the stuff without the rune arc now, actually. Like the stuff I care about. Um, alright, now to show you guys, I don't know, something. I'll just go over here. Definitely gonna leave the silver serpent ring on, even if it does bring me down a ring slot for something more effective, but that's okay. Paw time! I missed.
Oh, I missed. Oh well. This guy likes to step on you. Anyways. I actually don't have trouble with him anymore. Yeah, the first great rune being the best great rune wouldn't be... I mean, it's... it's it, the great rune gives you plus 5 in every stat, so let's see. That is uh, 5, 10, 50, 20, 25, 30, 30. That is 40 levels worth of stat points that great rune gives you. That is not insignificant. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to hard to beat. So you start hitting stat caps. Well, that's 5 years from now, so that doesn't matter much. Alright, so you guys want to see something really weird? Um... I'll show you. Uh, I've gotten... There's a fort in this direction, but, uh... I'll we'll just watch. I'll have to kill this guy first. Hey. 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 Pay attention to me. Thank you. <laughs> I think we all are actually blind. I missed. That's okay. Here's the trick. Watch with, watch the paws. Rose. There you go. The moment they raise their souls to you in the air, just dodge. That's the trick. The the the, the drop it's the, the dive attack is scary until you watch its feet carefully. So you watch its paws change position and then you just dodge. That's the trick. So basically, when they flex their paws, it's time to... I can't fight a rhyme for that word. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, over here is a giant dragon corpse. But it's not a corpse. But it's almost a corpse. But it's kind of a corpse. But it might be a zombie. But it might be alive. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll show you. Oh, this is named after her? She seems to have succumbed to the rot, more or less. But she does make her kids kind of mad. Here's a weird thing, though. She has a health bar. Notice it's full right now. Now, when they are mad, they do the same thing, but they hurt a lot more. Which is dangerous. They're more aggressive, too. But they be, they're not. But you may know they already they already are half dead. The rot's definitely affecting these dragons. She lowers your attack and fits. Oh really? I never noticed. I never did. I never actually noticed. It's like it lowers my. Well, if that lowers my attack, it's not really a big deal. I mean, they're at half health anyway, so. Oh well. So I'm waiting for him to... There you go. Okay. Here's a weird thing, though. Watch your health bar. She just took 17,532 damage because I killed one of her offspring, I guess. So they must be soul linked or something. I don't really understand it myself, but... Uh... No, I was farming these guys. But I made sure not to kill her because I wanted to leave her for the stream. You can whack her too, but the, oh god, okay, maybe three coming at me at the same time isn't exactly on brand with what I want to do. Um, that's okay though, I could probably separate them. Yeah, you see what I mean by the, they're more aggressive. <laughs> Roar. Thing is though, they have a distance limit, so I'm not really too concerned about it. Did I kill the dragon over here? I think I did. 
Hi. They're not really splitting up like they usually do. They usually make like Scooby Doo and go, let's split up, gang. <laughs> but I have fought them before. Alright, then. That's fine. I want to make this guy fly, then I can split him up. Mm. Whoa. That was a weird turn. Wow, they really are all coming at me, aren't they? <laughs> Alright, then new plan. I'm gonna back off for a sec. If you wanna fly at me or something, feel free. I'm gonna be looking for... Okay, I still have a lot of clear spots. There's a couple dragons down over here I think I haven't killed, but... I guess they're not on the way. Hello. Oh, I see you guys kind of actually split up for once. Good work. Uh, alright. <laughs> They're so aggressive, they decide to leave their own anger range. Alright then. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'll just pull one back over. I do have the Scarabon, yes. Okay, normally they, these guys are not... Normally these guys are a little more obliging to splitting up. I hit the wrong target. Good work. There we go. Ah, eh, screw it. I'll just fight them one by one. Uh oh. That's okay. That one out of the way so I can fight the next one. Yeah, honestly, they, they obligingly give me their... They obligingly offer their head to me. I realize the problem with that statement midway through saying it. <laughs> like, they, if you just know when they dip their head, just whack them in the head, they don't last very long. They like to give me head, uh, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> just go full, full, just go full ham into that statement, whatever. I should order some food before it gets too late. So yeah, she, notice how she's dying. I can, I can actually run up to her. As far as I can tell, she is like so consumed by the rot that I mean, she's kind of aware of shit going on, but like... Tie for hole and then stomach oh stomach Oh good, somebody took inspiration from my message from the doggos of that one doggo I left. <laughs> but yeah, she is so out of it that all she can do is roar. I haven't... Unless she actually does have an attack, but she doesn't... Doesn't, doesn't really ma- I don't know, she doesn't... Pow. Pow. Yeah, she doesn't really... She's kind of fucked, is what I'm trying to say. She is past her prime, I guess you could say. If I circle around, you can see what I mean. Cure? I don't think you can cure enemies. The, that was a very delayed attack, I just want, to, want you to know, Mr. Dragon. Well, that's unlucky. I thought that would poise break. Or stutter, whatever you want to call it. Oh well. Hmm. 
So yeah, the more of her kids I kill, the more she gets hurt. But I like circled around to see what the hell is going on. So these, you know these mounds of like particle rot, like all these rounds, hills of particle rot, like that? She is basically mostly that now. Like if you look at this, um, if you look around her. She is like a large portion of barnacle rot now. So she's kind of just, she's just kind of getting consumed by rot. And she is basically disabled. She is basically a paraplegic dragon as far as I can tell. Uh, but she's not dead, I don't think. So it kind of, it's very sad actually, yeah. Uh, she can raise her head and roar. But even her eyes don't, like, focus or anything. She's very far gone. Hello. But more importantly, she's slightly in our way, so she must die. Also, the biggest battle against the dragons is the camera. If you haven't noticed. That might be enough damage to kill her. Yep. Uh. Wow. Huh. Oh, there you are then. <laughs> actually, I do- I forgot, I actually had another dragon heart to redeem. Wait, five? She gave me five? What? Wait, where did- oh no! She did give me a lot of souls. Uh, did all her other ki she has a few she had a few more around her like there's some over here I think did they die when she died I s one for each of the oh no <laughs> that's sad and they all died with her too they were really they really were soul linked either of them dies she they die either of them die the other dies or gets hurt at least so maybe they were like they were all, you know, die of the rot, and she was really die of the rot, and her kids soul link, so she didn't completely die of the rot. I guess is what happened. Was did the was it a soul link life support system situation? I feel like that's what was going on there. Like kind of kind of the dra kind of the magical dragon equivalent of, I'll give you my spleen, mom, so you can keep going. <laughs> it seems that's what the conjecture I have here. But yeah, behind her is just this fort. And, uh... I mean, I got this waypoint, but that's about it. Yeah, I did actually manage to get around her. You can get around her without killing her. But also, killing her is an option, of course. Let's go ahead and grab a level. Uh, actually, no. Not yet. She's been there long enough that the entire area is known. She, so it's, that's her grave, even though she's not technically all dead. That's a bit morbid. Like, we're gonna name this your grave. I'm not dead yet. That's fine. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> the lines between no longer have death, so she's a zombie then. Effectively. Admittedly, with the rock creatures, it's a little hard to tell what their status of living is. Sometimes. Dark death was locked away and even stolen. Ah. Now, give me a second. I'm actually going to order a little bit of chow. Oh, no. We drop frames at some point. A few more. We've been dropping here and there. Nothing too major, but that's a little annoying. Uh, give me a second, though. I'm going to go ahead and just grab some foods. 
Uh, let's see. I think I'll get my boyfriend something too. Death is pissed. <laughs> I guess it would be, yes. He, she, it. Actually, hold on a second. Okay. Boyfriend doesn't need anything. So I guess it's just about me. Well, okay, he could use a drink. So I'll get her a drink. Um, hmm, hmm. The gift is completed in the far art, fan art channel. I'll, I'll look at that later, Inky. Uh. It, what do you guys think? KFC or Wednesdays? <laughs> what, what sounds better? Haven't had KFC in a while. The KFC over here is pretty good. Like they do their, they do. It's consistently fresh, um, which is definitely more important with chicken too. By the way, so Canada's. You know what's okay? Listen, most fast food in Canada compared to U.S. If it's the same chain, uh, most of the time the ch Canada version of the chain is better. With the exception of McDonald's, which is basically the exact same quality, but it's more expensive for some reason in Canada. I they they think their qual their they think their shitty quality is worth more money. All of a sudden, I don't understand it really. Um, like I know there's conversion rates, but compared even with the conversion rates in play, like yeah, McDonald's in America is cheaper for some reason, and I don't know why. It's kind of as it should be as in America, because it's, it's McDonald's. It shouldn't be expensive. It shouldn't be even slightly more pricey, you know? Like, that's very weird. Fried chicken requires waffles to be good. Okay, I've never had fried chicken and waffles. I know that's a thing. I've never had that before. I am not sure how to feel about that concept. Maybe it works, but it just sounds to me like chicken with more bread. And now, granted, I love waffles, but I love waffles because I slather them in butter and syrup, and I don't think you can do that with chicken on top. So it just sounds like a more bready chicken mill, which doesn't sound bad, it's just, eh. <laughs> Like, that's a thing, I guess. <laughs> I 
You know one thing I just do not care about from KFC? Their fries. Their fries feel so unnecessary, I guess is the word I'd use. They are the most forgettable fries that I think I've had at a fast food place. They're not bad, they're just the most forgettable fries that I can think of. Well, a lot of their combos come with fries, and it's like, okay, but I don't care. <laughs> you know? You know, it is good, though. Their Kentucky flatbreads are good. Nice little, nice little, nice little sandwich for cheap. Which I might get. I don't know. I'm thinking... Oh, Puerto Rico. What's in Puerto Rico? Really? The ones around you don't serve fries? What's in a combo mill, then, out of curiosity? Because that seems to be a normal thing for combo mills over here. Red buttons? Okay, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, like, oh yeah, like, uh, like rolls and stuff, right? Yeah, I remember KFCs that would serve rolls as well instead of fries. There's no option for that here for some reason. I would, I would actually be down for a nice honey biscuit. I think they serve those in some places. What charm? Sorry, I got a leg. A single leg? Well, at least you didn't get multiple legs. Sorry, I think I know what I'm getting. I like rolls. Rolls are good. All right. Almost done here. Also, this KFC is strange. They don't have, uh... They don't have a soda fountain. They just have bottles. Which weirds me out, because I'm pretty sure... KFCs normally have soda fountains. You know, they just sell, like, the little, you know... Bottles you can get at the grocery store of Pepsi and all this other stuff. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Man, they overcharge for recipe. They overcharge for their boneless tenders, though. Twelve thirty-nine for six. That isn't CAD money, which is a little bit uh, less. It's less less value than USD, but still. I do like their tenders, but they're overpriced, so I don't usually get them. Are the fries not bad? No, they're like shoestring fries. You know, the standard fries that you get in most, in most places. Okay, almost done here. I'm slow, I'm sorry.
KFC is a bit weird, but it's probably due, due to not having a consistent menu. Yeah, kinda, kinda it seems. Their best, the best bang for your buck for them is either the uh, Kentucky flatbreads or the double tinder sandwich, which is also a pretty good deal. I find for the size. You know, it does occur to me, though. <clears throat> Wendy's also has chicken, and they're cheaper. If I'm in a chicken mood, I could do Wendy's for that, too. Hmm. Double Tinder up here is worth seven nineteen. It's basically like a big crush sandwich, but using, but it's like cheaper, especially for the size. All right. Apologies for my general slowness here. <laughs> <laughs> I am, uh, I'm actually switching gears, assuming I can, assuming I even can, because things are, it's getting a little later, so I don't know if this order will go through. Let's see other thing. Some places are a little weird on, on Skiff as far as, like, when they close. But some of them, like, they'll put their time to a logical point to compare to when they close, while other places will... Close on skip way before they actually close the restaurant, and it's like kind of weird. It's kind of hard to predict. And skip is really bad at stating when a place closes because it states their open times for a skip, but they never ever follow them. So, yeah, like places will close or open at times that were not listed. <laughs> so, it's like the whole schedule is worthless. <laughs> I thank you for your uh, patience as I, as I waffle around for a second. <laughs> you guys were talking about chicken and waffles. Well, I'm certainly waffling. All right, I'm good. I found what I wanted. I'm satisfied. And also, this is actually cheaper than the KFC order. So, yay. You know what? It seems that uh, Wendy's here has a deal going on. A $4 Dave single of cheese. Nice. That kind of that kind of tipped the scales when I clicked Wendy's and saw oh there's also a deal, and I was like all right sure, let's just do this. But I must hurry, hurry, hurt, hurdy, hurdy gurdy. Yep. Hopefully I make it in time. How often do you people eat fast food? I probably eat it more than I should, but I I do buy groceries proper. Yeah, I mean, the fridge is really stuffed right now. The only reason I'm really doing this is because the last two days have been a bit rough, and if you didn't catch the beginning of this stream, I went over how why the last couple days have been a bit rough, but uh, there will also be a YouTube video out probably tomorrow around the same time as the video on this game uh, that will explain for anybody who missed it, basically. I walk everywhere, so not very often. You can walk the fast food. <laughs> Galaxy brain thought here. <laughs> then you're getting exercise and you don't have to feel bad about eating the fast food. <laughs> it's perfect.
All right, food food is ordered. Order successful. Carceris turned me to the dark side and made me order a bacon ear because he brought it up, which means he forced me to order at that point. Because if you bring up food to me, that means you have now doomed me to eating that food. That's how it works. <laughs> Actually, how much is the Dave single normally? Four dollars. It's currently four dollars, like I said, but like. Oh yeah, it's normally seven fourteen. So, that's a pretty good deal. It's like half off right now. Oh, well, not quite half off, but pretty close. Anyways, what was I doing? Right. Ooh, that moon looks awesome. I never looked at the moon before. It looks kind of. Looks kind of. Chalky. Very chalky. All right. Anyways. Ah, <laughs> Beerus. Anyways, I was uh, coming over here because I haven't turned in some hearts, and apparently I have a lot now. I don't. Why did they give me five hearts just for dealing with that situation? That was very odd. Anyways, I guess I'll buy the rest of these. I already have Dragon Claw. Let's buy Dragon Fire. Offered one Dragon Hearts to make Dragon Fire thine own. I see through you, game. You may be using Old English, but you still misspelled. One Dragon Hearts? One Dragon Hearts, you say? Alright, I'm just gonna buy these. A Dragon Ball. Yes, I shall spend these one Dragon Hearts to acquire one, one scrolls of one magics. <laughs> or whatever that thing is. I think it's a scroll. <laughs> now don't mind me as I rest at these sites of graces. <laughs> I'm going to make fun of this all the, all, all the fucking time. Just watch me. It, like, honestly, it's not hard to add a script, <laughs> which checks to see if the player is doing a transaction with one item or more than one item and change the plural form accordingly. Why did they not do that? It's so simple. <laughs> it's not very hard. <laughs> okay, so Fort Faroth. I have no idea what's going on Fort Faroth. I haven't touched that. 15 hearts? So I've already gotten, like, 7. Or 8, actually, maybe. Yeah, I think eight. So, all right, <laughs> working out so far. Anyways, so this keep, I I'd like to know what's going on. Last time we've explored keeps, they've been like garrisoned by soldiers and stuff. But this keep was behind that dragon, uh, that whole family of dragons. So, who the fuck's in this keep? I'm wondering. Is it is it more dragons? <laughs> Dragon keep? I don't know if they fit in there, though. Maybe if they are very small dragons. Maybe their kobolds are there. That would actually be kind of neat if you fought some dragons and then, like, explore a place they are protecting and you just deal with a whole bunch of kobolds. That'd be neat. However, this game probably does not possess kobolds because it's not cool enough to have kobolds, so. What's up here again? Is there anything up here? Now the game doesn't want me to find out, apparently. Okay, <laughs> come on, game. Come on, game. Let me, let me up there. All right. Uh, nope. That was pointless. <laughs> Kay was like, no. There. Okay. Into the moody, rainy castle, then. I guess I'll uh, look around it first. Have I done that already? Have I done a perimeter check? I don't know. I think I did. Actually, no, I did, didn't I? I encountered an enemy over here. I think. Again, off stream grinding. I don't remember what I've done. Yeah, I believe there's something over here that I already found. But also, there's a problem here as well. Let's see if I can find it. There's an item here at one point. Uh, but there, there it is! <laughs> Ghost guys! I was right. Is that bye, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what that, what that guy was doing. Ghost guys with just real bombs for some reason. That's kinda weird. And off they go. So I guess the I guess the answer to that question actually I think about it is 
Well, the dragons killed everybody, so now it's spooky ghosts in the fort. Also, I don't believe the other side has anything. I can double check. Uh, you notice they put up a lot of walls here. I don't, I'm not really sure it's up with that, but, you know. Wall of stat is okay. I, like I said, it will be a YouTube video for later if you missed it. It is kind of important. I would recommend people watching it. Uh, to stay informed about what's going on in my community, especially when it comes to important stuff, but... Uh, yeah. Like I said, I'll make an announcement on my server as well, so you you guys will be fully informed. What's this? Hmm. This is strangely... Huh. Hmm. Have I killed that thing before? Maybe. Oh. Alright, let's see if there's that. Yeah, okay, yeah. I think this is what, Remember how we found the bats with a weird human face in the beautiful singing voice before? This is another one, I guess. Yep. Bye. Oh, well, um. Bye. Also, by the way, there seems to be this giant fucking beach, which. Kind of looks like you can't explore it. Oh, that's why I put that marker. That's right. I think you can get down to it. It's technically part of the south, so I wasn't going to do it immediately. But it's like a huge expanse. I figured I'd start exploring there. I don't know. After getting the map scrap, perhaps. But anyways, let's, let's see if it's in this fort. Right? <laughs> Again, let's see what's in this fort. <laughs> hmm. Magic. Is this gonna like close behind me or something with magic? When I enter? That would be interesting. Oh, hi there, bat. Mm. Nah. Nope. Boop. Well, we know that magic people exist, so we better be careful. They could sh they could appear anywhere. Bird ahead. That person did not study biology very well if he thought the bat was a bird. But all right. Okay. Uh, did people literally die to bats? Well, there is one of those bats, so I better be careful. I've never actually really seen what these old lady bir old, old lady bats do. I would presume. Oh. Well, poison was not what I would... Really? Okay, fine. No, for fuck's sake. Oh, you have glowy eyes. Come here. Give me your souls. Oh, there's two of them. I don't know if I like that, actually. Oh, no, I got grabbed. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I got grabbed. They didn't really do anything, and then I just kind of died. All right. Fair enough. Did not realize that they would have a very aggressive grab attack where they did nothing. Now, dying, dying to bats is one thing, but dying to old ladies, that's another thing entirely. I understand that situation. Do you know how tough an old lady can be? You gotta fucking watch out. Yeah, I like how no matter how much health I, I get, it doesn't feel like I have enough health. For fuck's sake. The heavy attacks will do it, I'll just hit you then. Alright. Hello. Well, I've learned that you're very annoying. Okay, stop that. Stop it. The range of that poison is annoying. Poison is not the end of the world, but... Are you... Also, I like how she can poison through the wall. Very good. Because that makes sense. I thought we were going to deal with ghost people. This is much more annoying. go. Alright, I just kind of need to stun her. But there's two of them. That's the problem. Uh, 
Oh wait, maybe that would be a better strategy. <laughs> He's trying to take off, but he can't. Haha, <laughs> lol. <laughs> I- I'm sorry, what? Run away, run away. Grabbing old ladies might occur in a minute. Oh god. Oh, dodged. Alright. Okay, take care of that. Oh no, there's too many gold ladies here. I must step back. Alright. Stop with the fucking poison, jeez. Wait, if they like poison, maybe they hate fire. I mean, <laughs> that was quite an animation. Why are there- I just got blown off that ledge. <laughs> they actually have a little gust they can do. That's just annoying. <laughs> Potentially dangerous, but in this kind of situation, just kind of annoying. These are half-human hybrids. It's the human part that's toxic. Well, that is how humans work. Humans are quite toxic. So this is understandable. It's not the bat part that's toxic. Bats are cool. Um... I love just your statement. These are half human hybrids. It's the human part that's topic. Yep, that's Twitter for you. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is just, you did not realize the social statement you made with that. What's weird is I can't seem to stab them when they're on the ground. Oh wow, gold rune nine for them? That's not bad at all. Oh. Is that a directional attack? Kind of is, right? Okay, there we go. Wow, another Golden Rune 9. They drop them very frequently, too. I was fully aware of what I said. Fair enough. I thought it was an Axel joke and I just like, lol. <laughs> Not bad. Do I break one of these? Well, I broke something. These are very durable, rickety boards. Alright then. What else we got going here? Well... Another gold... Oh my goodness, these... These sure... How much is a golden room worth again? Uh, Druid Room 9, that is. Whoa! Okay, those okay, that's good farming right there. Every single time they drop one, that gives me 3,800. That's not a bad quantity. I mean, if I can kill them more efficiently, then that would be a decent farming. Because then I get the souls from them, as well as the souls from the... Hello, I didn't see you there. Come back here. Aha, there, there was a pillar. Aha, but there was still a pillar. All right, there we go. <laughs> Bats cannot solve pillars. Got it. Hmm. Hmm. This forest is very weird. Good night, Beerus. This forest probably has the exact same layout as the other place, but they put a bunch of fucking boards everywhere, so it's, like, different. Reminds me of, like... Man, that reminds me of, like, people taking preset assets to make and make it a mod where they just take the same preset assets, but, like, they add some, like, random clutter to make a new obstacle course. Oh, got this medallion right. Wait a minute. Deck this medallion left. Deck this medallion right. Hmm. I have both parts. <laughs> I think I know what that goes to. Maybe. Bats can actually fly through the way how they appropriate. Yes, yeah, true. They fall off ledges and shit. Or they can't climb ledges and shit. Technically all that. Uh-oh. So for some reason, I didn't think that was outside the castle grounds, and I thought I would land on a rampart. <laughs> so I didn't really take that jump very seriously I was trying to do. So there wasn't a rampart there. 
Turns out... Whatever, it means I can farm more, farm more gold runes, I guess. <laughs> gold rune nines. Kill more old lady bats, I suppose. Was this a social commentary? I mean, old ladies are sometimes called old bats if they're like... If somebody doesn't like them, I guess. I love how she looks right at me as she crosses the corner, but technically doesn't see me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I guess we're doing this through the wall then. All right, through the wall attacks we go! <laughs> Gotta mind that grab, that's what I've learned. Oh, okay, well. That's very rude. Did you just try to, oh, you're trying to grab attack me. No, thank you, very much, thank you. Not when I have my runes up ahead. <laughs> the fuck are they doing? <laughs> I have no idea. Also, yeah, why do they do so much damage exactly? Three heavy attacks, three jump attacks seems to do the trick though. I like dealing with them. All right, let me get those. All right, you exist. Uh, I guess get in here or something. Alright, there we go. Right, so lesson learned, there's not <laughs> lesson learned, there is no floor. Important lesson learned. <laughs> Advanced versus the bats. Well, I knew that. By the way, <laughs> um, identically room bears are the advanced version of normal bears, by the way. Can I get on my horse here? No, I cannot. So that, it's weird. Like, the perspective tricked me here. That looked really close. Doesn't that look really, really close? Like, I could just hop. It feels like I could almost hop over there even running. But in fact, it's actually quite a bit of distance here. So that was kind of tricky. Tricky perspective there. Try bravery. Uh, no. I don't think there's any item up there anyways, so. Do it? Nah. What's over here? There's gotta be some evil thing. Oh, it's gonna be the soldiers. They're gonna spy out of nowhere. Just wait. Just you wait. The ghost guys will just pop up. They'll be like, hi, I'm here now. There they are. Behind me. I heard that. Fortunately, ghosts make loud noises when they appear. <laughs> I think I know. Because ghosts don't run, but I love running. Running is so fun. That's why it rhymes with fun. Run. There you go. Are you saying? Uh oh. Uh oh. You have made a poor choice by selecting that random firebomb. Are you saying basically that if I make noise, they're going to appear? Well, perfect. I want to make noise. I prefer to get the fights out of the way. I don't want to sneak around them and get ambushed later. So let's make as much noise as possible. Hello. Hello. Oh no, it's an archer. Oh no, he can't shoot for shit. Bye. I guess, yeah, alright, you know what, I'll just... Oh, oh god. <laughs> he took that like a champ for it being, being a plunging attack and all. That kicked me, get out of here. Those are their corpses hanging up there. Well, you know, you, sometimes you just want to hang out, decorate a place of your own corpse. I get it. 
It's good. Good, good, you know, good, good positive ambience. It's like, hi me. I'm gonna have a good day today. I just grieve myself. It's like, good for you. It's a bit of a jump. Hotting. Uh, I, I like to think of this as just a uh, new version of life they're they're experiencing. That's all. New version of existence. I guess I would say. I am faster than you! That'll make more noise! Show up, everyone! Hello! Maybe I was here? There we go. Oh, you tried to pull the shield up, but you're a little slow. I guess dying hurt your reflexes a bit. <laughs> I'm an asshole. <laughs> oh, what's over here? Hello. Hello as well. How you doing? They're still dropping their arbor despite the fact they're just ghosts. I heard that. Somebody else spawned. Okay. You... But Charm, you just have the fast ass is all. I don't really understand how that correlates to anything I was saying, but that's still a true statement, I suppose. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how it ties in, but sure. So let's see, which pit do I want to drop down? I guess this one with the ladder, probably. Anti-poison, they knew how that's just placed. Oh, poison's nothing, man. I don't even care about poison. I don't even care about curing it, though it's really easy to cure it, because I can easily make the poison amps. You know what's hard to make? The rock curing amps. Actually, can I make those now? Oh, good. But only two, because of the sacramental buds, which are exceedingly rare to find. I found two. I know, I, technically, I know how one can farm one, though. However, I think it requires going past that fucking room bear in the cave over and over again, so... Maybe not an ideal situation. Wake up! Wake up! Is anybody gonna spawn here? No? No? I'm gonna make this potion. I don't trust this area. Oh no, it is a rat! Oh, you're not dead. Holy shit. <laughs> he took it like a chap. <laughs> Hi, sluggers. <laughs> hmm. Well, got the rats one thing. Oh, okay, I see. Wait, how does I... What about the... What about the one section I... Maybe it was over here. A lot of blood states here. Man, this level design is great, though. It feels like really... What's the word? It feels... Oh, hi there. How you doing? <laughs> Didn't see you there. Sorry, it was distracted. Uh oh god. And down I go. <laughs> oh god, they really fall fast. So I thought I would have a moment there. Big rats are actually very dangerous if given the chance. Small rats are also very fucking annoying if given the chance. I missed. Okay. Normally I just whack the bet the big rats and they die real fast, but these guys are more durable because of the zone I'm in. So I have to actually use some strategy. That's getting mildly explicit Wallace. <laughs> let's 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 tone that down. Wee. I see your point, but <laughs> let's be careful there. Yeah, can I go to this, like, building thing? No, it's just kind of a building thing, and I can't go in it. Aw. It's over here. Ah, 
absolutely nothing. And that bat is still wobbling on that lamp. Okay. <laughs> This really feels like somebody took out like a prefab room and just filled it with like boards and stuff to make like a, a path, a dungeon path or something. This that's what this area feels like. It feels less like developers created an area and more like fan modded game to have new level. <laughs> that's what this place feels like. Hooray, I made it to the end. What was my reward? A source seal. Okay. And that does... There's way too many item tabs. Uh, let's see. Source seal. Greatly raise the attributes, but also increase the damage taken. Taken. Oh, it's like a better version of that. How much? How much does it increase? Uh, well, it doesn't increase. It's like a better version of the scar seal. So, uh, I mean, that's a lot of HP. That's actually a lot of HP. Does that offset the damage a little bit? I'm wondering now. Because that is a not insignificant amount of HP. Ow, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, balls. Pairing. Marika's must be the, uh... Yeah, it's kind of the mind. So it's like... Radigan's like the physical attributes, and then Marika's like the magical attributes. Is, is, is this good? It's like Godric's rune and talisman form. Is this, I need more talisman slots so I can debate these things. It kind of looks like it might be good. That's not the thing that just raises strength without any, without any uh, downsides too. This actually raises your equip load as well. This is not bad actually. I am, this is interesting. I just wonder how much damage it increases. Increases damage taken by a similar measure. So it's proportionally increasing my health to about the same amount that it'll increase, dam it'll increase the damage. Well, that seems fair. Oh, the big area bosses is how you get talisman slots? I didn't realize that. Okay. Ooh. So I need to target them then. If I want to have talismans equipped. Okay. How do I leave? I guess you just teleport out, I guess. That's kind of weirdly clumsy, but all right, sure. Guess we're done here. Um, what is this? Why did I put a marker there? Oh, I think I know why I put a marker there. All right, next thing we're going to do. Um, yeah. <laughs> now for this. <laughs> 13 to 60% more damage? That seems fair for a 50% health increase. Yeah, that seems pretty fair. I'm going to probably put that on when I have a third slot. Now, I need help on this one, to be honest with you. Because, oh my god, <laughs> I know what I'm about to do. Um, I was forced to engage this next, this next thing we're going to do. I was forced to engage it early. Uh, because, you know, I was doing the it, the, you know, I was using the, uh, you know, the one thing, the, this, to get in fights. And some people wanted to fight this thing, and I've never seen anybody win. <laughs> so if we go over here, there is a big building. And this big building can actually be accessed via this weird teleporter I've never used, the sending gate here. And it takes you right into the building. But outside the building is a problem. I'll put it that way. 
<laughs> Why did my boyfriend... Sorry, hold on a second. I want to see something. <laughs> my, I asked my boyfriend if he could bring in the food, and he, te and he sent me a telegram message back in all caps saying, Okay! Which it was like, all right. He doesn't normally use caps, so I think that was a mistake. <laughs> But these little these little guys are very dangerous if you let them do things. But you may notice I don't allow them to do things. Um. <laughs> so this motherfucker um, is probably gonna kill me. A bog boss? Okay, I gotta go find a swamp. So this guy is certainly a guy from what I have seen. See, he's massive and really fast. It looks very really wonky, but he, uh... I don't know how to hit him. He knows how to hit me, though. Probably. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that attack. Oh, yeah, he has an axe, too. So, you know, he's one of those that'll switch his weapon type now and then. Ow. I was actually ready to dodge that, but felt to. I was ready to dodge that too, but hit the button just a little too late. Uh oh. How am I alive is the question of the day. Oh, good, you got involved. Okay, well. Yeah, he's got little friends, little, okay. I've never seen them do that before, actually. Get him before he does that. Okay, there we go. Thank you, dear. Uh, the ground is fine for the rest of it. Ow! <laughs> so I'm trying to take out him, finally. Yeah. I, I, what's that? I don't know how to fight him. I can tell you how I did it, but it's definitely not going to work for you, because I don't think you have the item. Fair enough. Is that my AC? Yeah. That's oh, making a lot of noise. Oh well. <laughs> my AC is noisy. Play for Brian food. <laughs> As I asked. I don't even pass through the building. Actually, I was thinking about that. What? Oh, that was him switching. Wow, even running can't dodge that. Okay, good. Oh good, a rock stuck got stuck on me. Or I got stuck on a rock rather. Running past him in the building isn't a terrible idea. I already opened the doors somehow, so Woohoo! Oh god! Oh he wants to play though. Oh okay. Like quite quite a lot. Oh, he is angry. <laughs> he is an angry boy. I'm trying to see if there's an opportunity to like... I, I thought he would break anger when I went inside. Instead, he's just trying to work his way in. Holy fuck. Look behind you. I'm more concerned about this direction. Hold on. I think this actually is... Did he finally figure... He finally calmed down. Interesting. Not for luck. Holy crap! Okay, didn't think he could hit that far, but good to know. Okay, this is... I guess one way to kill me is bring down the building. That is that is a strategy, I suppose. I'd like to hit him, but this is as awkward for me as it is for him. Um, Damn it. Thought I would, thought I would give him a set. Oh, okay. I guess we're doing that again. I can't hide behind the pillars anymore. <laughs> I'm really just seeing what I can learn. 
He's just so fast, and he, he's very maneuverable, too. You know, it's by the whole, I can fly, bitch, sort of thing he does. So it's just, I don't know how to hit him and live at the same time. I mean, living's hard enough without hitting him. I feel like he came through the door for a second there. Ow. Also, I could never predict the sonar attack, barely. Oh, there it is again. Throw rocks at him. I could shoot him. He honestly feels like the sort of boss fight I don't really want to fight. From what I have seen. Oh, the arrows through hurt him. Oh, I shot him in the crotch. Turned around to sh yell at the world for some reason. I mean, I can hurt him with the arrows. I'm attempting a headshot and failing horribly. Okay. I really don't not see that. I guess the key to knowing he's going to do the uh, range attack is he does. He actually pauses for a second, which normally he doesn't do in any fashion or regard. Come back. Hit you in the wing. Huh. Where'd he go? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, sure. That makes sense. Yeah, just stick your head through the door and hit me with sonar that way. That... You're cheap, aren't you? <laughs> Booster rain damage? Oh, yeah. I do. Might be useful in this situation. Good point. Well, it increases bow effective range. I don't know if it actually increases the damage. But I think it's, guess bows do have damage drop offs, so let's see. I don't know if that actually changed the damage, because I might be in the proper range regardless. I don't know, it might be increased damage, hard to tell. I mean, this is cheesy. Compared to fighting him normally. I mean, hit him in the wing works. It's not amazing damage, but it's not bad. Was I trying to dodge? Hello. I think the game's trying to die on me. Ah, oh, shit. If I see him getting frustrated, I should watch out for the, uh... Man, it's so hard to hit him in the head, though! I've been just trying to. I was ready to dodge it, but... Well, I can't take another one to hit those hits, can I? I love the dodge. It's like, I'm gone! <laughs> well, I certainly did dodge it. Just not at the right time. Slow and steady death, whatever. At least my runes are in a safe place. All right. They've touched the grace. What grace? There's a grace there? <laughs> oh, there's a grace there. I've touched it, yes. I forgot about that. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. I don't have a straw. Excellent. I have a drink and no straw. 
Anyways, yeah, you're probably curious about the building as well, uh, but I'm not gonna worry about that until it's fucked. Until it's Guardian's dead, because fuck the Guardian. <laughs> and I guess arrows work? I mean, the damage is decent enough. Um, one sec. Oh, wait, actually. I almost forgot. I actually have a straw right here. A backup straw. There we go. All right. Parkour? There's parkour outside the sanctum, you say. That's interesting. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a headshot. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> oh, do it. Let's do the magic. Okay. Oh, there's one pillar down. I suppose I should aim for the wings, even though it probably doesn't do as much damage as some things, but... Oh god, he's trying to roar at me from there. That works actually really well. I know this is a bit cheap, but I'm not fond of this guy and he can still try to he can obviously still kill me as I do this, so. I shot his arm! That's weird. <laughs> what a precise target that I accidentally hit. I like how he also dropped his weapon for a second. Like, he dropped his hold of the weapon. Oh, he's an angry boy. Oh, he thinks he can range attack me from here. That's pretty good. That's good for me, honestly. I, I do think some of my arrows are going through him, though. Got your butt. Yeah, it seems like the wings do as much as body hits, so it's like whatever. Problem is I can't do this forever, I'll run out of arrows. Wait a minute. Right, I just remember something. <laughs> yeah, I have a few of these. <laughs> Let's see if he hates poison. Do you think he hates poison? Ow. That's fine. I can't tell how poison works exactly. It's immune? Oh. That sucks. Alright, then let's try something else. How about... Hello. Well, how about fire? Does he hate fire? Nope. <laughs> Not particularly. <laughs> Does he hate? Oh, right. This is better with the. Okay. What about magic? Well, he psychically dodged me. No, it does less damage. Okay, well then. Found out, at least.
At least I got a headshot there. <laughs> Sir! Oh, you're doing the iframe reading, aren't you? What a jerk. What a dick. Alright. So it's a blunt- it's blunt then. Alright. So it's another case of a stony enemy that only takes blunt damage, doesn't take fire, doesn't take shit from anything. I'm getting tired of these enemies that, do, that are like this. I'll be honest with you. I think it's pretty bullshit. I wonder if that could go through the building. Thankfully, it could not. So my best bet... Okay, actually, wait. I know what my best bet is here, then. I hate this fact, but I think I know what to do. Resist the physical as a whole, less resist the blood. Do you notice? I, I I hate these enemies. I hate these enemies that are just impossible to fight. You know? It's like, oh no, they just resist everything. You gotta figure it out. It's like, okay, that's fun. Thanks for that. Listen, I understand weaknesses or resistances, but this game takes it too far. Weaknesses and resistance is supposed to be a system that makes the gameplay have a more rewarding feel to it. That is okay damage, I guess. I think I'll stay with the fucking... I think I'll stay with this. By the way, I'd like to note the only reason he hits me with that sort of attack every time is because he sticks his head through the fucking geometry to attack me with it. You can use summons. I... Yeah, good idea. You do where... <laughs> you are aware I can use only a small portion of summons, right, though? But okay, yeah. Wolves, help! His weakness is dying. Oh, thank you. Very helpful. Go, go, wolf. Go. Get wolf. Go. Get get him. <laughs> go, go! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's try out my wolf through the door! Summons! Awesome! Yep, well, that worked out. The thing I hate most about him is his hitbox, though. It's like, it's like no room to hit him. Okay, that was actually pretty good timing, though. I, I got away scot-free there, so I guess, I guess some stuff works. Yeah, actually, with the doorway? Okay, this actually is more reasonable than I thought. I didn't think this would work so well. It's just, his range is such that it's, like, really easy to... It's really easy to whiff, you know? He's really... Okay, let me point out the problem here. He's super fast. He's got a weird hit... He's got a weird body, so it's hard to hit him. He flies. He jumps all over the place. He's got very strong attacks. And he's resistant to physical because he's a gargoyle. There's just nothing really fair about this enemy. Everything he does is just... Ow. He has two. He, basically, I feel like some enemies have too many advantages. Does that make sense? At least there's a door. At least this door gives me a benefit, I suppose. It makes it impossible to lock onto him, though, pretty much. Ooh. He's not as resistant as the crystal. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's, the sonar attack is actually a little tricky to time. Yeah? Yeah? I prefer his axe crazy mode. That's actually easier to interact with, I suppose. Whoop! Shit! That was not the attack I thought he was using. Where are you going? <laughs>
Come back! I only got two potions left, but you know what? Thank God for that. I, I need to just learn his attacks for a second. Actually, good, well, can I do that? Okay, sure, let's try it. I mean, it's worth a shot. Where did I have to turn off the multiplayer thing? To make that work. Also, when people, by the way, I just want to say, I have a pet peeve about something, I just want to express it. Oh wow, there is somebody here. It's, it's me. Oh wait, I put down a subtle slide. I was confused. <laughs> I used the wrong thing and I didn't realize it. <laughs> Stop it! Leave me alone. <laughs> I got very confused for a moment there. I, I meant to put down, uh, I meant these. This, that's right. Sorry, there's too many items, alright? There's too many so many items now. <laughs> but anyways, uh... It's meant to be bullshit. It's not really a good excuse, by the way. I will say that. What? That was odd, but okay. I don't know what happened to him, but I figured I'd take advantage of that situation. I swear the timing on that is kind of shit. That, 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 it really is kind of shit. I can't run away from it either. I have to roll it. Well, I guess I'm going to die again, but, oh. I'm nowhere near you. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Waffle spores? Sounds pretty nice. Why is switch sub badges gone? It. What? You guys see your sub badges. I'm confused. Okay, you know what my one cheese strategy is? I've noticed a bit of a consistency here. Sometimes he turns and faces away from me to do his scream attack, and I don't know why he does that, but that gives me a free hit. Actually, probably more than one free hit if I timed it right. How oh, they were gone and then they were back. God, Twitch, what the fuck? Oh my god. Alright, that was really fast. Ah, fuck. You really have to watch for that attack. He's not, he doesn't give you much of a hint. The timing has to be just right. Wait a minute. Oh, I never ruined art. I just noticed that. <laughs> huh. I did all that damage without ruined arcing. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> Wait, does that mean I could uh, maybe just sort of... No! No! Okay, we're good. <laughs> Fucking no. Ah, there's a headshot! I 
I might as well just cheese of arrows at this point. I don't mean, I don't really care. This is a this is another good example though. Like, I, I don't I don't enjoy fighting a lot of these bosses. Oh, I'm a little close. Okay. Yeah, I need to take advantage. If he just turns around, he's gonna sh he's almost always gonna scream. Following that turn around. Yeah, I don't mind doing some cheese, why not? <laughs> I love when I I love when he tries to dodge me. It's kind of adorable actually. Oh, he's in it. <laughs> Like I said, kind of, I kind of understand now. Has he broken this pillar? You haven't broken this pillar, dude. You gotta break this pillar. If you're gonna really, if you plan on bringing this whole place down on me, you gotta break every pillar. Oh. Oh, that's a larger combo than I thought. Oh, he's doing it. Run. <laughs> Well, that broke too. <laughs> Everything's breaking! What did this look, what did this could protect me? I guess he did break that pillar, never mind. <laughs> Everything's breaking! Normals don't do a ton of dam damage. Oh yeah, because of gargoyle. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I don't remember finding the bell gargoyles and, and suffering through that. You know, it's like uh, the fights, man. The fights. Oh, he's probably. There's a decent chance he'll still kill me, but I'm getting there. I could try a few other strategies. Uh, like, let's see if I can do this just right. There we go. Didn't like it ever much. Actually, that's pretty good damage. That was pretty good damage, Firepot. Oh god. Okay. This pillar is my friend now. If I can get the angle right, there's a good chance I'm gonna miss them though. If I can get the angle right, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Why do fire do nothing but the fire pot's like, not too bad, actually. Okay. Oh shit, he's coming up! <laughs> Don't know why! I guess he just decided to get mad. Gotta pay attention. That somehow missed. Okay. Me. <laughs> I think I flew too far. <laughs> Let's try that little. Still too far. I'm out. I can make more. Oh, well, I can't actually, but it's fine. Whatever. Wait, what? He's like being psychic or something now. I don't appreciate that. Hide behind this pillar. Good. Uh, also, did he phase out of existence and attack me? Oh yeah. By the way, this this guy. I'm just ignoring him. I don't know what his deal with, but he is. I don't know what his deal is yet. But I do know he hasn't killed me. So yeah, let's, let's focus on this. Uh, <laughs> if he does, it's okay. Oh 
Oh shit! I read the fucking chat! I was- I read the chat. I read the chat. My mistake, I read the chat. How dare you tell me he's a friend? Because you killed me with that. This is why I can't read the chat, by the way. Those of you that are like, why isn't he listening to the chat when I'm telling him this important thing? Well, that there's a demonstration. <laughs> if you wanted to know. Well, sorry, holy shit. I was just like, you capitalized the word friend, so I thought I, thought I was seeing a name. I was like, oh, then his name is friend? I'm like, okay. All right, anybody want to show up in this church and beat this thing up for me? I'm tired. I've wasted a lot of arrows. Where am I? At least my... Nah, got that. All right. Also, though, I don't... Oh, wait, actually, I... I, I hmm. I need to get more arrows of the... <laughs> Look at how he stands. This guy is so weird. I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, I figured there'd be a sonar attack, Kevin. Shut up. Go away. Hi. I'm gonna hide behind you. Don't mind me. What's this? Hit? What's it here? Try attacking. <laughs> like I was very excited, but it didn't help. Right. Talking to the friend may help with the fight. I mean, I don't know. Also, it doesn't matter what your level is if you use the. Oh shit! Not not good time. If uh. If you use the password Vor, you can join me no matter what your level is. So. Yep. Turn that on too. Bitch. Come on. Do these protect you? I wonder. Do I have any death threat? I don't know. Hi. I guess I should talk to you. A lot of people wanted me to. Um. Oh, I don't talk. I guess I have to. Here, have them. Okay. Oh, oh, somebody likes death. Uh huh. I gave you two. Oh, okay. You gave me a. Okay. Bestial sling, which goes in the books category. Claw mark seal, which goes in the. Whatever category that is, and the beast eye, which is a cat. Okay. Let's start with the beast eye. Said to tremble when close to death root. Hot. I'm guessing that lets me find more. Uh, I didn't realize they were hard to find. Apparently they are. I don't even remember finding them. They were probably just picked up without a second thought. Now, as for the books category, <coughs> what did I get? What did he give me? He gave me Bestial Sling. Rocks. <laughs> cool. I will note that for later. Uh, what else did he give me? He gave me, in the one category I always forget the name of, it was like the this category. Yeah, so what, what was something that for this? Claw Mark Seal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Allows incantations to be scaled of strength. And what is an incantation? Oh. Like, specifically? Cleric magic. You mean faith? Interesting. Is 
So basically the faith-based stuff I'm already using allows this to be scaled with strength instead of faith, basically. That could be useful. I'll give it a shot. Let's see. Granted, this scales of arcane, so that's also useful. Well, I mean, take a look, really. I'm using this, which is pretty dang solid, but I have upgraded a bit. Hmm. I don't know. What's very useful? I mean, this brings me to a heavy load, so I'll think about this later. I mean, I, I was going to scale our scale arcane and strength are both values that I'm going to increase. I don't know how much it matters. I want to eat my. I want to eat some food though. I have food here, and this guy is harsh in my groove. So I'm going to set up some food and munch it while doing some silly fighting with him. Also, I did activate. If you put a sign around this area, I should be able to see it. As long as you're using the password vor, which is my standard gaming password when I want to play with random people. Uh, I'm going to set up my chicken. And then I will summon if anybody wants to be summoned. And yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at this guy in front of me. Meanwhile, somebody else is having hell a hell of a time. And also trying to use the, the building for the looks of it. Didn't seem to work, did it? <laughs> or was he fighting the Beastman guy? Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, he d I did a little damage to him. Now, be sneaky, though, if you, uh, when you spawn. So here's what I was thinking of doing. Hitting him, like sneaking up on him, going like, ha ha! And then fucking off really fast. Uh oh. Small problem. <laughs> yeah, my attitude was like, let him de aggro the stab in the back, then let him de aggro the stab in the back. Let's see how Crypsy can handle this. You think I can hide behind the broken pillar sections? I never, like, if I crouch, maybe these, maybe these will protect me too. Let's see how this goes. This gives me a moment for chicken. I shouldn't actually stand here just thinking. No, it does protect you. Yeah. Okay. Crips of Maydale, like, I'm not sure. Hmm. Wonder what you just used. We could properly fight him with two people, probably. Here's the problem, though. Having friends doesn't make... Uh-oh. Good try, it. Good, try it. Good try, Crimson. Here's the problem, though, with this guy. If you have friends, you think, Oh, okay, well, if he's focused on one guy, you go circle behind, right? With the other guy. But he jumps around so much, you are... At least in my case, I was spending most of the time trying to chase the fucker down, even when he was going after others in co-op, so... Like, I don't feel like jolly cooperation really makes this fight much easier. He is something else, this guy. Ironically, you can't sneak around him and open the door, and he doesn't give a shit. So he really is not a required fight, at least, but... Because, yeah, you can kind of just... You can just kind of climb up over here. And, yeah. People ignore this asshole, but I am not one to ignore a challenge, even if I hate it. Run! Don't look back, just run. Yeah, 
I know. Mm. Yeah, you could. Yeah, I know. You, he is very skippable. The warp that I pointed out actually warps you <laughs> right in front of the doors, basically outside. So, is he? He's aware. Okay, I'm gonna back off. I guess though the good news is if I just go to the back of the church, I think he just stops carrying. Oh well, or starts carrying. Okay. Hi. Whoa, 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 whoa! I wonder if he can hit the beast guy behind me. I'm just like, hey, lol, let's make it break everything. Yeah, if I if I go all the way back here. What is this sexy stripper dance pose of these statues? I just realized. <laughs> yeah, if I'm all the way over here, I don't think oh he's gonna is he gonna try is he gonna try some sonar? Is he gonna try it? There's a second one? I'm not surprised. Does anybody else feel this way, though? Like, is it just me? Or is, every, is do other people here <laughs> kind of feel like there are a lot of... There are a lot of situations where a boss is just kind of really unreasonable in this game. Like, I remember people complaining about Dark Souls 2 sometimes with certain bosses, but I never experienced the same amount of grief in Dark Souls 2. Yes, even I am even referring to the two tigers in the fucking middle of the blizzard. Yes, even them didn't really bother me as much as some of the bosses in this game. I, I feel like people actually, it's weird because I played Dark Souls 2, I liked it a lot. I felt like, yeah, there's some stuff here that's not terribly fair. But I saw a lot of people bitch a lot about the bosses in Dark Souls 2. But what's weird to me is that now Elden Ring comes along and I feel like there's more atrocious boss design in this game than Dark Souls 2. Yet I don't see anybody complaining. All the people who complained about Dark Souls 2 really should be making a fuss now, I feel, but they aren't. It's weird. People really hype up the at least devs lot their own hype. I kind of feel you're right, actually. I didn't like Dark Souls just because, oh my god, what an insane challenge. I enjoyed it because it rewarded patience, observation, tactics. Oh, I see there's a sign. Let me get you back, Crimson. There is one thing I'm aware of with this guy. As far as, like, ways to trick him. If you go over here, like a way to mess up his pathfinding, I suppose. I have gotten him in a situation where he got confused and forgot the stairs were there and was down here. So it might be possible to fuck with him in that way. By the way, I'm out of runes. Unfortunately, I need more. I'm gonna just hang out. Oh wow, that's pretty good damage. Yeah, magic works. Who's he after? Crimson? Yeah, you, Crimson, use the church, and I'll use attacking when he's distracted. <laughs> and if he goes for me, I will go fuck that. <laughs> and then when he's after me, you go after him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> and then he went to space. Um... But yeah, this little loop here works pretty well. I, I find. What the hell is he doing? Hello. <laughs> Bubbles! Damn it, almost. I don't want to hop off, but I do want to... There we go, I got him in this place where he's, like, confused. Uh-oh. Nope, it's fine. I'm gonna 
do the classic thing I do in video games where I use geometry to my advantage. Especially as it gets confused. I think I attacked him. I think I hit him in the head there. Fortunately, he doesn't know how to gain elevation. He is technically a ground based creature. Oh, and he can absolutely hit me here. That's why I have to be careful, but. His ability to hit me is definitely not going to be a superior from this. Wow, he went for Crimson, I guess. Well, uh, I'll maintain this position for the moment. As, it, as long as it works. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. If you want to get summoned again, go ahead and place your sign down! Alright, he finally figured it out. That's another pillar down. Desecrating this temple. Are you supposed to protect this place? You're breaking it, you piece of shit. Idiot. Dumbass. Alright. Yeah, fuck off, asshole. Stupid stone headed ungulate. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I've heard reports of just how, like, there's so many bosses in this game. Compared to this, these statues are pretty neat, though. <laughs> Alluring pauses kind of pose to them. I do like them. They have like really big bracelets on too. I wonder what's up with that. Are they like chained? Oh, they're chained. Oh, that's they're not doing a sexy stripper pole pull pose. They're 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 chained to a fucking pole. Gotcha. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> More of a more of a ritual sacrifice kind of vibe now. <laughs> oh, he's uh he's already aggroed. Shit, I thought he calmed down. Careful, he's a little hair trigger. Okay, you can sneak around. Just be careful. I'll go put myself in that one position where he gets kind of distracted. Bubbles. <laughs> you didn't actually hit him. Bubbles. <laughs> Crimson. <laughs> there was an attempt. Oh, what, what the fuck's happening there? Alright, that pillar didn't like that. But yeah, he's easy. He is hard to hit, though. Oh no! <laughs> he was going for Crypts, so I didn't think I was in danger. Alright. Oh, thank god I backed off. I was wondering if that was safe. Oh, oh, okay. Bye. Watch out! <laughs> I said, watch out. You didn't watch out. You you should listen to me. <laughs> ah! Opportunity! Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> He's so good at moving, though! He's, like, got that, like, big enemy sort of vibe where he, like, hits hard and he's big. But he's so fast that he doesn't feel like a big enemy where he feels like some slow enemy. But he's fast, you know what I mean? Like, he feels like he should be slow. To make up for how crazy he is with his reach and shit, but... No, it's just another I example of an enemy designed to be kind of bullshit. And I really hate that we've gone from FromSoft making pretty nuanced bosses, in my opinion, in, in the earlier games, to... just kind of hard for hard's sake. Which is a real damn shame. I am trying to hit him, by the way, but I keep getting... It's very easy to whiff him. It really is. Uh-oh. Well, at least he's down there, and I'm up here. So that's not too bad. Thanks for your repeated assistance. I'll summon you again. Construct version of this guy is pukes poison gas. Well, that sounds good. If he's puking poison gas, you might have an opportunity to hit him. Unlike with this asshole, which, you know... 
Oh, um. He got tired, I guess. But this is another example of an enemy where I wish he had a stamina limit so I could, so he would have to take a breather or take a pause that I could get an action in. He's enough, this is yet another example of an enemy which I wish would slow the fuck down a little bit. Not all the time, just occasionally, that's all. Uh oh. Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> He's in a good position. Using projectiles is wise. Oh, he didn't like that very much. Oh, he's not in a good position. He's not in a good position. Never mind, he's in a good position. He elected to ruin his own attack. This is the thing. Use geometry to your advantage. Also, yeah, I guess he could just walk up that, which I didn't know. You know what? Fuck it. Ah, I got you. Only barely, but I did get him. See ya. <laughs> Gonna whack you and leave. Bye! Use geometry to fuck them up! <laughs> well, if he can climb this, I can too. Which I know for a fact I can, so. I mean, I just think the law of the boss design is. Oh, I could have. I'm gonna punch it. I'm gonna punch you attack. 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 I missed because he's too fast. And now I got hit because he's too fast. I need to leave. Again, can the enemies maybe, just maybe, have some sort of reasonable weakness? Apparently the answer is no, because this guy gets everything. He gets speed, size, damage, aerial maneuvers, def and of course, let's not count the physical overall physical durability as well. Watch out, Crimson, run away, just run away, it's fine. He's very confused, it's okay. I did not mean to drop down, shit! Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine! I'm not fine. Okay, thank you for distracting him. <laughs> no, stop crouching, leave. <laughs> stop crouching! Thank you. I hate the crouch button in games that are stressful. Oh, oh, shit! <laughs> okay, he was closer than I thought. I'm totally summoning you again, Crip, so you deserve to get a rune arc out of this. I'm gonna kill him without you. I will weaken him though. Here's the thing though, if you, as we can tell, as you can demonstrate with, as demonstrate with Crypson, if you just got a pal to play this game with, just keep throwing your pal at the, the problem until it ends. <laughs> At least it works for the overworld bosses. Ow. I'm fine. Let me let me see if I can delicately get you summoned. Crouch, 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 crouch. This is the trick of Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> Obviously, arrows can finish him off at this point. But feel free to deal the facial blow if you want. You've been dying to him enough. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> I actually thought you missed him. <laughs> Gargoyle's Black Blade. <laughs> Thank you. And his black halberd. And his black coffee. Uh, because he was clearly on a caffeine high with how he was ap operating, you know? <laughs> no cream or sugar, please. I need to be jittery as fuck. <laughs> that was him.
All right, what did I get? I, oh man, I have such a hard time finding items sometimes. I admit, ironically enough, I would appreciate if this game had a new th system which let me know which new items are new. There's the black blade. Okay. Holy damage. Has tar on it or some shit. Mm -hmm. Faith, dex, strength. Okay. And it is a great sword, so. Uh huh. That's some holy damage. Mm -hmm. And the black halberd. Okay, so the halberd. Obviously, it was the two weapons he was using, obviously. Um. How to find that. There it is. Spade slash. Okay. Malakath the black bait blade. Okay. Mid of black and corpse wax. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Good old, good old corpse wax. I can't tell if this is a good great sword or not. Is it a good great sword? Actually, hard to tell, but it looks like it would be good. Say pretty great at his hats. I mean, you make a good argument. So I need to upgrade the. <laughs> we are discussing this though. Like I had the ultra great sword. It's probably going to be weaker than the ultra great sword though, right? At the end of the day. I don't know. Actually, it might end up being... It's definitely... It's more holy focused than physical focused, I just realized. Just kind of looking. <laughs> Thinking. This has a few upgrades over it. I could upgrade it, though. Just see how it does. Let's do that. Assuming I have the means, I think I have the resources to upgrade at the same amount as uh, the cur as the uh, as the as the other one I was upgrading. I think I can put them both to plus four and kind of and kind of put them up to each other at plus four each and see how they're doing. Hey, by the way, I talked to your fucking beast friend. You've met I, take it. I guess that's his name. Don't have to sound too excited about it. That's a pretty long title. You should probably give that an acronym. Those who live in that. That would be TWLD. The TWLDs. I'll take them out. Oh. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Creates images of order to deal holy damage. What exactly is an image of order exactly? All right. And holy damage in chat. Okay. Oh, that's how you say his name, Roger. Imagine me just letting this guy monologue about this stuff, and it's like I'm seeing chicken nuggets. Oh yeah, those who live death, uh, rotting, dead, half dead. Hmm. Huh, interesting. Tell me more. Munch. What do you think of damage for one of the highest DPS tree hammers? I don't because I never use them. <laughs> about D.
This guy's voice is distracting. Wait, tainted its truth? Wait, did you just say, hmm. As far as I'm aware, he just said, hey, we believe in this thing, but those who live in death are disproving the thing we believe in. So they need to get, we need to get rid of them. I mean, yeah, they're not great, but did you just say, this challenges my belief system. It must be destroyed. Is that what he just said? <laughs> That's kind of great, actually. But also, this guy's voice is really distracting because it just sounds like he smoked, like, ten joints of weed before talking to me and can't give nearly enough of a shit about anything because he's just too chill. Like, seriously. He's saying a lot of words, but he's just like, Yeah, man. Shame about Roger. Really sucks. It just, can barely... Can barely stand stomach looking at him half dead. It really just makes me sad. It's like... It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. Always good to see you safe. So. Okay, you have nothing to teach. This armor is the best, is it? <clears throat> well, it's armor. <laughs> That's all I'll say. <laughs> if you want cool armor, I'd say it, I would probably... Um, I would probably point. Did you know? By the way, did you? I didn't realize this for the longest time. I, I don't know if anybody else here missed this, but if you, if you talk to the fingers, I didn't I, like. It's uh, very obvious in retrospect, but I just never thought of doing it, doing it, and it gets you um, this, which I didn't know for a while. I just didn't ever think of interacting with the damn things, but also the gesture is kind of uncomfortable. It lasts. A really long time to bring up my arms. Like it's very it takes a while. It's wildly creepy. It looks like I'm just gonna start a cult or something. I don't know. I guess it is kinda cultish though, the giant weird finger things. I'm just seeing if anybody has anything new to talk about. Alas, it does not seem. You want cool armor? This guy has cool armor. I don't know what his deal is. He's just rotting away, but he's cool looking at the same time. I just realized he is just completely just a skeleton guy, and I don't know why. <laughs> that rhymed. I do not have any. Okay. Uh, yeah, what I'm here for, though. Does the gesture do something in front of the fingers? I don't know. I should try actually using it in front of them, I suppose. For that, felt. How you doing? You're doing fine? Okay, good. Okay, so I, uh, let's see. So I upgraded the great, God Slayer's Great Purge to plus five. I can upgrade the Black Blade, Blade some as well. Can I get the five as well? No. Oh, wait, I did get the five. Never mind, I'm fine. Or I got to four as well. Fair enough. My point is I want them the same level so I can compare them. All right, well, let's compare them. So, the promising one looks to be the Ultra Great Sword, but the Black Blade is also kind of neat. I haven't used it though. I should actually try swinging it somewhere. Not here, obviously, but let's compare the details. So, the Gargoyle Sword is what I have equipped. The God Slayer's Great the Ultra Great Sword thing is the one on the right. So let's see. When comparing their stats, it does appear that. Hmm, it's hard to say. One gets more physical, one gets more magical, effectively. So let's see. So also is swinging fairly slow, regular rates are swinging, but fast. So which one looks better in this case, is the question.
I mean, the slowness, you said it was the fastest Ultra Great Sword, though, so. What is our damage difference when we're looking at pure attack power numbers? Like, combine all the numbers, obviously. Oh no, the attribute scaling in this situation will drop from a D to a D. That's so much lower. What? <laughs> I guess it's like a D to a D minus or something? I don't know. It doesn't say that, though. Weapon attack rate and equip screen? Oh, I can't do it on this screen? Wait, attack rating? What's that? Oh, right, attack rating. Uh... So I have to back out, go to status, go to right hand 2, 438, then go all the way back here, switch the weapons, then back out again, go back to status, uh, 428. So, why is that information not here? Why do I have to back out to my status screen to view that? Well, so according to this, the Black Blade is actually a superior weapon as far as pure numbers go, and I guess since it is a great sword and not a colossal sword, I suppose that makes it faster as well? I mean, let's test it. Or you could equip them side by side, or I could hit Y. Y? Oh, right! There's too many panels. <laughs> I always lose track of this. So yeah, uh... Technically speaking, the Black Blade, despite not being a Colossal Sword, appears to actually do more damage. And then, if that's the case, how does that stack up to... Uh, I don't know why, but every weapon graphic looks kind of the same to me, so I always have trouble finding things. Okay, here we go. Alright, how's that compare? Wait, is that... That doesn't change? That doesn't change. That's weird. So wait, does that mean the Bloodhound thing with two levels over the other thing has the same general attack power? That's interesting. That means that despite the Bloodhound's Fang having two more levels, it overall, as far as overall attack power goes, is only equal to something two levels below it. So the Gargoyle's Black Blade might actually be pretty solid. Yeah, it's not split. I know that. But, like, I'm thinking here. Because, like, I like... I, per I personally don't like split weapons normally. But also, do you notice how this entire stream I've been running into a lot of LOL, this doesn't take physical damage situations. So I'm kind of feeling as if, like, I'm getting discouraged from using the Bloodhound's Fang a little bit. Because there sure is a lot of bullshit that is punishing me for using physical. <laughs> so maybe we gotta work in that split damage a little bit. I don't actually use the Bloodhound for its skill, so... You also just encounter two unusual foes. Well, the question, the problem is, of course, I don't know if usual or unusual is the case for something, you know? I have no real way of knowing for sure if something is going to reappear. Or if a concept is going to happen again and again. And Raid, I have no idea. That's very weird. So yeah, so I'm looking at it from a gotta consider all possibilities way, and remember... Those of you with advanced knowledge will obviously not be considering the game the same way. Hmm. Anyways. I've eaten my chicken nuggies as, as I talked about this. Let's test out this. I'm going to test out the black blade a bit. I do prefer pure physical damage, so I will continue to upgrade the Bloodhound thing. Plus the bleed on it just as a nice little bonus, but um, I might try I might try upgrading these boys too. I mean, what do we got here? We got split on holy, and we got split on fire. If I have a split holy, split fire, and and pure physical 
great sword slash colossal sword, perhaps then I might have uh, a decent way of dealing with those annoying situations. I don't know. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but the colossal sword isn't it on, on on nature of it being a colossal sword? Doesn't that mean I can flatten enemies to the ground in some situations? At least that's what really big weapons did in other Souls games. So the Colossal Greatsword has a, a di additional benefit of fucking with the enemy a lot. You know, despite, regardless of the damage, it would also allow me to interrupt a lot better. Um, so the massive poise damage, that's that matters to me. Poise has been beneficial to me. So I think that massive poise damage could be a very useful thing. Um, anyways... I was told about some parkour. Oh, so Rocky, that sounds like a pretty good meal. Let's try this guy out. Actually, what's its ability? Oh, really? Uh, how much range? None. Why do you always get shittier versions of boss weapons? <laughs> I was like, oh good, it's going to do like a little shockwave along the ground like he did. And then it doesn't. That being said, this is very fast. The problem I have a lot of... Um, the problem I have with a lot of these weapon arts and the reason I don't use them is because a lot of them require a bit of a charge time. I'm aware that they also give you hyper armor where you basically are less likely to be interrupted while you're doing it. However... That doesn't matter to me. The hyper armor doesn't matter to me. I don't like just standing there and taking damage because hyper armor doesn't protect you from damage. So that's the reason I don't like using a lot of weapon arts. This, though, that feels fast enough to use on the fly. That actually is kind of good. Yeah, I need to. I want to dodge around. So the weapon arts are usually not appealing to me because they all seem to require me to stop and just, like, be a statue for a sec as I prepare a powerful move, and I'm just like, no. I'd rather jump attack. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think... Okay, you said there was parkour to be done around here? I'm kind of intrigued by this statement. Oh, yeah, I should probably spend my souls. Runes, whatever. Okay, let's, uh... I'm bringing, I'm going to bring strength the dex 35. Oh yeah, that's right. I just remembered. We need to enable this, but also I need to disable the password. By the way, thank you again, Crimson, for making that fight easier. Right. So the idea here. I'm going to actually reset it, because I don't know if turning the password off afterwards is going to make it work right. But I need to get some more rune arcs, because I can't... I need... Well, I need some more rune arcs, and so I'm going to try to get some more rune arcs. Also, I just realized these are dragons. Dragons with torches. That's, that's nice. Dragons with dick torches, I just realized. That's a that's a very unfortunate placement for the torch uh, sconce, or whatever they call it. Oh, well. <laughs> Good old dick torches. That's a new word. <laughs> okay, around the back of the sanctum? <clears throat> I'll take a look. I don't think I actually noticed a drop. Don't attempt the drops while not having ruins. Really? Oh, while not having... Okay. Oh, you think I'm going to die of fall damage? Let's see. What, where's the drops in the first place? Well, I mean, some in another world, so... Oh, down there? Okay. Oh, that's true. I didn't even notice that was there. I think I already poked around this, but... Oh. Hello. <laughs> Alright. See if the host doesn't... Die. I've seen a lot of hosts die in this place, actually. All right, wanna, so we go down. All right, let's go down. Whoops! <laughs> I think we were way for each other there. All right, I'll let them sort that out. 
it is kind of nice to be summoned because it's kind of a chill time where either you know you lose and you lose nothing if you lose, or you get something, you get some souls, you get a rune arc, you get the game freezing. What the hell? Speaking of which, actually, hold on. I just realized I need that back. Okay. We. I'm. No, I'm fine. Don't worry. Oh no. Hello. <laughs> do 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 do. So I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it, but I just realized there's probably another way to do it. Alright. I love little frame drops, leg drops for your multiplayer. It'd be great. It's really great in a section like this. Alright, I'm gonna try just... Oh. Well, it's just you and me now. <laughs> I don't like dealing with this guy. Oh. Wow, even with the random multiplayer leg, I hit that guy very effectively. I guess this guy doesn't have a bow, or I imagine he would. I, oh, he's doing that thing. <laughs> I see. Why did it take him that long to die? <laughs> that guy was very upset at me and decided to run at me forgetting that A, I was above him and B, there was a pit. He just completely tunnel visioned into anger mode. Alright. Also, for funsies, let's actually test out the Sardier in here, actually. <laughs> Right. You don't have to, bud, but there is a shortcut up there. Alright, I heavy rolled this. I kind of forgot about this. I guess I'm not actually built for using this just yet. Oh. Let's just use a black blade, why not? Just for the hell of it. I'm just experimenting in this situation. I should have kept my heal on. I can heal this guy in me if I had that heal equipped. You first, I gotta sort. Hey, you can't switch spells on the fly, right? Oh, we should have gone at the same time. That's dangerous. Oh well, <laughs> works out. I believe the drop stick is best around the west side of the sanctum. It is. That's the way I've always done the drop. <laughs> See how this weapon does. Seems pretty good. Oh shit! He had hyper armor. Why? Don't worry, I handle this. Here you go. He's using that katana. They're both using that katana. Or at least I think they are. I don't know if those might be. No, those are different katanas. He's using some sort of bleedy blood katana. He shall be good. He's using the I'm hurting myself because it lets me pow be powerful katana. I don't... It's a weird katana. Oh, car, I see. Now watch how, watch how this guy does when you're fighting him with a friend. That does like no damage. Actually, I'm gonna switch. Oh. 
I killed myself. No, I didn't. Holy shit, you can dodge that? Okay. Watch out! Yeah, stab his stab his butt while he's over here. <laughs> that worked out pretty well. Finish him! Oh god! We're all gonna die. <laughs> he got his attack off and died at the same time. That worked out. <laughs> that was interesting. That guy is Slinky Dog from Toy Story. Slinky Dog from Toy Story, but Dark Souls edition. Now, imagine for a moment, Toy Story, the setting of Toy Story, the toys of Toy Story, but it's a Dark Souls clone. <laughs> now, imagine that for a moment. Emperor Zarg, major villain, shoots nerf darts at you, probably. They do lots of damage because it's a Souls like. <laughs> Just have all the storylines from the, all the movies strung together into a Souls like. Listen, I like I like big I like I like big world games where it's like you're a small creature and you're exploring a human world or whatever, but it's huge, so it's like different, you know. It's like something. It's like really. What's the word? It's suddenly a different and more challenging location, I guess. Actually, Toy Story 2 for the PlayStation 1, that was the shit, if I recall correctly, that game. Okay, so I'm supposed to get down here. Alright. So I'm supposed to find a safe way down there. <clears throat> All right. There's a tree that might help. Let's see. That that'll just about do. Uh, that'll just about not do. <laughs> Thanks, tree. I'm glad you were coated with oil before I attempted this. It's okay, though, because I did what you said and not and didn't spend a nerk, so it's all good. I'll just go pick that up and try again. See, there's another reason to have this guy dead, because if I fuck this up, I don't have to deal with this guy. Good times. <laughs> Nah, it's fine. I see how to do it. That, if that didn't work, that's fine. I, there's another way. I saw a slightly better position. That would also work. Hey, every time you die, though, you gotta remember if you want to get summoned, which I do. This is a good time to get summoned while I do shenanigans. So, that didn't quite work. I almost landed it, but then the game is like, actually, no. Anyways, but I think over here, then? Yeah, that seems doable. Let's just do this. Okay. Alright, alright. Is there any items on the way down, or is my objective simply to land? I assume it's simply to land, so... Okay... Jumping does increase your height. Which is dangerous, but it'll let me position better, too, so... Alright, alright. 
And I guess I could probably just hit that dome. There's, after all, a message on it, which I think was there to probably indicate I should. Okay. First off, brief respite. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. What is down here? This is a weird little area, I gotta say. Okay, we're good. Is there more droppies to be had, or is this all the droppies? Oh. Well, there's fireflies or something down there, so I clearly I'm supposed to go there. So there is more droppies. Before that, though. Down ahead. I'm aware. Thank you for letting me know. All right, well, I'll bite. What do you What do you say? Here. Um. Oh. No, that actually is a bad. Not a bad idea. That looks far enough to take some damage, but let's see. There's a bat there. Okay, so there's multiple places I can drop down, but do I want to drop down specifically on this quadrant? That doesn't look like I have much of a choice. All right then. Good. All right. Very good. My video card just refreshed because play of this game is intense about it. Is everything good on your guys' end? Because uh, X would actually kind of broke <laughs> a little bit. That's a bit of a drop. Yeah, that hurt a little. Everything good on your end? Okay. Yeah, this game messes with things sometimes. Hello. Collapse. Did I miss any items, actually, by dropping down immediately? I don't actually know. Whee! Alright. I guess I'll rely on car to let me know if I missed the items above in that previous area. Okay. Um... Eh, fuck it. That was a little dangerous looking, but... It looked like the best option, so... Mewtuber broke? Yeah. That's okay. I don't bloody know where any items... Like, this is a forced drop down, 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 so I'm just, like, wondering if there's any items I'm missing. I don't see any, but I don't know. Maybe. I've just been following the messages. They seem to know what they're talking about. Speaking of talking about, let me just turn off my VTuber if it's broken. Shame that. Yeah, the VTuber completely crashed. That's probably why I had the mis- the I think it's just like a little error that occurs sometimes, sadly. Um, should be gone now? I don't know. I can't see much. Exploit is actually frozen for me. The preview window isn't moving. So I'm not entirely sure what you guys are seeing. But, uh, oh well. I rely on your eyes alone, I suppose. Alright, what did all this lead to? Cotton. F fair enough? F oh. I, I really don't know where the items are in this place. Car stress, where'd you go? I need your help. <laughs> <clears throat> Cloud loaders fall damage. I, I'm aware, but I, I guess that's why it's here. Did I? I was asking though. Have I missed anything on the way down? Because that's the only I haven't picked up so far. Was I supposed to get other stuff? I'm not really sure because this area is like very spread out, and I wasn't really sure how to tell where to drop. For items. Alright, I'm gonna just jump over here. Ahem. 
Though it looks like this area is fairly logically constructed, I guess. So. I'm going over here, so in case I hit the rubble, you know. We. I think. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what did that? Okay, sure. <laughs> I did think that was uh, a big deal dropping there, but all right. Do I require the cotton? Maybe I do. That being said, doesn't <laughs> don't items like that just simply reduce damage from a survivable fall? Not extend the reach of a survivable fall? Important difference. Basically, mean that if a death, if something kills you, it kills you. Something like cotton wouldn't help you with that, I don't think. I don't care about fall damage, I care about surviving. There'd be a better drop elsewhere, I guess so. But now I need to figure out how to get those runes back. Ugh. Oh well. Uh, ow. <laughs> That hurts. I slipped again. The slippage is a little annoying, I gotta admit. I'm gonna run over here. Because I didn't before, so why not this time? I'm gonna double check there's no items just around, I guess. Clearly the objective, quote unquote, is to get to the bottom, but... I mean, my runes are in this direction, so why not drop down over here? Unless there's a really bad, unless there's a re really good reason why one shouldn't. I don't know. Like, is there a good reason why I shouldn't? Or is a bat here, which indicates to be a? They assume they presume this to be a good drop down point, so. I'll just keep healing and yeah. Oh, okay. And yeah, this drop is scary, but actually okay. Okay, so where did I leave my runes? <clears throat> I think they're over here. Actually, they're below me still. Um, okay. Where did they leave my runes? Let's see. According to this... I mean, they're not a million runes. I can lose them if I must in this situation, but... I did it! Good work. Oh well. <laughs> Again, I already knew that when it came to a giant jumpy puzzle, there was a good risk of losing runes because, yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> I actually really hate the fall damage in this game, though. It felt a lot more consistent from this hurt a little bit, this hurt a medium bit, this hurt a lot, this killed you. It felt more consistent. While the amount of fall damage distance you could do in Dark Souls 1 and 2 was quite different. Both of them still had that kind of flow to them. Well, this game is basically, this fall is fine, didn't hurt you, this fall is fine, didn't hurt you, this fall is fine, didn't hurt you, this fall hurts you a little bit, now you're dead. <laughs> it, it's very inconsistent, it just feels very inconsistent in this game. Well, on the bright side, I don't have to pursue my runes, so I can just drop wherever I want. So I'll turn this sign back on too. I mean, wherever I want within reason, I suppose I should say. Yeah, this is right here. Cookie butter, because why the hell not? It's like peanut butter, but cooler. <laughs> I 
Max Fall does the same as the previous games. This made so you only take damage you felt close to maximum. Which I hate. I wish you actually took more fall damage more easily because it made it easier to gauge. You know, it was better. It was. It gave you a better warning sense to like, oh, you're kind of pushing it, buddy. Or, oh, you only pushed a little bit. Like, I prefer it when it was a more logical sliding scale. Not just surprise you're dead. Ow. Anyways, I'm just gonna drop down wherever the f fuck I feel like and I'll figure it out from there. Oh, hi there. A better drop down point around here. Where'd that be? Like. Confuse me about this drop is it doesn't look that far, but it, it is, I guess. Oop. Yeah, where is the right drop down point then? I'm kind of like, by the time I get low enough down to check, I'm kind of committed to wherever I've dropped, unless I do the crazy jump. I do have the, I know, the rainbow rocks, I have them. But, I mean, the rainbow rocks don't really help me in that situation. Like, I drop down to that point where I have no choice but to drop more. I use a rainbow rock. The rainbow rock says, this is death. I'm like, ah, good information. Too bad there's nowhere else I can go now. <laughs> it's like knowing the death comes does not necessarily prevent it. Oh, yeah, the horse? I guess I could use the horse. I guess that's an option, yeah. If I must. <laughs> if I fucking must use the horse for platforming. I don't like the horse. I think it's very clumsy. And you're... If I use it for platforming, oh, no. Well, okay, what can the horse do that I can't in this situation? Like, I did, you know, some jumps that didn't work out, and then... What could the horse do that's better than me? I'm trying to think about that now. No, no, I know it could double jump, but how does it help me dropping down? A double jump pushes you up in the air. I'm trying to go down. Safely. So I'm, like, thinking about that. Like, it makes this sort of jump safer, like that one I just did. I don't really need that jump to be safer, it's just... What the hell happened there? I should have taken damage, but I didn't. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. What? Like, okay, I think I know what the horse can do for me, but I... Fucking don't fuck, don't screw this up, horse. <laughs> horse, stop, stop, stop. That got me a little lower. Okay, um, is that low enough? Hopefully. Is there anything I can do on this side? No. Okay. I have an idea, but I need to... Careful. Careful. Yep. If I run off and go as much up the incline as possible, yes. If I had jumped, then it would have been a no. If I had walked off, I would have caught lower on the in incline and probably have been a no. But if I just like like just dash off the edge without jumping, then yeah, sure. But there's a problem, right? Like that fall was very close to the fall that killed me, but that fall I just did didn't hurt at all. There's, I really do hate that. I really like it more when I take damage. 
on a sliding scale that's larger because it's a better warning system to let me know whether or not I'll survive something. I had a better sense of my fall damage distance in Dark Souls 1 and 2 than I ever have had in this game because this game just confuses me by not hurting me. <laughs> it's weird, but I would like to be hurt. <laughs> Here? Okay. What you got? Uh-huh. Okay. It looks like I can drop down more. Oh, but I just also this. What's this? Hi there. Sequeda? Is that a, isn't that a bug? <laughs> Alright, let's see. What what is this thing? Oh, there it is. A dagger! Oh. What's it do? Um, this design celebrates a beast five fingers. Hooray, beast. Good work having five fingers. Have this dagger to commemorate this Malkasian. <laughs> I guess. Uh, another bestial incantation thing. Interesting. I don't know. I might use them. I am statted for them. How about that down there? I think I noticed uh, another drop, actually, over here. Now that's probably not survivable, but... No down? That was it? I came down here for that, huh? Okay. One second, I gotta make more of these. What's this taquito? Oh, it's a pickle turtleneck, right. <laughs> Looks like a taquito. That's all I have to say. Also, I do like how they give you ruin fragments to suddenly suggest you should use these. Uh, it's good. I'm uh, curious, though. Let's see if I can get this to land right. No. It is! Well, that's good to know! Oh. Hey, what was that about using rainbow stones to help check things? Apparently they lie. <laughs> Apparently they lie. <laughs> I said no doubt. Well, the rainbow stone said yes down, Carceris. <laughs> and it was a survival distance. I was right about that. The reason I died wasn't because it wasn't a survival distance, but because that was below the death plane. So the death plane got me, not the fall. Now the thing is, though, it's weird to me that a rainbow stone can go right through the death plane and still happily tell me it's a survivable fall. That's cute. There's also a talisman there. Wait, there's more stuff? <laughs> oh, really, huh? Okay. It's okay, I can speed run this. Woo. 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 Wow. Wee. Woo. Parkour is fun, isn't it? <laughs> I don't really think it is, personally. They added a jump button. Now they must use it, after all. It's imperative. Fuck off. Oh god, it's not. <laughs> it's not fucking off! Well, I'm, I'm dead. Thanks! for that. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> I like that thing. How did that thing perfectly follow me? I figured with my vertical descent that they would be kind of confused. <laughs> he did a good job following me, though. Well, I want the 
talisman because it's a talisman and it's unique and why not but I won't wear it but I'll grab it yeah honestly um, here's the thing I don't think that adding more parkour situations to Elden Ring is a bad idea by itself with a new jump button but I do think that my complaints about the fall damage system become very important if they want to do parkour. In other words, if parkour wasn't a big deal, then okay, I guess that fall damage system works. But if they want to make a big point of parkour at times in this game, then in my personal opinion, the fall damage should give you more of a warning sign to when you're getting to a dangerous fall than it currently does. I actually don't mind the fall damage. It's fine. I, I, I can survive. You know, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger, right? So, I, the fall damage itself is not a big deal. Oh, okay, apparently I got some roots. All right. Uh, not this time. Wait, where'd he go? Yeah, not this time. Why don't you fall off a legend? How did you die? You're a fucking bat. All right, whatever. The answer is he just kind of did. Uh oh, I'm fine. Wait, why did I survive that? Okay, all right, whatever. I'll take it. Is this the bottom? I think this is the bottom. It's hard to tell. Or is it? Or do I have another level? I think this is the bottom. Laggardly sort ahead. What the hell does that word mean? Laggardly sort. The sort of person to leg out in a online video game. Is he? Is that a laggardly sort? Honestly, I like. I, there's actually. I've seen a lot of, like, uh, critical reviewers calling this game really, really, really good. And it's not. This is good. But. I also see. Uh, I also. See, oh, yeah. There was a over here. <laughs> okay. Is there any other items? Dragon Crest Shield Talisman. I can tell just from the name that it's defensive based. Um. Is there any other items? But yeah, I can tell you right now the FromSoft. I don't know. <sighs> Some poorly designed enemies and bosses. Parkour sections that feel half-baked. Level design that does go on repeat a lot. The open world aspect. I feel like the open world aspect, if that had been dropped and the game, maybe wait, it was a little more open but more constrained like the other uh, games in From uh, database, while it wouldn't be having as much wow factor, I think they could have done a lot more for polish. I, I would personally take polish over size, you know. Now, what the hell did I get? Uh, ah, physical damage negation. Well, that's not, that's not bad. That might be useful in some circumstance. It's a good game of issues. That's, yeah, that's a fair statement. What's the difference between a room fragment and a sanctuary stone? Also, why why do the why do the why did the rainbow stone lie to me? By the way, I was correct. That was a survival fall. That is a survival fall, but there's a kill point. So you know what though? I wonder if you could do the old glitch. I wonder if you can accomplish the old glitch. I'm gonna try the old glitch. Hold on. Damn it! The old glitch in the other Souls games is when the camera locks to a vertical or when the camera locks to an overhead position. That's usually that's that's what the games have always done when they when you've hit a kill point, but if you quit out after you've done that camera lock, but before you die, sometimes you could do shenanigans. <laughs> I did not time it right. I was close. I'm not gonna try again, but yeah, that can that can actually lead to shenanigans. Flab, feed me Shara plays game sausage. Are you asking me to feed you sausage? Or are you asking to be fed sausage made of me? <laughs> I can't tell which. Please do not grind me up into sausage. Thank you. <laughs> Though I'm sure it would be delicious. I uh, want those. Oh god, what about the... I need to die somewhere else. I, I want the... The talisman marker will only last as long as I don't die. So I think that... I'm just going to ignore it. 
charm shaped sausage. Oh. Every time I look at the Street of Sage's Ruins, I read that as Streets of Rage, because that's a good video game. So I'm just like, oh, it's the Streets of Rage Ruins. I'm gonna go meet Guy there or something. Wait, no, that wasn't that game. Yeah, that was that was Final Fight. Uh, what the fuck? Who are the characters in Streets of Rage? I forget now. I don't know their names. Anyways, we're kind of done with this uh, segment, but... Actually, yeah. Let's, uh... Here's where I'm... Oh, I'm meeting something in the world. Okay. The next thing I was going to do to kind of finish off tonight was I was going to rush the south map piece because we're done in this section, so. Pants sausage. Oh, well, I, that's not a very good place to store your sausage. You should probably put it in the fridge unless you're eating it, in which place you should probably microwave it or cook it on a pan. Hello. Yes, we will go. We will go. Yes. yes. All right, cool. I assume he's waiting for the summon a second person. He, does he want to kill the dragon? Or does he want to kill the jerk up there? I see the jerk up there is there. So I'm not sure. Well, I guess we'll see where he wants to go. Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think, did this guy not, was he not aware we were right there? I don't care if we fight the dragon as well, it's fine. What is my what is my coast doing? He's like my blah 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 The hell is going on here? I fled him but did no damage? Alright. Host, you need to actually hit him or something. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you going blah, 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 blah? I don't understand this, man. Anyways, this guy wants us to fight the dragon, but here's the thing. Just back up. Just back up. So, here's the thing. This dragon doesn't leave the bridge, so... This is, I would like to focus the Vader, though. There we go. Just back up. Here's the thing, I've seen a lot of invaders die in this situation if you just back up. Flex will just back up. I said back up, you fucking idiot. Alright. Flexo, Flexo! Flexo. Flexo. <laughs> no, I've seen this strategy of invaders. Here's the thing, if you let them trigger the dragon, then back up, the dragon goes to the end of the bridge, and we'll brave a bunch of fire, and the invader is now pincered attacked between you guys and the dragon. So he's either got to deal with a bunch of dragon fire or uh, fight us. And so that's the strategy in that situation. It's very simple. The invader is trying to be a dickwad, but you can very easily turn that to tables in that situation by just simply backing up. The dragon refuses to leave the bridge, but will happily breathe fire towards you, basically putting the invader in a terribly dangerous position where they have just pincered attacked themselves, so... Because that dragon fire hurts them, too. So that's a strategy. That's the strategy I use, anyways. The problem, of course, is getting the host to actually do that. Right, anyways, back in normal Caleb land, or whatever, uh, I'm just gonna... I have one specific goal. Here's the road. I'm gonna run it. Oh, it's just great to see the invader pull an enemy and then get fucked over by that enemy. <laughs> I, I've, I've seen, like, two hosts that figured that out, that, hey, this is back up with the dragon, you know, advance, it's fine. Most hosts are really aggressive and will not do that. Yeah, my objective is just to run all the way over here. Oh, hi there. I don't know how to fight you yet. One moment. <laughs> oh, you're a boss. Okay. <laughs> 
Good to know. <laughs> Hold on a minute, I'm trying to get something. I thought I dealt with all the dragons in this area. Alright. This. I need this. There we go. Well, he really wants to kill me, so alright, sure. Uh, do you fight like the other dragons, or you do your own thing? I see, Flab. <laughs> well, I guess I may as well use the Lettering Arc in this situation. Skull. I haven't seen those in a while, actually. I'm hiding. They don't know I'm here. Sneak, 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 sneak. They really got messed up by the rot, didn't they? If they turn around, they turn around. But I'm going to see if I can get a little sneak attack in. Yes. I presume they have a tell attack. Or maybe not, because I guess I didn't actually hit them. I hit the ground, which bled itself, because the blue ground does that here for some reason. Ooh, okay. Right, how do you fight? Wing, okay. So the wing attack, but bigger, okay. What else you got? Okay, that's corrosive. How far does that go? Eh, about as far as I went. Okay, so you're like fire breath dragon, but that shit instead. Ow! Okay, it hurts a bit too. Oh, I, you raise up your head a lot more than I thought. Ah, uh, you do do the other attacks, though. Okay, so you do some of the attacks I'm recognized from the other dragons. The main problem is you're kind of bigger and it's harder to hit your head. Oh, you're going to do that, too. Are you breathing fire or just landing? Okay. The ladder. Oh, this should not be a problem, as long as I'm careful. Not missed. No! I still hit him. It's fine. Did, did you attack over my head? That's pretty dumb of you. Oh, you even have the same stun. Okay. Oh. Aha, but I am behind you. Oh, oh god, that didn't help. That didn't help. That didn't help. That didn't help. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Too much rot. <laughs> Alright, I'll just drink this. It's fine. I'm sorry, did you do rot while... Oh, because I beat you up, I see. I actually noticed that attack even did rot. I can't see. Uh-oh. I can't breathe either, apparently. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, goddammit. Oh, that doesn't go that far. Okay. He's definitely more dangerous at a distance. I need to get close again. Which he's not letting me do. <laughs> Understandable, considering how much damage I can deal in a single hit though. He's playing keep away with me now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, it went over my head. That worked out. Damn it.
There we go. It's very hard to hit his head, but it's worth it. Uh, what's he doing? Uh, something I should be leaving the area for. <laughs> no, not again. No, not again! But I'm so far away, that's just rude! Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna... Fucking hate rot. <laughs> Keep in mind, I can barely... I can't make curie knives for it. I just have to deal with what I... use what I have. Fucking hate rot. It's very hard to cure. Part of the reason I'm dealing with the area, I guess. Like I am. Whoop! Whoop! Yeah, he has a slightly longer bite range than the other dragons. No, 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 don't do that, please. Uh. Damn it. <laughs> he really likes playing keep away, and I don't like that. Climb, climb! Actually, this is. I don't know where I'm at. Is there any enemies up here? No? Okay, cool. This will do just fine then. Aha! Oh shit. He does know how to aim upwards, though. Still, though, he's now forced to approach me, so. Which he will do, apparently. Uh, I guess I'm okay with that. Honestly, he's not, he does not have much HP, it's just... You know. Damn it! He's so hard to hit! Main problem I'm having. Nope. Oh, come on. For fuck's sake! <laughs> How are you this rotted? <laughs> it's impressive. Where am I going? Did I just run into an enemy? No, I ran into a wall. Alright, hold on. Let me get back up here. Or rather, let me get up here in the first place. Just to mess around a bit. <laughs> This is the Scarlet Rot fucking sucks. I don't know why they made it so you can't cure it, basically. I have a plan. That wasn't the plan. Ow! Are you fucking. What the. the fuck? No, god damn it. Thank god he went down so it didn't go up. Actually, you know what? You like keep away? Okay, sure. Really? But I'm nowhere near it! Fuck's sake! I can't tell the hitbox either, that's the main problem in heaven. Uh oh. Wait, what? Oh, right, rot. <laughs> Again, it's also poison, so I forgot about that. <laughs> you can cure, cure rot, but only with much difficulty. No, honestly, that dragon should be easily enough killable. Now that I have a means to... The new map has been found. Thank you. Uh, oh, no. no. <laughs> it's like, how do I figure out where the dragon is? Oh, yeah. Well, that would help. So, here's the here's the rub, right? Oh, hey, merchant. Noted. I have four left. Every time I use one of these, I regret using it. I have four left. I can make... Two, which I will now. 
They require sacramental buds, which are exceedingly rare to find. I don't know where you get them. I have explored a fair bit. I still don't know where to get them. Like, in, I think I just found a couple somewhere, but I I can't recall where, you even, where they even showed up. So, what are those? Oh, flowers, okay. Hmm? Oh, flowers, yeah. I get it's a story-based thing, like, you know, why it's so hard to cure, but shouldn't there be a bit of mechanical and story segregation at some points? Like, if you're making something bullshit for the player, is that really reasonable? I don't know. Like, but it's for the story, and I'm just like, I don't care. Make it fun. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> well, I need to get behind him, but apparently that was a bad idea, I guess. Why don't you put your head all the way over there? Come on. Okay. Why is it impossible to get away from that? Oh my god, if it wasn't Scarlet Rod, I wouldn't really be mad care that much, but... <sighs> Why is it just this game? One enemy after another, I think, is kind of bullshit to fight. It's... It's annoying as shit, man. And because healing because Scarlet Rod healing items are so rare, you more or less just have to tank the damage, which... is not a fun way of dealing with... Anything. I went right into that. Yeah, I get this. I get the story reason why it's so hard to cure, but it doesn't make it fun. That's all I'm saying. I can't even see. Where are you landing? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep your foot. Whatever. Could you turn around, please? Thank you. Let's <laughs> see. Sir? Sir. I'm over here. Sir? Sir? Uh... Right, we'll continue over here then. Oh, I'm still dying! Right! So here's the problem, man. I'm not good at dealing with poison status effects in video games. <laughs> because it requires turning my attention away from the gameplay to watch my health bar. If you can cure it, sure. Okay. But if you can't, God, it always kills me. <laughs> always one of the first things to kill me. Because it's so hard to focus on that and playing the game. It's like playing the game. No, I don't need some fucking help. Unless you could just drop me some rot heal items so I can use them nilly willy without feeling bad. <laughs> if you could, if you could drop me those, then uh, sure. <laughs> Sacramental buds, if anybody knows where to get those. But yeah. Here's the thing, I'd be happily putting it in my hotbar and curing it if I knew that every single time I used one, I wasn't dropping my very limited stock. It's like, you know, in a survival situation where 
it's like, oh, I could drink all my water right now, but then I, I might, you know, run out of water. But so, you know, you want to. Uh oh, that's how we do it. Excellent. Yep, that's fine. Also, can you at a glance tell me the hitbox of this attack? Because I can't. I always hate fighting with particle effects in video games. Even more so if it's causing a sad effect I can't really heal. <laughs> what a lovely comedy. This game has so much bullshit. Honestly, when you get down to it, this game just, it has so much bullshit, and I don't... Yeah, and you're still gonna do that. You know, actually, no, it's fine. Freeze, drop your head for a moment, thank you. Ah, for fuck's sake! Maybe not lock it. Oh, that might actually work out better. Oh, oh, that's what you're doing. Honestly, he's playing. Oh, never mind. <laughs> like, I was just going to accuse him of playing keep away, and then he runs up on me. All right. What? Please let me hit your head. Thank you. Here we go again. No, keep running. This has the world's largest hitbox, after all. Alright, look how far- I just about ran off a cliff trying to get away from that. And still got hit by it. That's such a fair attack. I think the real- like, it's, it's a very inelegant way of explaining it, but I think the main reason this game frustrates me is because, very simply, of its bullshit. Oh, okay, I guess that was going down now. Good to know. At least this uh, flask I have kind of re counters the, uh... Please do melee attacks. Please do melee attacks. Thank you. I desperately need him to do melee. I can't hit him. There. Oh, okay. Leave it. I know what you're doing, and I'm not having a part of it. Oh, no, you're landing on me. Never mind, you're doing something different. I thought he was doing the other thing. Um, I thought he was going to do the rot thing. No, he's doing the rot thing now. Or, no. He's doing the landing thing now. Okay. Probably thought I was going to hit by that, right? That's not an unreasonable thought, actually. He literally is doing a lot of stompies now. That's nice. Oh, thank God. Get out of here, please. Are you alive still? No, okay, you're good. Hooray! And now the die to the rot because fuck status effects. <laughs> I would like my roots back, thank you. I never picked these up. There wasn't that many in here, actually, but <sighs> But yeah, now to die look at the look at my health bar. Look at it struggle the region effect against the rot. The rot wins. <laughs> oh, so please observe that bar in the middle of the screen. That's the rot. It... It, look how slowly it goes down. When that bar drains, I'll stop dying of poison, basically. 
But Rot is like Poison, except for Poison doesn't bother me. The damage is lower, it cure, it wears off faster, and it's easier to cure. Poison is like whatever. But yeah, pay attention. Just how long that bar. Right there. Right there. There, it's finally cured. It's, it's several degrees of bullshit, the Rot. That must be where I'm trying to go. But now, now opening this area, I wasn't mean to kill this boss, but hey, it was there, so why not? Um, no, the main reason I did all that. Plus, a pest around the. I don't give a shit about the church. <laughs> I'll figure it out later. Southern area becomes. Uh, also, I, I was told. I, I also find it ironic because a few people actually got upset that I went North Kalid because it's harder than South Kalid. I don't know, man. So far, I think South Caleb kind of sucks. <laughs> but but uh, apparently, South Caleb was the easier zone. I, well, that dragon wasn't. I'll, I mean, it didn't take it didn't take that many hits to kill it. Technically, it was just hard to hit. If I had gone for the legs, I would have done less damage, but done more hits. That might have been more efficient. But I was dedicated to the leg to the head because it's how I fight dragons. Uh, but yeah, for for people telling me the South is easier. It depends on how much you hate rot. The the north doesn't have as much rot, but it has hard it has powerful enemies. I prefer a powerful enemy killing me than the rot killing me though. It's just the rot's a little snot, <laughs> to put it simply. Church of Sacramento buds. Oh really? Hmm, that's a little more interesting. Well, I'll find it later. Because that's not what I... I wanted the map for a specific reason. Let's see. I believe I need to go this way. Oh, yeah. I'm out of uh, rune arcs again. <sighs> Alright, let's turn this on. Okay. Tree people. Ow. I'm gonna beat my way up this rat up this uh, road because I need to go this way. East of Cilia? I don't know what that means. Oh, this is sorcery city, yeah. Okay. I don't remember what that was. <laughs> These guys suck. They always manage to get a hit on me here and there. Fortunately, I can, I can tank it, but... The main problem is they suck in groups. They do poison, but again, I don't care about poison nearly as much as uh, rot. But yeah, I, I, so there's a sacrament. I assume there's a sacramental buds farming spot where I could just rest bonfire, get another, or are they actually like limited? Mm -hmm. I presume this is a situation where there's a resource I could farm, but I don't know for a fact. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just finally remembered why this why I have a marking here. I believe if I go over here. So there's a giant beach, like I said before. I don't really know what's up with that. I don't even know if it's supposed to be out of bounds, but what I do know is that Slay looks suspicious over here. So I do believe. I'm supposed to, like, mess around here. Oh! In this general area, anyways. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I'm, I'm fine? No, I'm not fine. What? Oh, yeah, there's definitely stuff down here. Alright. Well, at least that was an exploratory look to see. Alright, instead of fighting those guys, I'm just gonna run through them.
Uh. <laughs> Just gotta whack him along the way. Take that. <laughs> Jerk. Don't attack the golem, I beg you. What's so bad about a golem? Oh, he doesn't give any souls? Nothing whatsoever? Okay, so I think my idea was pretty smart, but it didn't... It doesn't always work. Uh, I think what we need to do... Is... You know, honestly, we need the horse, don't we? Oh, by the way! Uh, fun fact! Fun fucking fact! I need to teach you guys something. Did you know the hor Did you know that the horse's double jump is broken with some weapons? I, I actually, it becomes relevant in this situation to explain. Um, let me explain. If I fall off a cliff with the horse, I should be able to use my double jump, technically speaking. So let me find a cliff I can fall off safely to demonstrate. Um, what's a good place to do this? Instead of just sliding down. So I, uh,. Interesting thing was addressed about it, though. I guess right here it be work, would work after I get back. So, the horse is actually bugged. And I will show you guys how. After helping Flam, the host of fingers. Hello. Most difficult anime game? I'd like to see this for myself, actually. Are we crutching? Are we crouching? Oh, we're not crouching. Okay. Guess we're doing this then. <laughs> I made the Mr. Attack. Whoops. How is this bear whiffing me? Did you know? Do you know that this bear is just kind of whiffing me at this point? Oh shit! I guess they're going after flat after all. Uh oh. What? How did that hit me? It was I was right in your face. I have limited stamina. One moment. Ow! 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 Why do they want to fight the bear? Uh, maybe it's their first time here. Well. So more difficult than the room bear, huh? As far as field enemies go. What even counts as a field enemy? A lot of field enemies that show up as bosses and vice versa. The definition of a field enemy is muddle, muddy as, at best. Well, did you notice, Chris Oz, the host died as soon as I stopped distracting the bear? Anyways, let me demonstrate what I wanted to say. So, watch this. Notice the weapon I'm holding. Notice how I have an old over-the-shoulder weapon held? Check this out. If I... See that little ledge drop I did? That's a very safe place to show this. So if I do, uh, if I jump with the horse, I have a double jump, right? I can press jump a second time. If I fall off a ledge of the horse, I just press the double jump button and nothing happened. That's not supposed to happen. Now watch this. If I, wow, I already another summon. If I switched weapons though, say the flail, right? I'll show this next time. So I can't get the double jump while I'm holding that particular weapon. But if I switch to the flail, you're going to see a different story. Go away. I don't want to fight you. Oh, he wants to fight me. A connection error recurred. Return to your world. I swear that happens so often. All right, back to what I was demonstrating. So now I'm holding the flail. Now watch what happens when I fall off the ledge and press the jump button. See that? 
here's the thing. Spears and weapons that go over your shoulder. Some spears, halberds, and uh, weapons that go over your shoulder like this. They have an animation error, which prevents you from being able to double jump if you go off a ledge. If you jump off the ledge, then it's fine. The reason I bring this up as a, oh my god, why this is why this is so bad, is that over here, I'm going to need to drop off a ledge and then double jump in midair with the horse. If I'm holding this weapon, I will die. If I hold a different weapon, I'll be fine. Yes, I'm not making this shit up. You can try it for yourself. I'm actually glad I watched that video. Very useful video. So in this situation, if I want to jump off the ledge and then double jump, I need to need to wield a different weapon. So, because that's what I want to try here. I want to try, like, fall, then jump to get the horse over here. Like that. It's uh, super duper not cool, in my opinion. Jumping off ahead. Jumping off? Okay, I see why. Almost jumped too far. Ooh, that was a little slippery. Horse ahead. Oh, horse recorded? Okay, yeah, I see. I understand. So once again, I need to drop down. So again, I need to switch the weapon out. So I'll just do a little jump like <gasps> Oh, thank God I hopped off the horse would have killed me. I got off the horse before it killed- I hate the horse. I really hate the horse. As- as important as it is sometimes. If I hadn't hopped off the horse, it would have- You saw it, it was going off the ledge without me. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Oh, be summoned again. Alright. Praise the not here! <laughs> Praise the not here! Okay, yeah, sure. I guess I'm not supposed to be there. I hate the horse. I really do. Hello. Guess you want this thing dead. I can do that. No problem. You ready? I guess he's ready. Oh, uh, that's not what I expected to have happen. I expect them to focus on me. Okay. And that's not the host dead, at least. It took me a while to realize that when they do the butt stomp, the rot gets sent off forward. So if you're behind them, it's fine. He's <laughs> just running away. Oh, okay. What do I hear? At oh, it's his dragon. Ah, uh, decent damage. <laughs> Oh, uh, I guess that hits me, I, for some reason. Oh no! <laughs> oh, now you pull out an attack that does a lot of damage. What was that attack? He did a lot of damage. I guess it was magic that... I don't know what this thing's weak to, I guess it's magic. Why does it sit forward instead of back? I feel like it would be... The ground pound, I really thought it, the 
rock was set every direction, but no, it's set more in a cone forward for some reason. Also, I probably should stop stream at some point, but uh, let me finish up here. Oh god. Every horse jump is a scary jump. Uh, okay. I think I can just jump to that. Ah, ah, ah! I guess I got. <laughs> I was actually fine, but I thought I was falling off, so I jumped. <laughs> it slipped me down, and then I stopped. It. What a fucking jerk! I like slipped down to another solid piece of ground, and I thought I wasn't on a solid piece of ground, so I lost my countenance. God damn it! Again, from you don't know how to design parkour. This actually reminds me a lot of Guild Wars 2 and the complaints I've had of its parkour. Guild Wars 2's designers require you to stand on little weird parts of the wall and like platforms that are half slippery, half not, and you just kind of have to feel around and try to figure out what you're supposed to climb on. Meanwhile, you constantly are feeling like you're not solving an actual parkour puzzle. You're just trying to... Like, you're just glitching the game. That's what it feels like. It's... It's... It's an experience, I guess? Weak to fire? Oh, it is weak to fire. Well, okay, then. Let's see. Where was the drop-down point? Uh, yeah, that's right there. Ooh, okay. That was a little dicey. And then a required horse jump, I think. Fun times. No! Oh, you know what? I'm gonna work it. I make it work! Make it work! I missed my runes. Okay, well, I'm dead anyways. Whatever. <laughs> Fucking horse! <laughs> Can I do this without the horse? <laughs> I'm gonna try doing this without the horse. I just hate the horse so much. It looks like you have to use the horse, but I actually debate that statement now. I don't need the horse to get over there, but... I just lost, like, half a level's worth of roots. Not the end of the world, but a little bit annoying. Cursorus, I don't think the golem is going to be a big deal because I think I'll hate the parkour more than the golem. Plus, isn't that golem not so... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that golem doesn't do rot, does it? I, I think we'll get along just fine if it doesn't do rot. <laughs> that golem can very much die if it doesn't do any of the stuff I hate. Does things no other golem does. Well, that sounds interesting. Okay, so this jump, I think I think the point here is... No. Slip off very carefully, maybe? Just... Just kind of... Like, perfect. Yeah. Easier with the horse, but horse not required. And then... And then, and then I'm s I'm gonna be smart here, cause uh, wah, that's that's fine. I hope it saves my position after the summon. It's probably gonna put me back up though. Hi, please don't fight the bear like everybody else does. Hey. Hi. You're gonna fight the bear, aren't you? Oh yeah, he is. <laughs> I 
I am not built for the pain. <laughs> well, um, him first, I guess. All right, I'll I'll fine. To wait for my stab to recover because this guy is so dangerous. Ow. Uh, kind of out? Okay. I'm stuck on his butt. Well, I mean, we're handling it fairly effectively. He just got knocked in the next room. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Okay, cool. He was using bleed to great effect there. I mean, it's worth the. Ex I guess it's worth the. Listen, if we're gonna kill this bear, then I'm gonna grab the weird thing. I don't know what it does. Where is it? There it is. What is this? Crystal bud, right? I may as well get the crystal cave moss. I know that's an ingredient for the rot cure, but I have a few of them, but I'll get a few more. Why not? Oh, if he's new to the dungeon, he probably doesn't know about... He probably doesn't know about the weird thing about the fog wall here. There was one time where the fog wall in this area confused people because he, he ha uh, the host has to go through the... Uh, through a, a tunnel and down a few cliffs before before um before the, the uh, summons can follow him or her and a lot of time I've seen a few hosts that go past that point where the the fall, the summons can't follow and they just get the host gets confused and like looks at them like you should come with me what are you doing and doesn't understand because they don't see a wall. They only the only the summons do. So, <laughs> there was one time where the host took about like oh ten minutes. And we just, I just stood right here, waiting for the host. Yeah, he can just, wait, what? Oh, he's already activated the boss before. Yeah, I guess it's only if it's first time. But even so, I have to still wait. He'll be along shortly. We'll see, isn't I think I think I hear him dropping, right? Come on. He is he right here? Is he doing it too? I'm just gonna point. Be like go. <laughs> A lot of people get tripped up by this because normally the boss, like, you go through a fog wall or immediately in front of a boss starting to fight it and then your summons can go through. But in this one specific cave, for some reason, it works differently. So I don't think he's uh, understanding. So once again, I have to wait on him. It's very poorly designed. I hope he understands. I'll run at the wall to maybe clue him in. What is he doing? Go! Oh my god. So we have yet another host that's clueless about why their summon isn't following them. You think if you saw somebody just running into midair and not moving forward, you would 
go like, oh, maybe there's something blocking them. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, this is infuriating. Um, Maybe if I point and say please help and point to please help. Do you see the issue here? They may have fallen down and I triggered the boss. Table. Yeah, probably. But I'm also wondering why. So if you're wondering what's past this tunnel, it's immediately a hole, a short drop down. You enter the boss arena, and when you act, when you attack the bosses, the fight starts. I bet he's waiting for me, and that's why he's not attacking. But he has. To Thank you, fuck's sake. See, people don't get it though because it's not well conveyed. I understand. It's kind of shit. Okay, now to help him. There we go. Yeah, yeah, okay, you did all right, I guess. <laughs> I'll just do a nod. <laughs> Thanks for the root arc. <laughs> it's like, I rate this host 4 out of 10. We got through it. Mediocre performance, but I worked alright. I'll rate you on Yelp uh, as such. Okay, so I said I could just... Yeah! Yeah, I can. Okay. <laughs> I can sing, you see. <laughs> Alright, uh, there's a marker here. Time for sorcery. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll shoot a spell. That'll help. Uh, let's see. Where am I actually supposed to drop here? That is a question. I mean, the tree branch looks the most prospective, I suppose. It's a bit of a distance, though. Bit of a distance. <sighs> bit of a distance. Oh, wait, hold on. I see your point about the golem. I thought he was on the sand for some reason, so I thought I had all the space in the room to world to move. But no, there's not a lot of space to fight this guy, is there? Hmm. So... What this guy do? Backstep off and die? Oh, that is so far away. Um, he didn't do a running jump though, and he failed to jump to the edge. I guess I'll use the horse. He said unhappily. Switch weapons and go. Okay. Then take delayed fall damage? That was weird. Five minutes later, I take fall damage for that fall. That I took five minutes ago. Alright. Very odd. Um, okay. Game had to calculate it, I guess. Oh, shit. Okay. So, this golem is not worth fighting. Really hard. There isn't much room, I'll give you that. Uh, let me look around for items before I... I, don't, I mean, obviously... I think, obviously, I'm supposed to drop down more, right? But how? Hmm. 
pillar, 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 pillar. Wait, hold on. Don't have a pillar, are you? This is a kind of dicey uh, placement, I'll give you that. Can't drop down there because how the legends are laid out. Oh, actually, the horse might be able to do it. Actually, the horse probably could do it. Scary jump, but doable, if I wanted to do that. But do I want to do that? I don't know if I want to do that. Do I want to do that? No space. Is that the rune arc, just sitting next to him? I mean, I could just grab it while he's getting up. Assuming he gets up normally. First off, death. <laughs> well, he has a flaming sword. I'll just mine you. Thank you. Or axe, flaming axe. How do you fight? Okay. No, I know that attack. I've seen that one. Yep, seen that attack too. I don't usually use that. Okay. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, I should probably expect that actually. Okay. Not too scary so far. I mean, okay, that's new. <laughs> Alright, balls. I see. Oh, that's a lot of, that's, those, those are shooting for a while, aren't they? That's very loud! Ow. <laughs> yeah, that is problematic, but there are pillars, at least. Is that, is that, that looks like it's gonna have a follow-up attack, no? Alright. Uh oh, I am right in the middle of this. I mean, the pillars help. Oh god. But I sure. They sure. Oh god, don't shoot fire through a pillar. That's very unreasonable. Sir. There it is. I was wondering where the attack would land. <laughs> Sorry, don't, you're gonna back yourself off the ledge. Careful. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a scary attack. I'll, I'll definitely say that. Hey, his arm is a key. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, rocks. Nice. The key is to hit his arms for more damage, I, th I think. He does like that attack, doesn't he? I do like his movements. B please move. There. Okay. Whoa. Oh, that's a pull-up. That has a pull-up animation. Ooh. Yeah, he's doable. I don't know why you said this guy is so scary. I mean, yeah, that's a scary attack. But there are very helpful pillars right here. My problem is I can't see what he's doing while I use them for my defense. Gotta be very careful. Uh-oh. Fire is actually the scariest thing. It does look like the pillar does kind of manage to block it, at least. Oh, this pullback! Right, right, right. Yeah, I can beat this guy. 
I'm likely to use the. I'm likely to again lose the runes I've gathered along the way, but yeah, I can beat this guy. He's cool. I like him. It's not bullshit rot. It's not bullshit keep away. It's not. Um, it's not bullshit constant attacking. It's not bullshit armor resistance. It's just a guy of lasers, which are scary but doable. I mean, they give you the. the I don't know if you noticed, but they give you the geometry to deal with the lasers, so I wouldn't call that unfair. Yeah, it's a bit of a tight platform, but it's a slow enemy. He may have a lot of reach, but it's a slow enemy. You have room to maneuver, <laughs> because you can move. You can move between these attacks. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's definitely a challenge. And I know I won't get anything out of killing him, but he's fun to fight. It's like a truck. Car, that's not new in this game for me. Everything hits me like a truck. I don't... That's not even a unique property anymore. <laughs> it doesn't bother me any. Everything try... Everything murders me, so why should I care if something hits like a truck? That's my attitude at this point. I think this is the winning spot. Yes. Ow. Oh, you hit like a truck? Get in line. <laughs> That's my attitude. Now granted, those lasers, they look like they would end me very quickly if I let them. Okay, we're good. I don't even take talent fall damage there. Alright, horse, this is your one moment to not fuck up. I was gonna say you're a moment to shine, but then I realized this horse does not fucking shine. Also, switch weapons! Switch weapons to not die, in other words. Do they fall damage? Apparently not. Apparently I took no fall damage. Did I just manage to do all that with only one fall damage? Nice. Very good. Okay, let's see if I can... Uh... You know, I definitely have different definition. Well, here's the thing. I, I actually love an enemy that has pauses, like this guy does. It, I feel like this guy is not unreasonable at all. Now, can I give him a good whack somewhere he won't like it uh, before the fight starts? Let's see. Wave the head. Two good whacks. Wax on, wax off. Oh, we're started with this, huh? Alright, well, if he insists. Oh, wait, I wanna. It's occurred to me, I kinda wanna make sure that sign's cancelled. Don't want that to reset the boss health midway through the fight. That would make me sad. Actually, this is a great position to have him in. I hope he just stays right there. It's a wonderful position. Ooh. Careful there. Oh, where is he? What's he doing? Okay. It's fine. The only problem is when he's behind the pillar. You already see what he's doing. But I'll take that just for the sake of blocks his attacks. I'm actually watching his axe to know what he's doing. Which is working quite well, actually. Attack you can follow it up with? It looks like you can. Uh I rolled too early and it caught me on as I roll. That's a shame.
Don't give me your hand. This is an awkward place to fight him, but it also annullifies his main danger, so... I'll take it. Really goes out of his way to try to hit me, doesn't he? I am stuck on him. That's not ideal. Whoop. I got... I got a little stuck. No, 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 don't approach. I want you right where you're at. Okay. I just need to approach him so he stays where I want him to. Oh, shit! Oh, no! I, I guess I, uh... I guess that was low enough health. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, I, I definitely think my definition of BS is different from most people's. I like a fight like this because it reminds me of the older games with their slower, harder enemies. Slower, harder hitting enemies, I guess I would say. Um, because to me, this is an, a massive improvement over an enemy that just never stops moving and attacking. Because, listen, either way, if the difference is, I guess here's what I say. Car, yes, he does hit like a truck compared to some enemies. But the difference is, enemies that don't hit like a truck, the difference is like, oh, this guy could take out, like, the guy who hits me like a truck could take out three-fourths of my life, while the guy that doesn't hit me like a truck can take out half my life. And it's like, yeah, technically that's less damage, but does not really matter at that point? It's still half your health bar gone. <laughs> it's like, the difference is the enemy that takes out half my health is a lot faster and has more opportunities to attack me. So yeah, I'd rather take the guy who hits less often but harder, because I generally will find that to be more fun and more fair. Um. <laughs> Where's my drop down point again here? Oh, it's a little back. This first drop is awkward as shit. It's worked out every time I've done it right here, though, so I guess I'll just keep doing it right here. But yeah, I'll get this guy. Am I just, like, incidentally fighting all the worst enemies in the game kind of back-to-back? -back? Is that what's going on here? If that's the case, I must really ask why they decided to pile all these guys on the t same place, though. Seems a little silly. Oh, that was, uh... Yeah, see, did you see that? This is why I don't believe that FromSoft knows how to do parkour. That right there was... What the fuck was that, right? I'm actually slipping more as I... And I got up. Yeah, From, you don't know how to do parkour. Please stop trying. Um, <laughs> this is kind of my attitude at this point. Like, what the fuck happened there? <laughs> it's like when you know somebody's gonna do something, but then they take up a new skill, and you're like, oh, that's cool. Oh, right. So, uh, I had the wrong weapon equipped, so I died. By the way, I, I forgot. It's a switch again that time. So, again, uh, that glitch. I forgot to switch to a weapon that isn't over the shoulder, so I don't trigger the glitch where I can't jump in midair after falling. <laughs> why? Why? Why have they not patched this? This has actually existed for at least a week, probably about two, if not longer. That glitch with the over the shoulder. Basically, they did an animation error where they didn't program it, particular animations to be able to work with the double jump if you're falling off a ledge. Purely a miss... Purely, purely an oversight. Purely an oversight. Anyways, I lost some runes, but it's, again, not a large quantity, so... It's okay. This is why I grind. If people are like, oh, you're, like, over -level. Yeah, that's because I lose runes a lot. Because this game is kind of BS. So, 
you know, since I lose runes a lot, let me get some extra runes. Why not, right? I wonder if this... Um, that killed me? Alright. Sure. I guess it did. For some reason. I mean, that's not what I intended to do, but it looked like I should have survived it. But, you know, whatever. Like, that wasn't really that different from the fall I usually do, but okay. Sakar <laughs> Sakiro so 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 had good platforming. I mean, I don't know how to believe that. <laughs> is my statement. Like, I believe you, but also I don't understand how that's possible given this game. <laughs> given how fucking clumsily they handle platforming in this game, I don't understand how they handle Sekiro well. That's very odd to me. Uh, is how I put it. Was there even a height difference from that drop? There was like, oh no! So I dropped from this ledge over here, and that killed me. But if I drop from this ledge, I survive. So... Well... Unless the game decides to slip me off the platform. Of course. Because it might. I don't have a lot of patience with this. I actually like platforming. I do! I've played plenty of really good platformers out there, 3D and 2D. And I'll tell you one thing. This is a sham compared to those games. Um, this is a complete sham. Like, I've seen good platforming. I know what good platforming is. You want good examples of good platforming? You got things like Coyote Time. You fall off a ledge, you can still jump for a little bit. Uh, uh, edge grabbing. Definitely useful for 3D platformers. Uh, where if you don't quite make a jump, your character catches the ledge. Stuff like that. There's a lot of good ways to make good platforming, including making the air physics feel comfortable and, well, appropriate, I guess. Um, but whatever this is... Alright, hold on. There's a way I can make this easier on myself, admittedly. Because if I... Stab. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if I plunge an attack, I'll probably reduce my momentum. Dumb way to do it, but it works. So, sure. Here's the thing, if I don't inch off the ledge... So, inching off the ledge lets me fall more or less straight down, but if I don't inch, I will... I will fall with much more of an angle, and that can fuck things up, obviously. Uh, so yeah. Switch weapon. So to actually do the goddamn thing I want to do... Make the jump. Dangerously hop off the horse backwards. Or not at all? I Get off the horse, please. Get off the horse, please. Get off the... What the fuck's going on? Thank you. What the hell? It just wouldn't let me off the horse. <laughs> Interesting. I had to move. I had to reposition. Horse is finicky. When you can get on and off of it, it's really finicky. Alright. Actually, I wonder if the flail would do better. Do you think the flail would do better? Given that it's a stone golem? Let's see. I mean... I guess what's your definition of better? I really like this guy. I'm glad I fought him. Even... Like, just seeing his cool attacks, honestly. Is, uh, interesting and worth it to me. That is... Shockwave attacks suck. Alright. Now, I know he could probably kill me, but... Get him in the arm! Cool, that works too. Like, whatever. <laughs> Boom! Okay. 
Oh, that hit me. Yeah, I probably will. Oh, hello. Wait, did they only shoot in one direction and then they just stick to that? That's less scary if that's how it works. I don't know why I thought I'd just run away there. That was actually kind of dumb. It's okay. Ah! I knew the pullback was coming, but I didn't know the timing of it. Oh no. I wasn't ready! <laughs> Alright. Oh, get out of the way of that range of light of fire. The trick with the Golem is just always dodge. Like, don't assume you're far enough away. He has some really great range, so just always assume he's going to hit you. That's what I think is the best way of handling him. Also, make sure to hit him in his glowy bits, because I know that can stun him. Including arms, if possible. Ow. Oh no, run! 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 Ah! Too many lasers! It's fine. <laughs> I need him in the- the best place to have him is in the middle of the arena, so I always have a chance to hit him. Or hide from his attacks, I guess, is what I mean. Ooh, okay. Oh. I... Bye? Okay. <laughs> ah, the pullback! I need to learn which one has the pullback. I always forget which attack does the pullback. That's a, that attack is my favorite because it gives me the most opportunity to hit him. Ah, <laughs> he places that faster than I expect. Uh oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Wait, maybe I'm fine. Just keep jumping. Wait, do they only shoot in one direction? They only shoot in one direction. Oh, they're not nearly as dangerous as I thought they were. I thought they tracked me. Oh, they're not nearly as dangerous as I thought. That's fine. Oh, that's fine. Just make sure all four shoot in a direction I don't need them need to worry about, and then move. Alright. <laughs> wow, this guy's easier than I thought. And also, the rocks go over my head if I approach, so hey. Okay. Just need to... I thought, it, I thought this guy was way worse than he is. <laughs> I'm just kind of flabbergasted. All right. Just need to, like, do this. Okay, well, admittedly, it does create a bit of a line of pain, but, you know, it's fine. I didn't. I learned a little late in this fight, so I'll probably, like, lose before I can make good on this knowledge, but... Oh, okay, I guess we're gonna... Sure. Oh, this is not a good position for me to be in. Moving, moving, moving. Very good. Actually, I'll just make him shoot the pillar and move. That'll work. I'll combine my uh, my techniques together. There, now it's safe. Okay. Is that the attack where you can pull back? I forget. Uh oh. <laughs> ah, he's doing the run. Honestly, if I if he runs past me and I just keep up with him, I think I can just whack him up, whack at his feet without him any recourse. Alright, so yeah, uh, this guy is getting lead is still killing me, sure, but I'm learning the hell out of him right now. So those lasers, I still want him blocked by the pillar, but it's okay. After they shoot all four. I can just move if I want, so that's cool to know. Like, I don't have to worry about it. Also... Okay. This will be my final challenge. 
I just want to beat this guy, and then I'll quit for the night. Man, I only eat half my food. I'm going to have to reheat it. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Um, so, Carceris, like, this guy is killing me a lot, and some of the bosses have frustrated me. Also killed me a lot, but the difference is I enjoy learning this enemy. I enjoy dying to this enemy and learning more about him. Uh, which is... You know, quite a bit different from the enemies that frustrate me, which I can't really learn. That's mainly, actually, it, that's the main thing. If an enemy is frustrating to me, it's usually because it's cheap. But it's not specifically because it's cheap that the enemy frustrates me. It's because of the fact that by being cheap, it cannot be properly learned, you know? So an enemy that is cheap cannot be properly learned, cannot be properly studied. And that's not very fun for me. I like to be able to study my enemies. That's the reason I like Dark Souls 1 and 2. Uh, like I do, because they let me study my enemies, and I felt like I was learning, and then like, pra I, was, I felt like I was practicing for a test when I died, and then when I won, I felt like I, I was acing the test I had learned, uh, had learned for. It felt very academic in a way. Yeah, like, that's another th Oh shit! I didn't switch weapons! Ah! <laughs> God damn it. I- That glitch is very easy to forget about because it's a fucking glitch. It doesn't actually make sense. <laughs> uh, that's the worst part about this, the glitch. The glitch really comes into play here. I wonder if I could just madly dash my way down with the horse and survive. Let's see. That damn glitch, man. Also, good night, Ethan. So yeah, as you said, Mick, it's fair because if I die, I made an obvious mistake. Not only if I die, I made an obvious mistake. That's not even the whole of it. The other part is if I die, I learned something about the boss along the way. I mean, think about it. First, I learned he had lasers. Then I learned I could block the lasers of the pillar. And then I learned the lasers don't track. Once they're shooting a direction, that's the direction. They're stuck to that. So I learned more and more and more as I as I fought him, which means I don't feel like I wasted my time, you know? It feels like a good use of time, which uh, yeah, feels good. Yeah, let's just do this whole fucking thing with the horse, why not? Oh, the horse can calmly walk down if I let him do things just right. I learned how to turn the horse around without him careening off a ledge. Amazing. I wonder how long, I wonder how many times I can repeat that. Probably not many. Wow, I took no fall damage using the horse. Amazing. I didn't think that would work. So I look at a recording of a boss I fight and had trouble, I see their pants a lot better than when I fought it. Well, that's, that's, yeah, when a boss is slow but hard, I have time to do that while I'm doing the fight. And these are more frenetic pace are hard to learn because of the lack of breathing room. Yeah. And also, especially if I actually notice they're kind of being unreasonable, like they don't have any pauses between their attacks or something. Then learning them seems more of a sh crap shoot in the first place. I love how he loves to introduce with that attack. That's kind of interesting. I think they're all shooting towards me. Alright. Haha! -ha, you missed! But you also were aiming kind of shittily, I'll be honest with you. The tricky part is figuring out what attack he's doing when I'm really close to him. Like when I gotta get away from him. That's the time to, like, have to figure out what he's doing, and that's tricky. Ow. And that attack is my favorite attack, when they do reach out far to hit you. Gives me a lot of opportunities. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Yep, okay. And pull 
Up! Alright, there it is. Also, I've learned which attacks he has more of a pause on and which one he doesn't. That's an attack that has a bit of a pause. Oh! It's fine. Stay close. Stay close. There's rocks. Okay. It's a scary attack, but it's easy to bait out. The more he does that, the better off I am. Look how easy it is to hit him when he does that. What? Oh. Rocks fall, everyone dies. Gotcha. Yeah, honestly, baiting the attack by being at just the right distance is, the, is a trick to success for me. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, he's pulling back. Alright, we're good. Ah, I thought he was going to say else. <laughs> the hardest thing for me is just reading what he's doing when he's really close to me. Now, like I said, just always assume he's going to hit you. That's a good strategy, I feel. And be able to assume what he's doing. Just that's a big part too. Ah. Uh. Oh fire! <laughs> he, oh yeah, that's right. Th that is part of his three-way combo. Sometimes he doesn't usually do it that though. Mm -hmm. I'll just give myself another hill. Why not? <laughs> Relax, it's fine, it's okay, you're good. One. Two. If he does do fire, it's fine. Get behind him. Whoop. And jump. Jump. Oh shit. Oh! <laughs> There's the problem. If they manage to poise break me, they can get they can combo me. Maybe just rolling would be better with those. I thought jumping would be a good idea, but if I am exposed to those lasers, maybe I should just roll around. <laughs> I want to keep them as close together as possible, so I'm trying not to move too much. Because I, I want if all the laser beams shoot in basically the same spot, then they're not really, you know, if I move a long distance and they're shooting all over the place and make more of a... Make more of a fuss, make more of a mess. But... Maybe it's better to just spread them out. It's not like I can't just roll through them if I need to. Plus, when it comes to dodging him, I don't need to roll horizontally, so I can just stay in a lane between two lasers and roll ver roll towards or away from him to dodge his attack. So it wouldn't actually be a big, big deal if they shut down my movement a little bit. Also, range. Yeah, the fire is range-based, so my the way I... Honestly, some attacks are just rare for me because I... Whoops, I messed up. It's okay. Still ended it. Some attacks are simply rare for me because I don't <laughs> I don't stand in particular spots. So the attacks just end up not really happening. Also occurs to me, I just go with the momentum there and just keep running. Whee. Okay. What's more with filling, everyone? It's a hard fight, but it's not nearly impossible. Okay. I might just stick to hitting his feet, actually. 
Did that do less damage? I couldn't really tell. Why am I not on my hilly dive? There we go. Also, speaking of distance, distance is important for actually getting him to use the reach attack I like him using. Like, I need to be about here. And he will almost always use the one I want, which is the best time to attack him. And I think I should try to bait it. That's the one. I got fucked, apparently. Uh oh. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> okay. That was unlucky. He forced me into that distance where he uses the fire. <laughs> Three. He's just standing there. Why is he just standing there? Oh, does he not like to be over here? Oh, I just learned something else. He wants to back away if he goes too far, apparently. Which I was not aware of. Hit you in the head. Or hit you in the arm. The arm is his weak spot, I believe, so... I believe it glo if it glows, it hurts him a lot. Ah, oh, fuck. And now fire. <laughs> At least I can predict the fire now. I know how I know how to easily trigger it. Nope. Thanks, though. Alright. I like how his upper torso spins independently of his lower when he does the magic. That's pretty cool. Yeah, look, he's backing up. So, if he does use the magic over in this area, he will generally back up. It's good to know. It's weird. I don't normally get hit by that attack. I don't know why I was having such a trouble. Having such a trouble. Ow. Thanks, I'll be over here. I was having such a trouble. It sounds like English, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a noisy attack, by the way. So the Lloyd bits are definitely worth hitting. Yeah, I see your point. Maybe I'll just get one hit, back off, so I have time to run away. That seems smarter, perhaps. It's about this distance that I want, by the way. Like that distance where he's like encouraged to swing at me twice. The fire only happens if I'm at a distance away from him, so. This is a good time to hit him too, technically. Uh oh. I must leave. My people need me. And by people, I mean not wherever I am right now. Okay. <laughs> Basically, not here is where I'm needed. <laughs> Damn it. I knew the pullback was happening, but I didn't have a good sight line, basically. Oh well. Yeah, I think I should just attack during that one attack because it's safe. You need him to do it, though. That's another matter entirely. What's this message say? Seek left. What's the left? Okay, he's being very cowardly. Come on, do your thing. 
not that. No, not that either. Wait, actually, yes, that. That is exactly what I want you to do. Thank you. Oh, we did it! That's good? Oh, no! Wait, that barely hurt. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I got bumped by the giant colossal hammer blade, but I'm fine. It felt... It felt A-OK. -okay. It's all right. We're good. Oh, God, the fire. <laughs> Forgot about the fire. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. A moment. <laughs> Forgot he does want to do that if I'm at that distance. Yeah. Well, I wasn't planning on getting an opening, but yeah, I'll, get you. I'll hit you in the But I was going over here. I was probably, probably... It's a very... Normally these guys have a weakness to their legs as well, but this guy only has it to the arms, so he's a lot harder to do lots of damage to. for a particular attack, as usual. Here's the thing, you can actually knock him down, but I don't, I'm not dealing nearly fast enough poise to knock him down, because I have to hit those arms a lot. Rude. Is that the one? Yes. Uh, I need to I need to go over there. I don't like that pillar as much as by the edge. <laughs> yeah, okay, that proves it. So he'll only do the pullback if I'm past his weapon at that moment. Okay. That's good to know. I'm probably going to lose this fight too, but eh, it's alright. It's a learning process. Alright. <laughs> Thanks, Pillar. <laughs> I think you spawn those more or less in the... Okay, this is not going to actually. I'm gonna have to trigger the fire. Shit. Which he is shooting into the pillar. That's very odd looking. Let's try it again. If I play very, very carefully, his HP is at that. It's like we're getting close to one third. Very, very close to one third left. I mean, if I play perfectly, we could win this. Let's see what happens, I guess. Actually, does he. Uh oh. Well, I wanted to check something, but. Oh, that does okay damage, actually. I don't think it's what something I want to rely on, though. Well, I guess I could. His chest, you see, it's a it's a weak point. I'll give it a shot. Now, it's not great damage, but it does... It does stack. I could hit on the wrist, though. Uh, I think I'd do more damage? Yes, yes I would.
I don't like. I don't like. I feel like this fire will maybe gank me at some point. Yeah, or that. Yeah, if the boss is just doing some random shit, I should shoot late. I should shoot a few arrows at him. That's not a bad idea. We can we can combine the damage. Hitting the wrists is very exact. If you notice, her hit hitbox is actually kind of weird. Like hitting the glowy part uh, more close towards the hand doesn't count as a uh, weakness hit, but hitting it more towards the elbow does. Excuse me, that was rude. That guy almost hit me. In my defense, it's harder to time how long I've been playing because, like I said, that the exploit feed has been broken, so it's not tracking anything correctly. It's complete. It's been completely frozen since that happened. So I just see a, a still preview window when I was trying to drop down behind that one building. <laughs> That's what I see. Like it's just eternally stuck there now. It's pretty dumb. <laughs> Oh, I'm holding my bow. It's fine. That should work. Yeah, it works. How foolish. Oh well. Okay. Good night to you, car. I'm gonna beat this guy. Don't you worry. Knew it was coming. Sir, calm down, sir. Well, I guess we're in this position now, aren't we? Wow, they were over my head in that situation. Less dangerous than even normal. I would like to just hit arm, hit leg, run away. That seems to work pretty well. Nope, that's not the one I want. Thank you, Chris Ovs. You know, I thought this platform was too small, but it's just about right, actually. I wish it was bigger. I do, like, I always wish that I had more room to fight a boss, but... This is okay. This is an alright amount of space. <laughs>
It's nice, too, that I know he's not going to completely encroach on me over here. Like, he actually wants to back up, if you notice, so... I know this little... I'm just reversing sides of him. It's working out quite well. Oh, okay. I kind of figured the pillar would block those, but he hit rocks from past the pillar by clipping his weapon through the pillar. <laughs> Enemies are bullshit sometimes. <laughs> Alright. Oh, thank you for the egg. Yeah, I don't care I don't get any re like reward for being this guy, apparently, according to Carr. That's fine. The reward is just fighting him. Also, he's a unique enemy. Which I think is neat. Like, he fights in a weird way. I have a system down. I think I, I think I'm good this time. I think I've I think I've I think I'm about ace the test. Well, maybe get a B plus. I don't know. All right, there's the attack I need. Yeah, wrist, leg. And turn around. It works out perfectly. It, it, whatever he does next, I can build it. Ah, oh. my timing! It has failed me. Uh. Okay. It's weird they use that attack, but all right. You should not stop. I don't have much room. And now this is a problem. I don't know why he's approaching me. A problem that I solved, though. It's okay. The fact that there's four pillars specifically is perfect. One, two, three. Okay, we're good. We can move over here now. Like, there's a... Th I know amount, the amount of time it requires before it's like, okay, now it's safe, you know. <laughs> now those lasers have shot. <laughs> oh. Well, um. He's a little upset, I think. <laughs> That was him getting mad, I guess. <laughs> it's fine, I'm good. Phase two, I suppose so. Ooh, this is a bit awkward. All right, let's just... Oh. Oh no! The fire got me! Shit. It was close enough, I guess. Okay, he's throwing a temper tantrum. Good time to heal. I I was that was my fault. I was kind of cornering myself, so my bad, really. I should have switched sides. I need to switch sides more often. So I'm just gonna make sure I switch sides more often. Now I have to switch sides using that one attack I'm baiting out, which is fine. But yeah. Two. Three. Oh god. Alright. You know, the light- the lasers are so loud, I cannot hear the boss's attacks, which kind of sucks. Because the boss move- the boss's movements have sounds, and I kind of match up the sounds to what I need to react to. Oh, those lasers! Fucking hell! Uh, sir, you are just approaching me. This is not ideal for my general safety. Could you please do the attack where I can switch sides? That's not the one, but I guess I'll make it work. There we go. He's really just like... He's really just... Jojo walking at me sometimes because he knows that'll actually mess me up, I guess. 
Well, he's right. Not doing that. It would be great if he actually walked more in this direction. Well, I whiffed that entirely. That's all right. Slow and slow and steady definitely wins this race. Okay, and good. Okay. Oh, that's not the attack I thought it was. Back it up. So is he. This is the best side to be on, because he actually doesn't approach. He retreats. Alright, come on. Come on. Keep him at just that distance he likes. That's... I meant to hit his wrist, but... Okay, sure. If he's... Yeah, you know, here's the thing. If, if I can't switch sides, I can just go back to where I came from. Basically, if I'm switching sides, I, I can attack him twice. If I can't switch sides, that's okay too, though. It just means I need to attack once and back off. There is an order to everything. So in this case, I can back off, so I can switch sides. I'll just back him the ankle all the way. It's kind of a hit and run attack, in a way, when I'm back in switching sides. <laughs> really? That's quite... He doesn't do that very often. It's a very weird attack. It doesn't really have much range, fortunately. One. Two. Now, I, he's too far over there, so I'm just going to hit him once and back off. Uh, back, back to where I came from. Oh. Okay. It's all... This is actually an arena that has some thought put into it. move. You know what? Ankle hit on the way. Fuck you. <laughs> I made him very upset. Where the fuck is that bugger? I must smush it. I love when he does that because he just looks like he's so fucking pissed off and he's trying to kill some small animal or bug. <laughs> Air kill for the win? Nah, I'm gonna just do this fight full, full legit at this point. Would be nice if he, if I could bait the attack I want. Mm, is that it? Yeah, that's the one. If you're wondering, he was worth like 6,000 souls. I could have gotten that from two dragon kills in a fraction of the time. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see what, I see why Gar said he wasn't worth it. Nonetheless, I did like that guy. He was interesting. He had a unique attack. And so I came down here to kill that guy for a very small amount of souls, no reward, and a rune arc that he was sitting next to him. Was there anything else to do, though? Or can we go down more? I presume so. That sandy beach is... Su this is beach is suspicious looking. Is it... Is it an out-of-bounds area? Because if so, that's a huge out-of-bounds area, by the way. But it kind of looks like it's not, too, because like, there's a ship in the distance, and debris out there. Like these stone ruins things. They look like I can climb down them. These are, That almost looks like an inviting staircase to me. So, I don't know. There's a chance you drop a smithy stone 4. Okay, there's some very easy minor enemies that also drop smithy stones 4, so it's probably a better source of them. Uh, in one of the two of the mines, actually. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. That was it, wasn't it? All right, but I actually am curious. Okay, which direction? It's like over there. Okay. Down ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, down is indeed ahead. Not a way down. Just down in general is ahead. So yeah, that was a waste of my time, theoretically, but also I had fun fighting it. So I did it. Good work. <laughs> I don't know why, but whenever I see... I'm going to vote that, actually. Whenever I, whenever I am in an area with a hard fight and I find a message that says, I did it with two exclamation marks, 
That just seems so wholesome, like just some kid going, I did it! <laughs> I beat it! That's cute. I don't know. <laughs> just like, like this little celebration. Anyways, yeah, I think there's a way to, to, to this beach. We're not going to tell you about the beach. Don't worry, I'm going to figure it out on my own. Uh, it's only a waste if you didn't enjoy it. I enjoyed that fight more than a lot of fights to give you things. To be fair, not being given a reward <laughs> kind of makes them about as equal as whenever a, a random boss gives me something I don't use, which is quite often, by the way. Oh, actually, yeah, I could just go over there. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the next last thing I want to check out is again that beach is very sus, uh, especially with the pillars. They almost look like a pathway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over here around the fort and just kind of look at that because I think I learned a little bit about horse platforming by doing that previous section too. Um, I think I net gain a rune arc even though I lost a few runes. That's fine though. Show thyself. Thank you. Uh oh. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Actually, no, it isn't. Whoosh! Rocks defeat me very often in this game. Oh my god! <laughs> I wrecked that guy. <laughs> Give me your stuff. So these stones too. Okay. All right. So let's look at what we got. Here. Yeah. Okay. Over here. So there's definitely something up up with this beach over here. Let's take a look. Um. So looks like the place you want to do this. Eh, probably down there. Yeah. Yeah. Looks. Wait. Is that where I was? That's where I was. Right. Was that where I was? That's where I was. That's where I dropped down the first time. So, what we're looking at is actually indeed over here. So, let's take a look. Okay, that's a long drop. But that's not. Okay, we're gonna go to where the bird was. Uh, right. Specifically all the way around, but I bet the horse can just... Yeah. Charm is late. I am late? What am I late to? There we go. Yeah, we're gonna, um... We'll just do a little droppy drop. And investigate. Is there a bat around here? Besides that one, I mean. Nah, whatever. Okay, good. Yeah, there's one right here. And now there isn't. All right, now moving on. Go, go away. Test the fall. Amazing. Its wings didn't move at all while it was falling. It's truly artis artisanal. Um, all right. <laughs> so okay. I see that, like, from looking over the edge, it looks like that's... That looks like our ticket over there. So that's actually down there. So it looks like... I guess you're supposed to access that from the south. And then fuck around to drop down, I guess. I guess. And that's our uh, next major boss destination over there. Huh. I have thoughts. Yeah, we might be doing this next time, but let me try let me try something. Let me play around. Is that survival? There is a there's a message on it. That would imply survivability. What do you think? Hello. Alright, get out of my way. I'm looking at things. <laughs> That's a pretty long fault. Definitely not doing that drop. Uh, 
Drop a rainbow? Well, I would, but like... What's the angle to drop it? Oh, I think I have an idea. Is that too far a distance? Okay, I can try to drop a rainbow zone. Let's see. If I get the angle just right... Okay. Barely so. Alright, I think I'm just gonna, like, fall this way, and then, like, jump that way, and that's not really what I meant to do, but, okay, sure. Um, oh god, that camera. <laughs> Can I... oh no. Um... Hmm. Horace, can you just like... No, no, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, okay, like that. Behold, gorgeous view! Look, yeah, look at me, I'm so gorgeous. Um, this is surprisingly effective. Uh oh, hold on a sec. <laughs> Is that survivable? No, not that side! Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's always... I don't actually know how... what side you step off the horse. That's always a scary thing. How about that fall? That's what I thought. Okay. It's fine. It's totally okay. What about... Well, actually, that's pretty much it. This is just kind of a dead end, I think. <laughs> An interesting dead end, though. Hmm. Yeah, down there. Some shit going on down there, I, be I betcha. Alright, it looks like the beach is for later. It looks like we actually dropped down kind of over here, around here. So, I guess that's for later. I guess we'll save that for later. I thought I might try to hit the beach. I'm just really curious what the beach is going on. Like, it's a giant area, so... Boss? I assume boss. But... It's a nice place to land. I'm gonna put a message right here. I'm gonna try to put it on the edge so people down below can notice it exists. I guess I should tilt like this to make it more easy to... There we go. That should be nice and visible from below. All right. I'm gonna put... Looking for just the right thing. I wish I could organize by alphabetical. Oh wait, too high up. <laughs> yeah, that works. A 
put that right there and hopefully it sticks off the edge a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So people below will probably notice it. If they look up, so. And if they get all the way over here, first off, well done, but likely too high up. <laughs> there. <laughs> I gotta give I gotta give people a reason to get there, right? <laughs> Alright, so, cool. I guess, uh, next time we'll go through the southern, well, I'll, I'll probably explore off stream. Go through the south a little bit. And it seems that we are, this is our next, like, du major dungeon, so. That was like a parent side. This place did not seem big. I underestimated this place, remember. I'm not gonna make that mistake twice. This place doesn't look terribly big either, but if it's super vertical, then I'm gonna have the exact same problem. I wonder if there will be a major dungeon that isn't a castle. That'd be nice. Uh, but yeah. I guess that's next time. Let's drop myself off at... I guess back here. This thing will be later if you find some people reviewed it. I should see... I should check my message reviews, actually. I want to see what my messages have gotten, like, attention-wise. Uh, discovered, written, written. That's the one. Uh, okay. Behold, message. <laughs> I don't remember what I where I put this one. Three people liked it. Didn't expect secret passage there for a time for stomach for them. Only four people liked the four message. Well, four for four, I guess. Blood stain ahead in short secret introspection. Couple people like. First off, hole and then hole. <laughs> one good. I don't remember. I don't remember where most of these. Praise the grass is where you drop down and survive because of grass. Didn't expect tell. And then time for tell. There's a lot of tells wherever I put that message. I don't remember that one. Praise the thief, so to speak, tears or tears. I get very... I get very few upvotes, apparently. What does protect do? Protect? Protect. Hell's, hell's protect do, you think? Huh. I have the ability to turn a protect on and off? I don't know what that does. Oh, protects them from deletion. Okay. I get it. Well. That was fun. <laughs> Good solid point. I have level one, two, three. Good. But yes. Uh, next time. Parts, whatever the hell we're in, I forgot. <laughs> What part is this? Part 8. In part 8, we will see about the south South Kaelid and maybe do most of it. So, hur hooray. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Progress is being made. I feel a bit better of my setup. Some stuff is still bullshit, but I'm handling it. So, one way or another, that's what matters. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed part 7 of Elden Ring. And of course, I will see you guys next week for part eight next Friday as usual. Uh, but yeah, see you guys then. <laughs>